Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm, something tells me that wouldn't feel very good. I have drugs. <laughs> the doctor said I can, uh, I can do all the pain pills that they give me at hospice because it's a special circumstantiary. Cousin, mm, hospice didn't come see you, right? Yeah, hospice comes and sees me twice a day. That's what hospice is. The way I don't die. Mm. Is it what? Do you know what hospice is? But yeah, I know what hospice is. Well, if you need advanced they, they, medical, got some fucking on in my ear. If you need advanced medical, like fucking services or whatever, so you don't die. That's what they're there for. Or if you're like gonna die no matter what, and you need lots of like adjustments for comfort or whatever. But that's what um. That's what my lawyer told me, so I get to be, hi, hi, motherfuckers, hootie hoo. Yeah. Hootie hoo, line. Hospice here. Who's there? I said hootie hoo, Lauren. I put my glasses on because I'm really. Do what? the fuck? I hate it when people say, do what? Ugh, it's so stupid. I said, you what? I took a shit in my hand and I threw it at the nurse. <laughs> anyway, what'd you say? I did. If you're gonna bring me some shitty ass meatloaf with mashed potatoes and no gravy, you deserve to get shit thrown at you. And I'm dying, by the way. But I can't even eat it because they're going to put the tube up my nose again because they keep throwing up. No, you're not going to die. I'm just saying that. I'm going to claw your balls with thumbtack fingertips before I die. Um, you'll be doing that a lot. I sure will. You're not going to die, so stop saying that. Why? Because you're going to stay, stay alive with me. Staying alive. Um, did you get some sleep? Are you horny? Horn. Yeah, I'm so horn. No, are you horny? Oh, no, no, I just woke up. Well, wake up that cock. Mm-hmm. My cock's here on rest. You know... Mm -hmm. Did you get some good sleep? Yeah, I had a lot of drugs. How long have you slept? No, uh, I went to bed at, uh, like, 10. Right at the Big Brother. Uh, I watched Big Brother and I went to bed. You watched your Big Brother do what? Is that a porno? No, oh, the show. Mm. Show Big Brother. Jack off all over my face, what? Big Brother. Come on my uh, eyelids. Is that what you like, you fucking pig? Yeah. Wish I could. You want your sperm to plaster my eyelids closed so when you take me to the deli, nobody will talk to me? Yeah. Because I won't be able it's to look idea. at other men. It's a good idea. We'll try that. What? Really? Yeah. You'd want to plaster my eyelids closed with your ejaculate and take me in public so I can't look at other men. Are you kidding? 
Good deal. Let's do it. <laughs> what, you don't think it's a good idea? No. Well, why would you come up with it? I don't know. You didn't expect me to say you had a good idea, let's do it. You wouldn't expect me to say that, would you? I try to sound like you. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, um, I didn't expect you to say that, so I'd, uh, I'd go very long a while. I, I sent Emma a picture of my hemorrhoid today. <laughs> you sent a picture of your what? My hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoid? Who'd you send that to? Emma, and I said, hey, girl. All right, you get to not send any pictures like that to her. It's not nice. You don't need to. I told her she could she send it. Him. I told her she couldn't send it to Dan. Um, that's just trying to start crap. <laughs> don't need the drama. How did you know I was trying to start to crap? It wouldn't crown. Like, I tried to take the picture. It kept slipping back in. We need to not do that stuff. <laughs> Just leave them in there at home. I got the um, dry erase marker that they use for my wall. And I, <laughs> I put a dot on it and said, look, now I have a birthmark like you and it's prettier and Dan would rather kiss this. <laughs> oh, no. Well, Oh, okay. Uh, why do you keep doing that one day? Because <laughs> I'm a funny girl. He's sad. Yeah, uh, we've been in them all. All right. But I texted right. Dan, too. You texted Dan, too. What did you say to Dan? Um, I asked if he wanted to see my butthole mole. Hello. I asked if he wanted to see my butthole mole as a joke. What do you do? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I didn't. That was funny, That's huh? Good. Not to me, you know. <laughs> Goodbye. What? Why are you saying goodbye? Because <laughs> it makes you mad. Huh? Because it makes you mad. It's cute. I don't have very much entertainment. Uh, All I have is Animal Planet. Oh, uh, so I'm not entertainment. <laughs> yeah, it is. I wish you were here. I would <laughs> kiss your fat tooth. Um, Stop doing no, that. You well, I had to yawn. You smell I like poop. Just wake up, you know. I smell good. There, how did you like that? I figured, I figured you were going to tell me earlier. It wasn't the same fire. It was a different way, and it came out of my ass. Yeah, it feels good, huh? Yeah, all the flies are moving away from your house, and they're flying over here to see what died. Surprise, it's me. Because I'm dying. That's funny, huh? Oh, it was stuff that was in your butt. <laughs> <laughs> Just like your mom. Uh, um, what about my mom? That's what was in my butt. 
just like your mom and me. No, I shit your mom out in a little pink throw-up dish. All right, come on. <laughs> Stop saying foolish. Stop saying foolish stuff to offend people. And then Brenda came and wiped my butthole. Huh? <laughs> and then Brenda came and wiped my butthole. <sighs> I don't know who Brenda is. Brenda. Brenda's got a baby. After I die, I'm probably going to reincarnate and like come out of her <clears> vagina <throat> as the baby. And then you'll want to fuck me yeah, again because yeah. I'll be the baby. You're not going to die. Think um, positive. You can be out here with me. Do you ever, like, think it's funny that the real Casey Morel thinks you're a pedophile and disgusting, but I love you? I'm not a pedophile. I'm not, a pedophile and I'm not disgusting. I know, but I'm saying Casey thinks that, but you loved her. <laughs> Do I think Casey thought that? No. No, I'm telling you she did. He thought she was flirting with you and everything. He thought you were going to fuck Casey Morrell. Yeah. <laughs> I love you, you, baby. You're so cute and stupid. I just want to suck your cock. <laughs> well, I'm going to do that. You can come here. <laughs> No, the community is going to get better. All right. That sounds like a good idea. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Oh. God, you're an old man. Hey, what? You probably just, like, reached over to scratch your knee or something, and that's why you fucking started grunting like that. I just stretched. Uh -huh. I stand up. So I come out and get a cigarette. So do you still think that Casey is the only thing that came out of the sting that was good? Um, no, I think, yeah, I think you're the biggest thing that came out of the sting that was that's what's the best. Okay. But you don't I'm think sober. that you don't think that the best thing was that you didn't like molest a little girl after all since you were fucked up in the house. Uh, well, <laughs> I don't what thing. I thought you were talking about us. Yeah, the sting, 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 sting. Oh, sting! The sting. I thought you said thing. No, I got a thing for you though, baby. It's up my dress. Yeah, well, it's, it's always good that I didn't molest a girl. I want but you to molest Anyway. Me. Huh? I want you to molest me. One of my clits is leaking pre-cum. Okay. I'll be masturbating. Yeah, you'll get to do that. Were you, were you shitting? I'm not in not, the not mess of right now. It's the middle of the night. I don't want to do that right now for I didn't say mess. You were here. I said shitting. Ugh. Oh. Oh. Ugh. <sighs> I'm going to make me a little bit of coffee. What's coffee? Coffee. Coffee, coffee. I don't have to be at work till 8. Really? The train doesn't get there till 8, so... Yeah, the train doesn't get there till 8, so... Can't get any containers off the train until the train gets out. 
Hold on. I'm holding. Hello? Hi, honey. Hi. Did you see me? You see the pictures I sent you? Yeah, they're gross. They're, look, the trees, they're gross. You're all sweaty. Oh, yeah. I'm working. I'd get some stuff done here. Well, I mean, it was pretty hot. I mean, it was no Dan, but it was pretty hot. <laughs> there you go again. You oh, come on. Off, come on. I like the nature well, I'm pictures. I'm going to tell you it's not. Yeah, it is. I like the nature pictures. What nature picture? Nature. Nature? Yeah, the pictures of nature you sent me. Did you think that was pretty cool? Get that big trees down? Yeah, I think it's really destructive and stupid, too. Yeah, well, it's going to be done. <laughs> There's, I had to get on top of one of the trees that Oh, I ain't even done with that one yet. Can I see you? Uh, uh, what are you doing? You're grunting like you're too fat to move. No, I'm sitting in my office chair and I went to put my leg up in it and it twisted on me. Turned. I used my leg to pull it backward. Pull it back to position. That's weird. What the fuck's you know? wrong with you? And not a thing. You're sitting in your office chair? And kitchen table, yep. You, you use an office chair at your kitchen table? Yep. Why? Because it's comfortable. And I can sit back in it and you know, relax and it has your ass grease. And like it what? It has your ass grease. It has my ass green? Grease. Oh. No, my ass not green. No, grease. Like a greasy piece of chicken. Oh, my ass grease. <laughs> yeah, and all the cream that comes out of your ass from Roy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm, I don't know about you. Um, <laughs> That's called, a big laugh. <laughs> it's called oxycodone, bitches. Oh man, that hurts my throat. Bitches. Well, stop doing that. Stop. If it hurts your throat, stop doing it. You make yourself Ugh. throat sore. I get out of breath when I yell. <laughs> no, don't yell. Earlier I woke up, I thought there were snakes all over me. Do I? Why don't you listen to me when I talk? What are you doing? Well, I, I do. Sometimes you, you know, you bring your voice up high like that, and it's not your actual voice. It's harder to it hear. You understand voice. what you're saying? I have to use oxygen saving techniques when I speak because my oxygen levels are low. I have to speak in a way that is not going to require me to exert too much oxygen and pull down from my diaphragm to reach, just to speak. So when I scream or whatever, it feels like an adrenal end rush. Um, so you feel like you're high? Yeah. 
Showed your cock to my nurse. No, yeah. Yeah, I told I him bet, if it was bigger than that. the national average. I thought she didn't have any pictures of my cock on your phone. No, this was before when I was with Rudy. Oh. I said I have a medical <laughs> question for you. Is this cock? the same uh, length as the national average because you're a nurse and he said uh, I can tell you from my personal experience baby it's probably a little bit smaller <laughs> I was laughing so sure, hard sure, yeah. All right. sure, good let's call him and ask <laughs> I have his number no 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 stop doing that shit <laughs> I remember from the last hey. nurse's station. I know the extension. Oh, uh, don't be calling them. You're thinking of really sucking a cock, and now you have a big wet spot on your office chair? Yeah, um, no. Are you naked? Yeah. Maybe now is a good time to send Rudy a picture of your dick so he can tell you if it needs surgery to straighten it out. <laughs> mm, no. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> oh, you don't like my dick the way it is? No, it's fucked up. Sorry. Huh? I said no, it's fucked up. No. Oh, so I gotta get it for someone else? No, dummy. I just proposed we got it fixed. What the hell's wrong with you? You're so fucking lame. <laughs> uh, you didn't send me a picture of you yet. You sent me, you're supposed to send me a picture yesterday. I know. Oh goodness! They have an, they have a penis curvature correction device called Unbend Me. I looked it up. Called oh, Unbend Me. Yeah. It's okay if it goes like up a little bit, because then it can thump your G spot when you're fucking. But if it goes to the side. You'll just keep slipping out. Like, I'll have to, like, learn how to bone from side to side instead of front to back. It's weird. They have another device for it, too. What? Roy's mouth? Uh, <laughs> it already made it crooked. So I'll stick it in me. All right, I'll stick it in you, but you're probably going to have to get an asshole relocation because it's not long enough. No, you'd have to be reading it to me, though. <laughs> when you were little, did you used to, like, show off to the other boys that you could pee to the side, like, around a corner and water a plant from around the corner? No, I never used to pee with other, other kids. Did they make fun of you in the locker room because your cock looked like it was deformed? Like a, somebody ripped no. a bone out of a baby's arm and it just hung there? No. Any other questions? <laughs> Would you um, suck on my hemorrhoid if it felt good? I'm not going to suck on anybody's hemorrhoid. <laughs> On. It's blocking my butthole. You're going to have to move it if you want to lick it. No, well, that's easy. I use my finger to move it. No, your tongue, baby. Lick my ham right. Um, excuse me. I remember once I was um, 
on a photo shoot and Mr. Stanley had a hemorrhoid and he always did his photo shoots naked. So like anytime he would bend over, there were mirrors all around so he could get a shot of me. I could see his hemorrhoid. <laughs> yeah, but he was kind of hot. He had a trophy, like he was so proud of it. Oh, yippee. He was doing making photo shoots with you. He was a cameraman. He was doing. He was naked doing photo shoots of you. Yeah. He doesn't call me a professional. It was like Terry Richardson. He's that scumbag that takes Delta. pictures of women for Vogue. He's like their head photographer. Look him up. It's a common practice. Yeah, that's because they're horny. And they won't take your lead. Penile, penile surgery costs $9,000. It could be up to 1500 though. Um, why do I care about that? Honey, it's for corrective surgery. Mm, there ain't nothing wrong with mine. You know how some people... Mine works just fine. You know how some people go to the surgeon with a picture of a nose and they say, that's exactly what I want. I'm going to get a picture of Dan's yeah. dick and drag you into the plastic surgeon's office. You know, you know I get irritated with that. <laughs> but that would be hot. If you could fuck me with a cock like Dan's, oh my God, I would break out of here and get on the Greyhound with my oxygen mask. My dick's not good enough for you. Why do you want me? Well, it's good enough for me, but it's not, it's not enough for me to like go to Maine right now on this date. Besides, I want you, not your dick. Okay. Well, I'm here, so you want to go out and tell me out? All right, so are you proposing that I leave all my medical equipment and services to go out there and be with you? No. I mean, it's probably a way to feel better. Yeah. And, you know, have you ever heard of, like, this guy? I think his name is Marvin Gaye. I've heard of him. He does a song called Sexual Healing. And maybe if Dan can come visit me, I can get better and go visit you in Maine after he heals me. Yeah, why don't we just break up and then you can go after Dan? No, I want to do it while we're together. It'll just be like a medical procedure, like a gynecologist. Um. If you keep saying that shit, we're going to break up. Why? Because I'm tired of it. I've told you that so many times, and I'm just tired of it. You want to fuck Emma and wipe your pre-cum on No, I don't. Oh, no, I don't. All right. Tried to tell you that. Shit is not funny to me. I'm just horny for you. Well, if you're horny for me, then talk about me. Not a small guy. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, hold on. <coughs> All right, hello? Hey. Hello. Uh, hello. Can you hear me? Hello? Hey, um, I wanted to apologize. Don't hang up. Oh, uh, don't start this shit again. No, I just want to apologize. Hear me out, please, Daniel. Come on. All right, what do you want? I really appreciate you not suing me. And I think you should be nice to Emma because it's not her fault. She just wants Lauren to be happy and be her friend. 
and I want to be friends again, and I won't do any sexual shit. I already told you I'm not going to sue you, so you don't have to keep fingering my asshole about this, okay? I don't have my finger anywhere near your asshole. I'm just trying to pretend to be a friend with maybe like one arm around your shoulder, not suggestively at all. It's just an expression. Oh, well, you know... Me meaning you don't have to keep blowing in my ear. You got what you want, so let's just leave it at that. You're lucky I don't sue you. Well, I thought maybe we could rekindle our platonic friendship. I, I don't I don't see that happening. I'm really sorry, and the dance was really good, and it got a lot of positive attention. People are loving it. It's not a bad thing. You're not fired yet, and did you die? No. But that's my private, personal property. You had no right to take that. Well, I removed it. I reported it to the, the server host. How many times has it been downloaded? Like, fewer than 2,000. Not even that much. Oh, that's just fucking great. That's just fucking great. But listen... Your face only showed for like 12 seconds of it. The Do you think that that's appropriate? The rest of the 12 minutes, it was just your ass pumping into Emma and her pussy and her titties. And nobody even knew that it was you guys. Do you think that's appropriate? I think it's not appropriate. And that's why I extend my heartfelt apology to you. You don't come off very apologetic. I apologize. I even, like, cut off the top of the video so nobody could see that you had a mullet. Well, they could see it from the back, though. From the way Emma put the phone up. So where do we go from here? I would love for you to take my hand in friendship. Seriously? Yeah, and, and go... Go and have sex with Emma. She really needs it. She's uptight. She needs you to, like, fuck her good, and you guys will be back together, and I'll feel better than I wouldn't... I didn't break you guys up. I know exactly what I need to do with Emma. I don't need your input on that. And by the way, I didn't have a mullet. She likes a lot of stuff. Do you want to know all the stuff she likes? I can tell you. I don't need you to tell me. Oh, yeah? What does she like? Why do I need to tell you? You need to concentrate on fixing your relationship with Lauren. Well, you need to please your woman, and she wouldn't be going after my boyfriend. Because this whole time, you had me and that poor man at direct opposition with each other, at odds with each other. You were lying on both sides, making enemies out of us. You don't feel bad about that? I I'm innocent in this, and Lauren is innocent in this. You're the guilty party. That's where the party's at. Actually, I have a, a bedside commode. The party's right next to me. What does that have to do with anything? Because you said party. <laughs> I said party, not party, 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 whatever. Uh, I'll put words in my mouth. I really like your accent. I think we should be friends. Why? So you can... Uh, you sound like my Lorny sometimes because the way he says is ours. It's, it's just really like something I think that that um, is special about you and I want to be your friend. Would you just want more Taco Bell and supersizing the fries yeah I'd love that thank you sweetie but I need you to call Emma and get back with her okay no I need I know what I need to do with them you concentrate on you and Lauren are you gonna go fly and see her you don't need to know that you should supersize her inner fry <laughs> you, have, you have been nothing but poison to our relationship you should go inflate her fry box 
so she'll fall in love with you again and I won't feel bad. Now, have you taken care of everything with Lauren? I'm trying. I'm like, I told him the truth about everything and your little bitch cunt girlfriend went over into my phone and she like got all my information and she saw the picture of your butt and your front and your underwear and he knows about that but he forgave me and I want you to forgive me too now you just called my girlfriend a, a what what was that you called her I called her a, a bootleg 007 what does that even mean she's a shitty investigator and I don't like her but I, I will like her if you're my friend. She exposed your funky ass. Yeah, I know. And she was a bitch to do that while I was on the phone with Lauren. No, you're the bitch. You deserved an opportunity to have me tell him privately. Not hear it from Emma when she wanted him to You're the bitch. Why? Because you started all this shit. Do you think Lauren's a bitch? Because he's still talking to me. I think Lorne is a good guy. Well, he really needs me to feel comfortable. And the only way I'll feel comfortable is if you're my friend again. Well, I guess it looks like he's got a long way ahead of him feeling uncomfortable. I don't know what you want me to do. I want you to call be my friend. Call now. All right. Lauren. I'm calling him right now. Lauren. Lauren. What? I'm trying to apologize and he won't accept. He will not accept. And that's up to him. That's not up to me. Did you hear what he said about you? Lauren, what's going on here? Lauren, he called you, um, a, I think he called you a bad name. No, he didn't. Did I didn't call him a bad name, you fucking cunt. Well, listen, I need you to just be my friend and be there you for me. You need to shut the fuck up. Will you send me... Gonna, will you send I'm going to punch you in the fucking teeth. Send me a picture of your face. Fuck you, cunt. I, I you know what? I think I'm going to sue you. Go ahead, sue me, fucking... There's going to be a fucking lawsuit here. Donkey dick motherfucker, you and your deformed, big, weird monster cock. No wonder Emma doesn't want you anymore. She can't handle it. Wendy. What? Stop, your stupid bullshit. Dan, you hear how he's talking to me? Ha ha. Come See? On. You're my friend. Even your boyfriend knows that you're fucking worthless. Defend me, Dan. When he, if you wanted him to befriend you, you would be nice. You wouldn't be mean. You wouldn't say stupid things like that. But he's See not what I'm talking about Lauren. He's not trying to be my friend. I'm trying. Well, you've done some mean things to him. Of course, he's going to be mad. You need to give him time to, to not to get over this. What you did was not nice. Well, Emma's not mad at me for that. Well, Everybody knows what. It looks like when she's coming. And whose fault is that? Yours, because you have the magic dick, I guess. I don't know. You're a fucking animal. Oh. But I don't care about that. I just want to be your friend. Come on. Come on. What's going on here? Come on, Dan. Wendy, if you want to be your friend, you're going to start being nice to him and to his girlfriend. Exactly. It's not the mean that the mean that bullshit. I don't want to be disrespectful to you, Lauren, but you need to put this cunt in check before I do. You know what? I just think that maybe you and Lauren should have a talk because you made her come in like seven times. And why do you have minutes. to keep saying that? Because I want him to learn how to do that to me. Be my friend. Be Lauren's friend. I am Lauren's friend. Tell him how you did that to Emma to make her eyes like fall out. Wendy, of her. Wendy, 
but you need to stop being offensive. Stop being mean. Never mind what Dan and Emma do. What Dan and Emma do needs to be totally different from what me and you do. So you need to just stop. Period. I want to be. You're not bad. scoring points with anyone. I have no uh, no doubt in my mind that Lorne doesn't know what to do. He knows all about the tongue tornado, the Slytherin snake. He knows all about that. Does he know how to tune in Tokyo? Tune in Tokyo. He knows all that stuff. Lauren, I Dan, my mom. Dan grabbed Emma's titties and he twisted her nipples and he said, oh, I'm tuning in Tokyo <laughs> in the video. Lorne, say something. Wendy, you need to stop. But it was funny, though. It was like, I, I was applauding your, your humor, Dan. Wendy, you just lost the two best friends that you ever could have. I'm trying to get it back. How are you trying to get it back? Talking shit. I'm apologizing, and I'm telling you, you looked great in the video, and I want you and Emma to be in love again and trying to make you happy. And then you're talking about my big, huge, fat boner going in and out of the cunt. Well, yeah. Why, why are you doing that? Because it was like 10 minutes worth of the video. Yeah, well, you need to stop mentioning the video. You need to stop talking about his dick and about her cunt. Exactly. It was that is none of your business. Video, not 10. Let, let's not sell me short here. Well, didn't she know she was going to meet up with you? Why didn't she shave her pubes? Long, hard strokes. Yeah, I know. Lauren, see? Listen, take notes. I'm Pussy not taking any like, notes. Pussy felt like velvet. Oh, my... I Dan, so we're friends. Now, you're sharing such intimate detail. All right, is that all? Will you be my... Will you please be my friend? We'll see. Baby steps. Yeah. I'm sorry, Dan. Thank you for all the tacos. All right. Lauren, how you doing? I'm doing good. How good. you doing, Dan? You know, every day is an everyday struggle, you know? Ha ha, Dan. Lauren was oh, on yeah, the phone the whole time. <laughs> what? How are you, sir? What? I'm sorry. I was just making a joke about the animal planet. Hold what on. is she talking about? Hold on. They're going to... Can you crush it up in applesauce, please? So, Dan, are you going to come to California so you can make up with Emma and take her on a nice date with, like, champagne and everything? Me and Emma are working our issues out. You are? Did you talk to her? We. You don't need to know that. Yeah, I do. I really want to know that what why, I did. Why are, you, why are you all up in everybody else's Kool-Aid? Because I'm, I'm really sick, and I don't know what's going to happen to me. And I want to die knowing that I didn't do anything to hurt you guys. But the problem is, is you're all up in my Kool-Aid and you don't even know the flavor. That's the problem. I think it's banana, actually. <laughs> oh, yeah. Lauren, you know, what are we going to do? It's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. I think what you and Emma do are up to you guys. I agree. I, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to tell anybody what, what they should do and what they shouldn't do. Do you like Kool-Aid, Lon? Uh, Kool-Aid's all right. Lon likes Tang. Poon Tang! Like the Poon Tang clan. That was actually funny. You're not laughing, Lon. Nah, uh, it's because it's, what, 12.30 tonight? Something like that? Yeah, Lon, you know why she... I don't know why she keeps calling you and Emma. It's so late at night. 
Yeah, I, I don't get it either. Were you in bed? Yes. You and Lauren should be friends. You both have a lot in common. Like we you have know, friends. You both are handsome. You both sleep naked. You both like um to eat chicken, and you both like Emma kinda. And I think that um that I can be a good friend to you both, Dan, you and Emma. And I'm really sorry. And you both like Mexican chichis. <laughs> Lauren likes your girlfriend's chichis, by the way. Well, they're nice chichis. I can't blame them for that. So, are you going to come to California? I'm going to do what I'm going to do. If Baby you, steps, Wendy. If you do, um, I want to try a Wendy's Frosty. <sighs> What, what am I, a piggy bank? No, you're a food truck. Honk, honk. <laughs> you don't know what I'm honking. It's the honking horn. Has she been taking medication tonight, Lauren? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they get her on something. It's creamy. Like, I seen it on the commercial. Oxy toad on or oxy cotton or something like that. Oxy, and I'm not talking about acne pads, baby. <laughs> all right, so Dan, you're gonna accept all my apologetics, and I am gonna like give you a big hug when I see you, and I'm not gonna think sexually of you anymore, or talk about your big cock to anybody because Lauren says it's none of my business that you fuck with. It's, it's not. It's not none of your business. And you fuck her throat with it all deep. She doesn't even like, cough. Wendy, 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 don't piss me off. Wendy. Okay? Do you know how she does that? What? She told me. Wendy. You have to stick your tongue Wendy. out. Wendy. Who cares, Wendy? I'm telling you, Lauren. No, I'm not. Fuck it off. If you stick. People say no. Yeah. Yeah, but Lauren, when you fuck my throat. Hey, hey. When you fuck my throat, I'm going to stick it. more about it. No more. You don't need to say any more sexual shit. All right. Thank you, Dan. You're a good teacher and a good friend, and I apologize. Ruff, ruff, gar. <laughs> That's not funny. Okay. Sorry, I was trying to make you laugh, friend. None of this is funny right now, Wendy. All right, but look. All you're doing is pissing us off. I'm just saying, you gotta like stick your tongue out when it goes down your throat and you won't gag. It's a trick that she taught me. I haven't had to try it yet. I'm Lauren. Wendy! What, baby? God damn it! Stop, stop with the fucking stupid shit. I'm sorry, but I just pictured you yelling and you're naked and your balls probably scrunched up really cute, baby. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm in love with Lauren Armstrong. You need to stop with the stupid sexual bullshit. Get your mind right away from sexual shit and start talking about something more appropriate. I like Kool-Aid. You didn't ask <clears throat> me, but I like Tropical Punch flavor. By the way, Wendy, how are you feeling? How how did everything work out with your surgery? Are you recovering well? No, I have really bad fever and like I had a blood infection, but I am gonna be okay because Lauren said so. And even and I have hospice now helping with my pain, my my two surgeries and they pulled an object out of my pussy that I shoved in there and I was masturbating. <laughs> And that's healing too. Thank you for asking. I'll be okay. I hope they let me out soon. Well, as long as you do the right things and take care of yourself. And by the know. way, I wasn't thinking of you when I put the object in. It was Lauren, right, baby? No, well, I actually hope so. Yeah. When what if you get stuck in my pussy like the hairbrush handle? <laughs> you shouldn't do that, Wendy. You could hurt yourself. 
I know, Lauren, but um, I mean, Dan. I'm Dan. I said I meant I tried not to hurt myself. I was trying to give myself pleasurable and be pleasured. But I'll be better. They stretch, they stick a stretcher in my pussy every day to make sure it's healing. Why would they do that? Because they had to, they had make to. Sure, make sure it doesn't heal together. Yeah, they had to scrape the inner walls and they said that like your tissue inside of you likes to heal together and find other tissue. So they have to put stuff inside of me and it hurts. It's like a painful procedure and they put lidocaine or something like that, that the, like the dentist put in your ears and they give me a shot in my belly button before they do it. Well, just remember all this that you're going through. The next time you choose to stick a, a hair care product in your vagina. I'm going to make a joke. It wasn't the handle of my hairbrush. It was the dandle. <laughs> I forget it. Wendy, that's not funny. I don't even know what a dandel is. <laughs> Sometimes people name their sex toys. Wendy, that's not funny. Oh. It's... Sorry. What, are you throwing up over there? Yeah. <laughs> you all right, baby? <laughs> I'm, drinking, I'm drinking some orange crush over here. <laughs> when you are fucking Emma, you said, I'm sweating over here. Where else would you be sweating? <laughs> okay, Wendy, Wendy. Remember? You don't need dog more anybody fucking. <laughs> How many times does Lauren have to tell you not to do this and you continue to do this? Did you think it was funny when she said, I think some of your sweat got in my mouth, baby? Why do you have to keep referencing this? Because I watched it like three times today online before I took it down and before I reported it away. Did you report it away or are you lying? Well, it's gone. I reported it away, but I watched it first like three times and then like after the hour was through, I just reported it. It was like at 3 p.m. It's gone. It better be. But it's alive in my heart. <laughs> just kidding. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> just kidding. The thing you shouldn't be thinking about, Wendy. You want Dan and I'm going to be friends with you again. You, you need to. You, you really need to think more about what you're saying. Mm. Think before you speak, have a filter. Okay, but just one more thing. Remember when Emma said you were the pussy crusher? <laughs> okay, I've had enough. One day. I've had enough. <laughs> All right, sorry, Dan. I've had enough. Goodbye. Bye, crusher. All right, he one accepted day. my apology. It's all good now, baby. Oh, it's not all good when you keep saying stupid shit. I thought I was being Leave clever. the private shit alone. Do you want to see the video? No, I don't want to see the video. <laughs> it's offline. You can't if you have it, it you need to delete it. I don't have it. Emma can't get into my you phone need to stop talking. Can she? You need to see what? Emma can't get into my phone anymore, can she? Not that I know. I don't know how it works. Okay, good. So I deleted the video. I don't have it. You need to stop talking about his dick and her pussy. I was only talking about his dick. Not Pete. Huh? 
I was only talking about his dick. I wasn't even talking about her pussy. That's disrespectful to him. Uh, you don't think talking about his dick is, is disrespectful to me? No, because you both are men. You both have cocks, piss pots, and poop shoots, baby. It doesn't matter. I don't want to hear about his dick. You already know that. Why do you keep saying <laughs> pussy? Are you thinking of what Emma's pussy feels like? It doesn't feel like velvet. It feels like sandpaper. I cut my finger in it. I don't I don't think about his dick. I don't think about her pussy. That's them. That's not me. I'm not in their relationship. Can I jack you off with sandpaper? I'm in a relationship with you. Oil? I'm in a relationship with you. I know. The only, that's the only pussy I think about. Yeah, but when I say Emma's pussy was a little bit hairy when Dan was fucking it, didn't you, like, think of a hairy pussy? No. I couldn't believe that you were talking about it. Are you thinking about it right now, a hairy pussy? It wasn't that hairy. No. No, no. Have you ever fucked a woman with a hairy pussy? Yep. Was it gross? Wasn't gross. Wasn't in my mouth, so wasn't gross. She had a hairy pussy. Wouldn't put it in my mouth. That's cool. So you don't mind if I don't wax all the time? I don't mind if you don't wax all the time. As long as you don't, you don't fuck long. Uh. A foot long hair, pussy hair, bush. What if it starts curling up like your crop circles? Then it starts curling up. And then our crop circles are going to fight when we have sex and they're going to have a battle and they're going to like pull each other out of our bodies. I'd rather have you shave though. I'm a, see, I told you, fucking pigs. What? 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 Because you want it to look like a little girl. What? What? What'd you say? Because you want it to look like a little girl. No. So you shaved. I don't care if you shave it off or if you, if you trim it. You don't, you don't want it long. I think you should have said trim, okay? I want to shoot your cock right now with it like a BB gun. Right in the head. Christ, stop. Stop with, with this little, all this little girl crap. Little girl? Not interested in little... Yeah, I'm not interested in little girl. Well, then a prepubescent girl. Then... You need to stop. Okay. What's the youngest girl you ever fucked? Youngest girl I ever fucked? 20. Okay. Why? You say it was Tony? I said it was tw she was 20. Oh. 20. Oh. The number, two zero. Do you want me to count my hairs down there so you know I don't have too many? You want to keep saying offensive shit? Yeah. Well, no. <laughs> How are you feeling? Offensive. No, don't feel offensive. I am for abortion. I think you should wait till they're right after the eighth month and then rip them out.
Can I abort you? No, I'm not in charge of you. I think it would be funny if you got me pregnant every year and I got an abortion and pretend I was having a miscarriage. <laughs> oh, well, one of those years, we want to born and have a kid. <laughs> I get pregnant like every year and I'll say, oh, sorry, baby. And you'll have a bunch of bloody coat hangers. All your work clothes will be bloody. You don't know why. And you'll be like, that was a really good burrito. I'm glad Emma taught you how to cook that meat. <laughs> Once a year, you'll eat your own baby. <laughs> Calm down. You're going to hurt your throat. Uh, Emma ate like a thousand of Dan's babies because she tried to drink as much cum as she could because he said, drink as much as you can, baby. Listen. <laughs> Listen. She wrote I his I already out. told you. I have already told you to not talk about and then <gasps> Dan sexually. Uh, do you think his sperm is dead too? Let's <sighs> not talk about him and Dan sexually. I want you to rub your cock up and down my ass crack. You what? Uh, I want to eat a big old dick. Well, come get it. Have you ever seen Terminator 2? Yep. And there was a comment on the video that after Dan comes and is some of it like dripped on the Emma's chichi, it'll collect like the liquid metal and it'll turn, <laughs> it'll turn into another <laughs> cunt crusher. <laughs> you have to keep talking about the video and shit, don't you? When does Dan come on the floor? Can't you talk about something else? <laughs> well, sometimes you see a good movie and you're like, you gotta talk about it. Yeah, uh, well, you don't need to be talking about him. His nipples are better than yours, sorry. Oh, according to you, everything's been better on Dan than it is on me, so whatever. That's not true. I don't know what your cum tastes like or his. I can't compare. Doesn't matter. You can keep doing, keep doing stupid shit like this. Like you want to find somebody else? No, I want to be with you. You're my firework. Well, prove it. You already know I don't like offensive bullshit. What about stuffing my dead body and putting it in a closet to fuck after I die? No. Yeah. Well, we got to remain together first. All right, but that's not offensive. Are you, did you tell your mom your plan? Is she going to help pick out the clothes I have for eternity? What the hell would I tell my mother for? Because if it's not offensive, then why wouldn't you? It's a joke between me and you. It's not a joke. You really want to do it. You probably called, like, one of your taxidermy brothers. Oh, my fucking God. Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> You're dumb. You need to stop with all the sexual bullshit. All right, baby. I'm sorry. When it comes to the other people, leave other people alone. You want Dan's friendship back? He's, he basically told you he's willing to give it to you, but he's going to take it slow. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Don't call him again. Hello? Hello? <laughs> you yawn really cute. Hey, I have something to tell you. What? Hello? Hello? What? 
Dan. Hello? Yeah. Hey, Dan. What, what is, what's going on here? What? All right, hold on. I'm really sorry for earlier when I was talking sexually about you. Okay. Yeah. Are you naked like Lauren? Are you fucking kidding me? Mm. What the fuck? <laughs> Are you woke me up for this? <laughs> Just kidding. Bye. It's okay, baby. I hung up on him. Why did you even call him? Well, at first, I was going to ask him if he was wearing that blue G-string, but then I thought that would make you mad, baby, so then I just apologized again. Aren't you proud of me? Yeah, but you don't need to keep calling people. I'm sorry. Why do you feel it's necessary to call people and wake them up? Me, fine. You called me Other all people? night. Oh. Huh? You called me all night. I said, me is fine if you call and wake me up. No, you called you me all night. You don't need to call night. other people. You called me all night. I said, it is fine if you call and wake me up. Other people, leave them alone. Call me all night if you want to. That's different. I'm your boyfriend, so that's different. <laughs> Other people you can leave alone. Have you ever seen a porno called Two Girls, One Cup? No. I want Dan to take a shit in the ice cream cone. <laughs> What's funny about that? <laughs> Emma will eat it. She'd eat the shit right out of his ass, wouldn't you? <clears throat> I wish you would stop talking about sexual shit all the time. I wish I had buttermilk pancakes with syrup. Like, really hot. Like, you put the butter on it, and it goes away right away. Because it melts. Okay, mm. I gotta go. It's up to you. All you're doing is talking sexual shit anyway about other people. Dan probably rubs his balls drinking out of the orange juice container at the fridge in the middle of the night, huh? And there you go again, talking sexual shit about someone else. I can't help it. I'm on medication, just like when you're on Bud Light. Oh, you can you can help it. I wish I could help, you can help myself that. to it. When I drink Bud Light, I don't talk sexual shit about other people. Well, it's not sexual. Anyway, he had itchy balls. And the world is really hungry. Maybe we can invite them to a Dan buffet because he comes huge loads. That's the way they won't be hungry anymore. I really can't believe that you think I like to hear my girlfriend saying <laughs> shit like that. <laughs> You probably have tapeworm, and when you take a shit, you you pull out the tapeworm, and you think it's toilet paper. Will you please stop talking sexual shit about other people? Yeah. I want to, like, a thing. Coffee. Dan is perfect. Well, I guess... You probably ought to go after him, then we'll, we'll break up and you can go after him. Are you sure, baby? Hey, it's what you want. You can't stop talking about him. I'm tired of you talking about him. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hey. <laughs> what the fuck? Lauren said that we could break up and you and I can finally be together, baby. 
What? Uh, see, Lauren, see when you say stupid shit like that? Cut it out. Sorry, Dan. It was just an experiment. Go to sleep. I love you. I mean, never mind. I love, I like you. Go to bed. Wait a minute. What? I hung up on him. <laughs> see, Lauren, when you say stupid shit, see what happens? Or I called her and she asked me how I was doing. And then I gave her Dan's number and she called. <laughs> Here, hold on. I have the recording. I'll play it for you. Because Dan, I told Dan to record it. And because they said, have sex with Matilda and record it. He said, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's something you shouldn't do, though. I'll record people. Cause, see, and, see what, uh, what happens is if you record somebody. Hello? And, uh, Hi, Matilda. <laughs> you remember what happened last night? Baby, Matilda had too much wine. I'm so sorry. I didn't know you was on the floor. Matilda! You had to hear me say Hi, dirty Matilda. words. Oh, my. <laughs> hey, baby. How you doing, Matilda? <laughs> I'm sorry for last night, baby. I did not know she was going to call me with that man on the other line. I'm sorry. I said those uh, things. I mean, I'm sorry, too, because I don't remember what happened. <laughs> oh, Matilda got caught flirting with some man. She... She called me oh, and really? said, <laughs> she called me and said, his name's Dan, and would you like to talk to him? And I said, okay, baby. And she told me she hung up. And then, well, I'll just tell you, I described what I would do to something that God made so beautiful and enjoyable, baby. I ain't going to get too, too graphic. And then you started laughing, and I got so embarrassed, and you hung up, Lauren. And then, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but Matilda, Matilda uh, yeah. been sending pictures to that man. My, uh, Matilda been sending pictures to that man. He know, he know what color my nipples is. Matilda, uh, are you still drinking? Matilda, <laughs> baby, I'm depressed. Uh, Matilda, you know that he, has, you know that he has a girlfriend, right? No, baby. They broke up, the one with the tattoos. Yeah, they're basically back together. You know, baby, I don't know what to tell you. I feel very embarrassed. i got to admit I woke up and had another nip of three. And I'm just but I, I'm very, I, baby, ever since I lost my job, I've just been sleeping in bed, depressed. And last night, that man made me perk up. I said, Lord, Lord, I found the river. But I ain't going to tell you where, Lauren. That's private. Matilda, you're on me. <laughs> okay, baby, I, I, I'm going to hang up before I say something I regret. God bless you. Bye, Matilda. <laughs> Bye, Matilda. <laughs> I didn't record it. I was just kidding. I want you to know the way that it works. You can record somebody all you want, but it's when you play it to somebody else that you can get sued for. Oh. I want you to know that. So that, that way you don't you don't wind up recording somebody and, and play it to anybody else. I forgot that Emma took away my app. I used to be able to push my volume up and the on button, and it'll take a picture of the screen. But and it'll record. But Emma took it off, I think. Well, I love you, baby. And the tuna was horny, huh? <laughs> that was funny. I didn't know she could get horny. Oh, <laughs> uh, she's funny. She's definitely a funny woman. She said she sent Dan a picture. Yeah, I yeah. know. <laughs> I'm going to yeah, ask I'm, him to I'm, send I'm, it to me. I'm sure that made Dan blush. Yeah, you can tell when he blushes because he's white. But I can't tell when Matilda blushes, so I didn't know she could get more me. <laughs> It's not racist I think everybody to say that. Your homie, baby. 
What? I, I said I think everybody can get horny. I can't think of Matilda and horny, but I would have a naked pillow fight with her. I want to squeeze her boobs with permission. <laughs> I want to squeeze your boobs. I know, you saw them, kind of. I saw them, kind of? Yeah. When? Last night. Last night I did? Yeah, and you got so mad. And you said, this isn't you, I'm deleting the picture. And then you said, multimedia file, my ass. And I said, it's really me. And then you said, I didn't... Oh, no. You said, I didn't even get no, a picture. No, I remember. I remember that. I, I clicked it on. I didn't even, I didn't know what it was. I clicked it on. Uh, it disappeared. Ah. Like, I didn't... I didn't get to see anything. Man. I, I kept looking for it. I was like, where the hell did it go? And Fucking Emma. I didn't believe it. She took off... She took off any way that I could make a recording or even take a picture, I think. My last night, that sucks. I won't see your movies. you called me a jerk and said I was an asshole. And then I sent a picture of, um, I tried to send a picture of my boobs to Dan to piss you off. And I couldn't. Uh, well, you don't send a picture of your boobs to Dan. He's not your boyfriend, I am. I know, you called me an asshole oh, and a jerk. And you said, you want Dan, go have him. I said, I don't even want Dan. I was asking him how to do deep breathing exercises, and you said, you don't want me. I said, fine. I sent my boobs to Dan, and he said, ew, I don't like little boobs like yours. Don't send me. I'm going to tell Lauren. Uh, you, you don't send me boobs. Don't send your boob pictures to anybody but me. I know. He got mad. We, got, we broke up last uh -huh. night. You're so mean to me. I, I don't even remember that. I, got, I thought you and Dan got mad at each other, and I was trying to be there for you. That's, that's all I remember. I don't remember. Dan kept telling I don't remember being mad at you. Dan kept saying, calm down, Lauren. I'm not doing anything bad. And why were you listening to the conversation without saying hi? And you said, fuck you. And you called him an F word, an F-A-G word. I did? Yeah. Well, that wasn't very nice. I'm going to have to apologize to Dan. Yeah, and then Dan said, How can I be gay? I eat your best friend's pussy like breakfast. And you said, And that with the sexual <laughs> shit. And you got mad at that. And he was just telling you the truth. Uh, well, uh, what a jerk. <laughs> I know. That's terrible. Why do you do that? You should be happy when you're drunk. I don't... I, mean, I don't know. I, mean, I think it's just uh, I think it's just the, the threat that you keep me, keep mentioning Dan this and Dan that, and that's it's in my brain. And I get a it's gonna take a little bit for it to get out of my brain. Yeah, right. Once it's out of my brain, well, I'm, I'm, yeah, once it's out of my brain, and I know he's not a threat. You're well, lying and, again. You don't even have a brain. Last night you were being so mean, and I said, "Where is this man's head?" And you said, you want your head right up Dan's ass, wouldn't you? And I didn't understand. <laughs> uh, that's terrible. Why were you like that? Well, you are I don't know, baby. I, I don't know. When you're drunk, the devil goes in your heart. And I you, know. You think it's funny when you're mean. I felt sad last night. I didn't do anything wrong. You said, send me a picture of your tits. And I did. And you <laughs> said, I didn't get it. I said, you just said you tried to open it. And you said, I don't remember that. And you're just like, oh, my God. Like Orville Redenbacher or something. I, I do remember I do remember you sending me something, but when I tried to open it, it wouldn't open. And and then, I, wasn't, uh, I, was, uh, I was looking through the text, and I was like, what the, what the hell happened to it? I was looking all through it, trying to find it, 
and I couldn't find it anywhere. Because you deleted it on accident, probably. Because you saw it. You saw he sent it. And you were like, I don't know how to work this fucking shit. I can't see straight. And I said, you drinking? He said, just coffee. Get off my ass. I said, I'm not on your ass. <laughs> Dave, I'm sorry, baby. Sorry for being an asshole. And you kept calling me Xavier Lover, and you asked me how Xavier's dick tasted, and I said, why, you want to suck it? And you said, fuck you! Jesus. Yeah. I'm sorry I was an asshole last night. Okay, but... I, mean, I, don't, I don't remember being an asshole. I didn't, you know, the last thing I remember was... Because I was trying to be there for you because you and Dan were mad at each other. And and Dan sent me some message saying that he was going to resue you. Do you remember? That's why I was trying to be there for you. Do you remember driving uh -huh. home? Do you remember driving home last night? And you said, oh, fuck, a cat. Oh, no, it was a skunk. And you hit a skunk. But it was a cat named Lulu. A cat named Lulu? A cat. Oh, no. Uh, no, there weren't a cat named Lulu. Yeah. I, mean, uh, I remember driving home. I remember going home. Yeah, I remember I remember that I ran over the top of the skunk. Yeah, you, and then you said, no, baby, it wasn't a skunk. Don't worry. I said, was it a cat? And you said, yeah, baby, don't worry. It wasn't anything. And I said, you killed Lulu. And you said, shut up. You're trying... I can't drive straight with you crying. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> I remember. Okay, anyway, that's what I remember that I don't remember. And then you said, <laughs> and then I told him that um, my mouse, I told you my mouse was dead. And you said, well, you don't have to worry about the cat eating your mouse anymore, don't you? All mean. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, that's terrible. I know. Sorry I was an asshole, baby. But it's like my vagina closed up for you forever last night when you were mean. It didn't close up for me forever. Because I'm right here and you're right there and you're going to be here and we're going to be together. Dad's we're going we're gonna to wind up getting things straight. Okay, but... You really shouldn't call Dan the F-A-G word, because that's not nice. I, no, no, that's not nice. I get to apologize to Dan for that. For he, doing that. he wasn't even trying I, to tell you. I remember you. doing that. He was just being nice, like telling you, calm down, Lauren. Go, um, go lay down for a little bit, because you're being irrational and screaming. He said, I can scream all the fuck I want. Yeah, I get it. I gotta apologize to Dan for doing that. And then you said something about him having like a horse <laughs> dick or something. And he said, I can't help what I was born with and you're holding it against me. And then I said, I wish Dan would hold it against me to make you mad. And you said, fuck you both. Yeah, well, well you say something like that, I can understand why I get pissed. Yeah, but Nobody you started it. Like that. You started it. You called him a fag. You said he has a big... He, you don't care about his big dick, and you and gay people have him like that. And why don't you go suck a cock? And you said mean things. I had to, I had to set you straight because Dan was really hurting. It's not nice. No, what's nice? But it doesn't make it. It doesn't make it better when you try to say something to make me more mad. Well, yeah, but you were being a jerk, and you were, like, um, calling him the F-word, and I said, well, at least Dan can find the clit in the video, and you said, I don't give a fuck if he can find a clit or not. So, in other words, you, you, you were sticking up for Dan, and then yeah, you wrote me. Right, because all he did was right, say, who's shut up. Who's your boyfriend? All he did was say, have you talked to Emma today? And then he said, how are you doing? And um, I told him that my surgery is getting better. 
And I even said, my surgery between my legs is getting better. And you said, don't tell that fucking faggot about your pussy. And I said, what is your problem? And you just got mad for nothing. You deserved it. You don't even know what you did, but it was an asshole move. Uh, yeah, but you still, the things that you didn't, uh, that you shouldn't have done. I was, uh, I might have been an asshole, but it's still things you should not have done. No. Yeah, I'm your boyfriend. You, no. I'm your boyfriend, you know. You're not supposed to provoke me to, to get mad and stuff. I have no blame. I told you to stop getting mad, and I don't have sex with Dan. And you said, well, you want to. You want him more than you want me. And Dan said, no, she doesn't want you. If she doesn't want me, she wants you, Lauren, because I have Emma. And you said, I don't need either of you. I only need Wendy. And hang the fucking phone up on that fucking F word. You're really inexcusably mean. I'm sorry, baby, for being mean. Poor that was mean. That was mean. I don't remember saying that stuff, but that was, that was mean. And then I told you to call your mom and tattle on yourself. And you said, don't you fucking talk about my fucking mother. <coughs> and you got mad at Emma, too, because you kept telling me to call her. And she kept saying, please don't call me when you're inebriated. And I told her, fuck you, you dirty Mexican with brown nipples. And you laughed. And Emma said, so, Lauren, you think that's funny? And you said, well, yeah. And she said, don't ever call me again. What? Where are you? It says you're still on the phone. And you told her not to ever call Hi, you. Baby. And you told her. Huh? And you you told her to calm down and she said your girlfriend's calling me at 3 a.m. <laughs> insulting me and saying I have brown Mexican nipples and I said yeah and they give chocolate milk and then you started laughing and Emma said you think that's funny Lauren and you said well yeah and um, Wendy don't, don't mean no harm and Emma said you can't call me inebriated anymore and you said, oh, you're my best fucking friend. You didn't have any reason to leave me. And she said, don't ever call me back. Um, that was all fast and we're not because I, she knows I was drinking. She knows um, that's not the normal way I talk to her. Yeah, but don't you remember when I said... Emma, Lauren saw your tits, and um, and Lauren jacks off for your tits, and you said, you keep it up, I will, and Emma said, come on, Lauren, <laughs> and you're like, well, you got nice tits, I got to tell the truth, and you made me cry. No, I didn't mean to make you cry. I don't want to hear how oh, you like... I don't, I don't, I don't want to hear I don't how you remember. like another woman's tits. That's not fair. I'm sorry, honey. I can't tell you anything about <laughs> Dan's body parts, but you and Emma... I don't know. You guys are, like, cheating on each other all over me. Baby, I wouldn't, I wouldn't cheat on you. You I never that. wanted to see them as tits. That was the first time I had ever seen them as tits. I had never seen their tits before. You like them? I, I don't have that. I don't have that kind of interest in them. Well, you said and yeah. The only, one I have that, the only one I have that kind of interest in is you. And you said yeah. The only, you're the only one I care about. And you said yeah. You're the one that put them on my screen. And if my pecker got hard for them, it's because they were nice-looking tits. And you should have told me the truth. And I started crying, crying. 
And then I called Dan. I'm sorry, baby. And I said, Dan, Lauren says he likes Emma's tits. And Dan said, well, they're nice tits. And I said, well, that's not fair because I can't say anything about how I like you, but I still love Lauren. And then Lauren said, Dan's a fucking faggot. He, and he sucks cock. Uh, I got to apologize to Dan. Okay. That was terrible for me to do that. Yeah. I, I don't remember doing it. But, yeah, I got to apologize to him for that. I was a peckerhead. I love you, baby. Too. I want to know I don't I don't have an interest for anybody else but you. To me, you're the dirty. You are you're the only person in the world that has tips. You're the only person in the world that I want to see that I want to see their tips. I'm not the only person in the world that has tits, and you're not the only person in the world that has a penis, <laughs> and it's okay for me to have a fantasy and not tell you about it to make you jealous but it's not okay for you to call your friend and tell her she has nice tits when you know I'm sensitive about my little ones alright calm down don't give me a fake cry either cause I can tell the difference between you fake and you're real no you can't cause I'm obviously hurting see now you're to talk again <laughs> you're minimizing it well, baby. you're just trying to like baby Fuzzle me. I love you. Uh, I won't talk about anybody, anybody's tips again. But you're hurting me. Except yours. I'll talk about your tits because I love your tits. But you're hurting my tits. They're both sad. Now they're going to sag because well, they're sad. Send, send, me, send me a picture of them so I can see them and I'll kiss them both. Maybe I will after you're done being mean. I'm done being mean. I feel hard on to you right now. Oh. I love hearing you. Really? Yeah. I'm ready. Because I'm driving, too. You have a hard on and you're driving? Where are you going? I'm working right now. Right, right now I'm making $18 an hour. Half drunk off your ass. Ha <laughs> ha! No, I'm not drunk. I didn't start for my dirty. Okay. I didn't start working for my dirty because I made sure that I got back from my sleep and did everything I was supposed to do. Ate breakfast, fed the dogs. Took another shower this morning. I wish you were with, here with me. Okay. I went, okay, like last night. <laughs> Emma, I called Emma. And I told her. Um, in the video, Dan licked you from your belly button to your asshole. And you said, stop fucking saying that. But I was only saying it because I, I think it would be hot. I want you to lick me from my belly button to my ass like Dan did to Emma. But don't stop in the middle to spit out a pubie hair like he did. Just swallow it. Thank you. I want to lick you from your asshole to your belly button. Ow, that's the wrong way. Your huh? You're going to lick my Cornville Crunch into my JJ. You got to do it from the belly button. That's not... All right. Yeah. I'll, I'll do it from both. <laughs> I go up, and then I go back down. Oh, <sighs> yeah. Lick my Cornville Crunch while I suck your stinky wiener. <laughs> 
Delouded? Yeah, because my oxygen levels are coming up, and they put me in a different part. And they gave me, um... That's my girl. Delouded. My baby is doing better. Jean What's your temperature, baby? Jean-Pierre Wary is going to put on a safari hat, and he's going to go searching in your pube jungle, and he's going to find a scary snake with a birth defect. That makes his neck a 90 degree angle. <laughs> it's gonna be funny. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, you want me to go my you the bear back or you want me to shave up? No, I want you to go bear back. I, I said, do you want me to go my pubic hair back or do you want me to shave up? Oh, I found a new thing I like. I want you to get like a stripe of hair from your belly button to your cock like a long line <laughs> and your cock heads the arrow at the end of the line it's an artist an art you do that Kay um, like, no, when, you're, when you're here we'll do that no you asked me what I wanted it'll be a landing strip uh, yeah and I'm gonna go <laughs> oink 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 let me slobber on it like a little piggy yeah, but we'll do that when, you, when you're here. I want you to, to do that stuff to me. Then why the fuck? Yeah, yeah, I want you to... Why did you ask? I want you to say whatever you want to say. Then why did you ask? Well, I, well because I want to you know. If you want me to go on my pubic hair back, then I'm going to start keep going on the back right now. Lauren, do you... If you want me to shave it, then I'll shave it. Lauren, do you want me to but, go see you? Oh, yeah. I, I got, want you to be with me forever. I got a prepaid card today. I can just jump on a plane. Do you want me to go see you? You got a what card? I got a prepaid phone card, and I can charge plane tickets to it. Do you want me to come see you? Oh, yeah, I do. Oh, okay, but I'm not going to, though. You know, I was just you're, asking. You're not going to. No, I was just asking. Yeah. Just just like with you and the pews. You're being, you're being a smart ass. Yeah. Being a smart ass. Yeah. You <laughs> asked me how I wanted your pubes, and I told you how, and you said, nope, not going to do it. So that's what you get, you little monkey oh, twat. Oh, crap. You're so funny. You're a blue waffle. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're a strawberry shortcake. Yeah, and you're going to lick all my cream. You stick your tongue in my pussy hole. I'm gonna come down your throat. You're gonna swallow me all up. Yeah. I taste like a caramel apple, baby. Yummy. What was that? <laughs> Emma. Oh, wait to taste you. Emma's here. Very much. Why are you talking Very dirty? Very to taste you. The fuck's? <laughs> Do you want me to leave? No, I was telling Lauren about my pussy taste. Yeah, it tastes like a fart. Is that Emma? Yeah. Emma. Emma was on an asshole last night. Oh, my God, Lauren. You really... I'm so sorry. I was like, what is wrong with you? And that's why I came today. Wow. Because Casey was... Or Wendy, sorry, was crying. And, like, she was crying nonstop. And you just kept saying... And wouldn't you? You'd like that, wouldn't you, Wendy? You'd like to be there watching. And I'm like, Lauren, what are you doing? And you said, yeah, and you fucking let your boyfriend fucking flirt with my girlfriend all day and night, and he's a fucking faggot trying to prove he's straight. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, he proves he's straight every time he pushes my guts into my throat. What's your problem? And you just were like, wow. Weird. I don't know why you were so mad I'm last sorry. night. I'm sorry. I, I, I gotta apologize to Dan. 
that, that was terrible. Well, I just came by here because <laughs> not um, Taco Bell doesn't uh, do Taco Bell doesn't do regular tacos for breakfast, but here's an egg taco. What the fuck is this shit? It doesn't even have any ground beef. Yeah, it has, you, hey, they're on the bottom. Why would you be mad at her when she brought you something? Hey, don't hey, that's a new shirt. Wendy. I don't want it. Take it away, Wendy. Wendy. You don't yell at my boyfriend. Turn your ass up. He can do what he wants. Wendy. Now pick up that taco. Wendy. Before you slip. Wendy. It's okay. She's gone. Wendy. Wendy. What? Can you hear me? Yeah. Turn your ass up. It was an. Don't treat them like that anymore. It was an egg taco. What the fuck is this Mexican? Make everything Mexican. Bring me an egg on a plate, not so in a what? tortilla. She was nice enough. She was, she was nice enough to bring you something. Yeah, she, your ass up. She thinks I'm a crybaby. I can't handle myself because I was crying last night. Really, Wendy. I wish Wendy. it was Dad that brought me a taco. Smarten your ass up. Why? I got like an adult, not like a kid. You. You kept telling Dan he sucks Please. cum out of buttholes. Treat, when the, treat Emma better than that. She brought you something to eat. Well, I gave it back to her. She didn't have to do that. Uh, take it graciously. I can't help it that she's a soccer Thank player you. and not used to using her hands to catch stuff that goes towards her. She's used to using her mouth, though. <laughs> you, need, you need to be nice to her. You need to stop <laughs> acting like that. That's she, just not funny. She probably calls football... Football Americano. <laughs> He's Mexican. That's stupid. <laughs> you need to stop acting like that. All right. I'm sorry. Treat Emma better than that. I'm she, sorry. She is, she's your friend, remember? I'm sorry. You don't want to lose her as a friend again, do you? No, of course not. It's just how we play around. Okay. We're like Rick James. Well, you don't, you don't ruin that shirt. Murphy. You don't ruin it. You don't ruin anything, anything of anybody. It's not your place to ruin something of someone's. See, I'm like Rick James because I got an attitude and I'm sassy. And Emma's like Charlie yeah, Murphy. Well, you need to get She'll rid of the attitude. She'll just fucking beat your ass. She don't even care. She'll just beat you up. It's me. I'm Charlie Murphy. I give Emma's titties three thumbs down because they're Mexican. Ugh. So what? She's your friend. Treat her like a friend. Mr. Willis, I need to go um, outside now. Are you cutting? You're cutting out. Do you get cut? Baby. Oh my god. Hello. Oh my god. Okay, I can hear you. I'm, I'm in a bad area, so if we if we get cut off, that's it's because I'm in a bad area. I tried calling you back a couple of times, but I couldn't. I still couldn't get a signal. Your friend's a cunt. Uh, you need to be nice to her because you want her as your friend too. She told the nurse what I did. Uh, she told the nurse, excuse me, please be careful. We had a little spill in the hospital room because there's egg all over the floor. She fucking told on me, that bitch. Well, well stop your bullshit. You don't need to act like that. You're 35, not 30, not 30. Well, why is she a snitch? Oh, why are you acting like that? Don't treat, don't treat your friend like that. She my friend. She was nice enough to bring you something to eat. An egg taco. She might as well have given me her maxi so? pad with a turd in the middle rolled up. Did you know that she was coming over? No, but I was crying last night. She called okay, me back. Okay, so, uh, so don't you think it was nice for her just to show up with something to eat, for you to eat? 
without you even asking her. The cheap wetback didn't even bring you. me anything to drink, though. Uh, so? At least you brought you something to eat. She doesn't have a lot of money, you know. It's not working right now. Start thinking of that stuff. She's nice enough to think of you. Whatever. Don't you think you ought to apologize to her because she was nice enough to think of you? No. She can go... Don't treat her like that. Walk her spickety spack ass back to rehab. Go pick some strawberries or something. Hey, but baby, you see what I'm saying? Um, don't treat her like that. She's being nice to you. I told her right now by text. And I said, you agree. You said what? I told her that you agree. She's a wet back and she can take her spickety spack ass back to pick strawberries for all we care. Um, we don't need now you, can, now you can call her up and straighten it out. And don't tell her that I say anything because she knows better than that. She knows I don't, I'm not like that. What do you mean like that? That I'm not, um, she knows that I'm not going to call her name and just stuff like that. So you don't have a problem? The only problem. time I act like that was, the only time I act like that was when I'm drunk and out of my mind. What do you mean? I'm act, sober, I don't act like that. Boy. Act insulting or, or say racial slurs? The only time I act, I insult people is when I'm, when I'm drunk. So you don't have a I don't, problem. I don't do it when I'm sober because I know what I'm thinking about. You don't have a problem that I'm racist huh? and using racist and racial slurs, but you do have a problem that I'm just being rude to your friend. That's what the problem is. You don't care that I'm saying these things about her, her heritage. You behave. What's the answer, Lauren? I'm asking, you, I'm asking you to be nice to Emma because she's being nice to you. You and your family probably throw churros in a fire and say, ha ha, these are Mexicans that live in our city, huh? That's why you don't have a problem with what I said, just that I was mean. Am I right? I know you're there, I can see you. To accept, press one. I'm to right, send a right. voicemail, press two. I know two. I'm being an asshole. I'm totally baiting. I'm just to accept, I'm still press right. one. To send a voicemail. I know it's not fair, and I know it's totally shooting a dead fish in a barrel, but it's still a truth. I love you. Um. I love you. Do you love me really? Even though I'm racist? I love you. I love you. I love you. Wow. Baby, hang on. Baby, hang on. I gotta take this call. It's, it's the dispatcher, so I gotta, I gotta take the call. So hang on. All right. Little does he know, when he comes back, I'm gonna be on the phone with Dan. Setting up an apology. It's gonna be really fun. Okay, Dan? I need a hunk of a man to set me straight. Lauren Armstrong won't fit the bill. I need somebody who's taller than five feet. I want a cock. <laughs> That's not crooked. Hi, a crooked cock is what I want. I want it in my butt. Hi. Do what? Hi, I mean. All right. So what are you doing? Trying to call Dan so you can give him a lot of apologies. Yes, I do. I owe him a big apology. I had never heard. I heard Dan cry before. And then, like, last night he cried again. And you called him a pussy after you called him an F word. Um, well, that's... 
so terrible of me to do that. And you told him that's why Emma don't want you. But you misheard. Because I played the sex video. You thought Dan was telling me he was licking me, but it wasn't hey, that. Um, ah! Hurry up! Hey, 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 listen to me. I get to pull over the side of the road for a second because I get to my phone and the battery is dying. Okay. I want to have sex with you, Lauren. I want your penis in my butt. I'm going to uh -oh. shit it out like a turd. <laughs> I want to see you jack off, Lauren. Lauren Armstrong has sex with his mom. He puts it in her wrinkly vagina. Then he plugs his ass with his thumb. And you get your free thumb and you put it in her asshole. It's called double chocolate dip. I tried calling you at the same time that you tried, that you tried calling me. That's why you didn't get me. Oh, whatever. I love you. A beautiful woman. I wish I had that egg burrito now. You said the what? I wish I had the egg burrito now. Well, who else? I should have called that before, huh? I'm a burrito. You gotta call her and apologize. You gotta call Dan so I can apologize to him. Just not, not yet, though. Because I gotta um, pick up this trailer here. Okay? Alright, guys. Uh huh? Hold on. Hello? Are you home yet? I am, uh... Not home. What do you want? I'm in the restroom. Up the way from you trying to wash my shirt. You little fucking bitch. It is a joke. I'm gonna tell Dan not to come this weekend because you're being that way. Is Dan coming? Yeah. Truck 395. I get to pick up the trailer. It's going to Hollis. Sorry, guys. I got to talk on the CB and all that crap, too, okay? All right. But when's Dan going to be here? He's getting on a plane in like an hour. When will he be here? Wendy. He lands at three. Fuck that bullshit off. Are you both going to come visit me at Apologize. the same time? Apologize to Emma for what you did. What I do? The burrito. Emma, I'm sorry about the burrito. Will you please get Dan here now? I am. I asked him to get on a plane. Wendy. You need to worry about Emma being there. I don't care. I'm afraid. Well, you, sorry, well she's not going to hurt you. Christ, she brought you a fucking burrito, for Christ's sakes. It was a taco. It's like a dollar less than a burrito. I want Dan's burritos. Who cares? He brings the good ones. Who cares? So what? Honey, I don't have a lot of money you right wasn't now. Even, you wasn't, uh, wasn't expecting Emma to bring anything. I he wasn't even expecting Emma. He has a little bit more money than I do, so he can bring you the better kind. Dan would never bring me such a piece of cheap shit taco with an egg and Wendy. cheese. Wendy. Wendy. I'm sorry. Be graceful. Well, Emma, don't be sorry. She needs to stop that bullshit. You guys get a pair with me. I gotta go in and get my old. Is Dan, what's he going to wear? 
I don't know, probably me. Emma. <laughs> yeah. Wendy, what the fuck did what hey, difference does it make what he wears? Did you hear what she said? She said she, he would wear her. I didn't hear her. Uh, yeah, that, that's a good idea. <laughs> Are you going to with me? I, guess, uh, shit. I mean, really, if even if it was like a cheap taco that Dan brought me, at least Dan like would bring it to me and do his hair and like wear some makeup or something. I don't... I... Look. In the video, Dan put lip gloss on, and you need to stop talking about it. I don't have access to makeup, so stop fucking tripping. When Dan comes, are you going to rub his sexy muscles? Yes. <laughs> Lauren has muscles, too. I know. Hey, um, Lauren likes his cheese. <laughs> He what? He likes your chi-chis. He wants to honk them like this. Honk, honk. We'll do it together. Right, Lauren? What? We can honk Emma's boobs together. And then at the same time, Don, Dan will honk my ass. Yeah. Dan will <laughs> go honk, honk on your ass. And Lauren, you get the left one and you say honk, honk, okay? Honk, honk. <laughs> Oh, God. You guys are fucking silly. Dan will, <laughs> Dan will be here later. I'm going to visit yeah. with him first. No, tell him to come see me first. No. Will you please bring me a meatloaf from Millie's Diner? A meatloaf? Yeah, after you're done getting stretched out by his meatloaf and... And I can think of Lauren's 40 pounds of fat. Okay. I think Lauren would do a threesome with us. No, I only have sex with Dan. Invite Dan. Lauren's down for it. He owes Dan anyway. He made really made comments about him. I don't think Lauren will want to have fun or group sex with me and Dan and you. Why not? Ask him, Lauren! Maybe take control of your stuff so that yeah. he knows what's being put in you. You're not in the frame of mind where you can make decisions like that. Hear me? Yeah. Okay. Why do I have music blaring in my ear? Thought crime. Thought crime. I okay. love Lauren Armstrong. I'm trying to practice my um song for Rhoda's memorial service. I thought you were gonna do that too, baby. I I gotta write down the words. From my phone and just texted it to me so I could write it down. But what, what time is it gonna be? Because I gotta go get Roy and we gotta go to Home Depot and get some stuff too. Unless the uh, closer hardware store open today, I don't know if there is an off. Fat crime! Fantasy! Fat crime! I want to. Do you agree with me? I think we should get married before we do that, please. That way, you can be the one in charge. I don't trust Debbie. She's been really weird lately. Uh, I I trust Debbie. Okay. I. She knows don't more about care. your past. Okay. She, when you listen to me, she grew up with you. She knows more about your past. She knows more about what you're supposed to have and what you're not supposed to have. She is the only one that I really trust completely to make these decisions for you. She's your sister. She does not want you hurt. Okay, I will do it. Only, please, if you practice doing the thought crime backup vocals, because Dan's going to do it, but he's asleep, and he can't I, practice I with don't, me. I don't... 
please. I don't know that song. All you have to do is when I say thought crime, you have to say thought crime just with me. I gotta say thought crime. Why do I need to say thought crime? Stop, Victor. What is it? Part of the song? It's part of, it's the chorus. It, it's about this guy who's, um, like, okay, in the video, I think it's a priest or somebody who has to be celibate, but there's a really pretty girl who goes to the church and he, like, keeps having an imagination of her, like, they have a kiss under this cherry tree. It's really pretty. Um, that's the video. And, like, he's talking about the internal struggle of doing what's right and what he promised he would do versus wanting to be in love with a pretty girl, I guess. Desire. Yeah, that's it, yeah, baby. Versus desire, yeah. I know. I've had that struggle before. I always have it when I think of you, darling. <laughs> Like when you make a promise to God that you're going to be celibate, but then you don't realize that you might fall in love. Yeah, that. When, when you make any promise, when I'm not fucking keeping it, it fucking sucks. I fucking I hate it when I do it. Well, I guess that's the internal struggle that everybody has because we all want other people to like us and to be around us but we also want to make ourselves happy because we're all a little bit selfish too but we have to kind of balance those things out like I took the floss off of Victor's dick there's other things too where you want where you don't want to see somebody's life destroyed so you you fucking do things that you don't want to do just because they say that if you don't do this if you don't do this, then I'm gonna do a certain thing. Right. It fucking sucks. I know. So in order, to, in order to get them to go down the right, somewhat right path, you have to get up to fucking do fuck. What you, what you go against? Sweet. Morning. Thought crime. Do what? crime. Okay, so I say thought crime, and then you say thought crime. Yeah, spies are oh, listening. <laughs> okay. You told me to repeat after you. Okay. So I'm repeating after you. Thought crime. Okay, ready? Ready. Thought crime. Thought crime. Spies are listening. Thought crime. Thought crime. The birds do sing about my thought crime. Thought crime. It's annoying because my thought crime. Thought crime. Makes me want to flee. Oh, that was really beautiful, baby. <laughs> Thank you, honey. I've never heard that song before. <laughs> uh, it's by Stephen G.C. I've, I've never even heard of him before. I guess, like, he's his new guy. I don't know. Rhoda likes all that new music. Well, I mean, she, she used to like it, you know. Hey. Calm down, honey. Sometimes down. I forget. Hey, 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 baby, listen. Calm down. Thought crime. Calm down. Calm. Calm down. Okay. Okay. Give Debbie a call. All three way. Now her phone's here charging. Her, her phone's charging. Yeah. Is she there with you? No. Well, she's not in the room. Okay. Victor, can you can you go get Debbie? Yeah. Winning. Winning. Please just sing.
sing with me. Be careful what you say. Please. Be careful. Be careful what you say. Yes. I don't know that song, honey. Be careful what you say. I don't know that song. Be careful what you say. Okay, hey, hey. Okay, stop. Stop. Winning. Stop. Please. Listen to me, okay? Stop singing this song. I have Stop to sing it song. today. I have to learn how to sing it before, so I don't cry while I sang it. Okay, but catch your breath before you start singing. Okay. Catch your breath. Catch your breath and calm you. Calm your your mind down. Stop you crying. If you don't calm your mind down, you're not going to be able to sing it without crying. Thought crime may twist common sense. <laughs> okay. Um, thought crime may twist common sense. Help me. I can't do it, please. Uh, uh, you're singing it again, and I just asked you to not sing it, so you can calm your mind down. The only way I can if calm you don't it. Calm your mind down. Will you listen? If, I am nervous because I'm afraid I'm going to fuck the song up, and I know that you, as a performer, understand that practice stops that anxiety. That's what I'm trying to do. If I yeah, ruin I this. If I ruin this, I feel like I'm going to be doing a disservice to Rhoda. I don't want to do that. Will you just please help me? It's going to make me feel better. Yes, honey, I am trying to help you, but you've got to listen to me. In order for you to do it with not crying, you have got to not sing it for a few minutes and calm your mind down. I am. But not when you're playing it right off the bat. Thought crime! Give yourself a few minutes and get your breath. Thought crime! Thought crime! Cause your life distress! Thought crime! And they could care less! Be careful what you say! Okay. That's what. You, that's another thing. You, I have to say, be careful what you say, and you say, be careful what you say. Okay. Be careful what you say. No. Be careful what you say. Be careful what you say. Perfect. Hey, can I eat a pork chop in the meantime? Yeah. Why are we singing this? Okay, good, because I'm hungry. May. You're eating a pork chop at 9 a.m. That's great. Fuck. I, I only have one left, and I'm hungry. Yeah. I'm not really cooking anything. Yeah, it's cold, too. <laughs> Thought crime, no matter. Thought crime. Yes. Thought crime. Thought crime. Done today. Be careful what you say. And you say, you say. Be careful say. what you say. Right? Be careful what you say. Yeah, like, I say, be careful what you say, and at the same time you say, be careful what you say. Be at careful what you say. Perfect. Oh, that's exactly how Dan will do it. Okay. Now you say, you say, be careful what you have to sing the line with me like you did it. I'm trying. I'm 
I don't know when it comes in. I have to go by what you're doing, then I'm winding up being too late. Okay. When I say go, you and I both say, be careful what you say. But your part is at okay. the end. Your part is at the end where you say, be careful what you say. You say the whole thing, but okay. at the end you go, you okay. say. Okay. Okay. Be okay. One, two, three, go. Be careful what you say. Perfect. I feel better. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Oh, I'm all right. What's the matter? I uh, just I'm a, reading all kinds of things to me and. Just a lot more than what I ever expected. What do you mean? Huh? What do you mean? All these celebrities paying attention to me, and I never expected all that. Well, you sound sad about it. It just makes me nervous. What do you mean? About what? I don't know. It's just... I don't know. I'm scared of it attention, I guess. This really makes me nervous. Well, what are you nervous about, though? Um, Sylvester Stallone wanted to do a project with me. Shia mm -hmm. Twain wanted, wanted to use my story to write a song. Faith Hill seemed that every, everybody is rooting for me in Nashville. And, a lot yeah you don't have to do any of these things you know well, I, I know I'd love to do a project with Celeste Stone I idolized them okay. so long yeah so I mean if that if that's the one thing that you want to do if you only pick one thing you know then that's cool uh, it's, well, I wouldn't care if Shania Twain wrote a song about it either it's just, it's okay. just you know, it's all so fast. Yeah. It makes me nervous. Well, that's usually how things happen. You know, once something is trending, it'll get one person's attention. And all celebrities know each other. I was on the phone with them earlier when I was trapped. I did not work. I couldn't help but cry. Why did you cry? Just reading the chat and mm -hmm. just everything, it, it bothers me. The chat bothers me so much. I know that the so, chat bothers you, but it bothers everybody. It happens, <laughs> and it can't be ignored anymore. It came from my mall, and that's just like, I, I fucking read it. I know it's embarrassing because you're having to say it to me and to Emma, and you're saying it in front of everyone else. You're not doing it in the privacy of your apartment. You're not doing it in secret to someone who's not going to know any better or, you know, who's not turning off her computer and, and walking away. I almost wish now that we, that we would have waited to put it online and did the whole thing first. Why is that? Huh? Why is that? It's not going to stop you from continuing. Well, no, I know, but I mean, at least when at least I didn't have this attention. Well, Ross, what are you doing in there? Get out here. Under the table. I don't know what the hell you're doing. Probably you chasing doing? a roach or something. Uh, uh, I've, I've never seen him get under that part of the table before. I think he's just trying to get my attention. And I'm sorry. So, I mean, they're they're just making comments. 
you haven't had any agents contact you because that's how it would go. They're not going to, you know, set this up themselves, I would imagine. I think that, you know, there's going to be a lot of people who would have to kind of put things together. And and I don't think it's just going to happen overnight just because they made a comment on your video. They could have already forgotten about it. Who knows? Yeah, well, I told them that, um, that she'd have to let them know that they'd have to contact me through her. Okay, yeah, that would be a good idea. Because she's got, well, she got, I guess, my email, an email she set up for me from before or something. Okay. I, thought, I, don't know, I guess her email is on. Roscoe, what the hell are you doing? My God, dude. They're burying what? his nose right under my crotch. Ew. He does that with everyone. Well, I don't know where do he gets that from. Eat poop, so. uh, but Winnie would love him. Winnie would love him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, he's just loving. He's a very loving dog. He's okay, so don't dog. yell at him like that. Oh, I know. He just, he just. I know. Every time I, I, every, <laughs> every time I pet him, it's like I get a handful of hair. Well, maybe he needs a bath because he has an undercoat well, I, that's coming out. Yeah, he's, he does need a bath, but I can't get to him until Sunday. They can hook the hose up and this whole handful of hair right there. Why don't you bring him to, a, like, a grooming place? Because I brush him all the time. I don't have a lot of money right now. I, I know that, that you don't. I'm just saying that if you wanted to get him a really good bath and a comb out then they're going to be able to do it right and they're going to know how to do it. It's probably going to be like $30. Yeah, well, I, I, I know somebody that's starting a grooming business. Maybe she ought to come up and do that for me. No, she's not going to do that. <laughs> uh, I do if you watch out on this. <laughs> anyway. So don't worry about what celebrities are saying right now. It could end up being a really, really great thing for you. Did you know what Kim Kardashian's doing? No. She's getting people out of prison. Well, I know. Okay, but so, remember, I mean... Remember what me and you talked about the other day? I, I don't think I should be off the registry, the registry because... No, I you can't be off. Yeah, you that. can't. Absolutely, you cannot be off the registry. You need to be monitored forever. So it's not a matter of that. I'm not saying that there should be this campaign to get you off the registry or off of probation, any of that. None of that should happen. Well, probation, yeah. Probation no, is the one thing no, that, that I think no, want to be off of. No, because yeah, you don't yeah. even know how to do that. Let's be honest. Yeah, I do. No, you I'm, don't. I'm being honest. What was the lie detector test that you took recently? That's the first one that I failed. That was because of the alcohol. That is not the first time you actually failed. Yeah, that's you ha- the first you time happened I failed. you happened to pass, but you fa- you would have failed every single one, Lauren. You've never stopped drinking. Don't give me that. They never asked me about drinking before. Oh, okay. But did they I've ask you about? Did that they one. ask you about phone sex? Did they ask you about sending naked pictures? Is any of that good? Does that follow no, the terms of your probation? I don't. I don't think they asked me about that. I don't think. Okay. Well, whatever. The but, point I is, is that the ter- the terms of your probation have to be followed in order for you to be successful. And if you're not able to do that, you you don't deserve to be off of it. I've got you. It keeps me straight anyway. Not really. You you go off and you're going to do whatever you want. And I'm not going to follow you around forever. That's yeah, ridiculous. I, I know. I'm open for more someday. Okay. But the, the point is, is that you have to be able to stand on your own two feet. And you, and you have to be able to monitor your own behavior and be a good person instead of needing someone to tell you what to do all the time. I know. So they've never asked that. you about alcohol before this test? No. Why do you think they asked you about that? I don't know. I, I think. Um. Um, 
because uh, people had called before about, about me drinking and saying that I was drinking at, that, that I was drunk at my house right, right then. And they okay. said the cops, and, and the cops came and I weren't drunk. But they had so many calls of, of me being drunk, and some of it was because Roy was here. They had so many calls from the church to call about me being drunk that that's when they started asking me questions. Okay. So, so that's that. Do the questions change every single time? Yep. That's probably just to make sure that you're not practicing. Yeah. I would imagine. Yeah. Did they ever ask you about phone sex and sending explicit photos of yourself or receiving them? Mm, no. They've never asked you about that? No. That's interesting. Okay. I'm just really curious. I've never taken a test like that before. So I wasn't sure no. like what they would be asking you. I, I can't remember exactly what they asked me now. I've taken three of them, I think. I think this, this was the third one, I think. Okay. The fourth one. It might have been the fourth one. It's the first one with this one. With the other provider that I was with before, I think I had two or three there. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, I really mm-hmm. do want to get back to the person that I used to be a long time ago. Well, hopefully even a better version. Because it sounds to me like the person back then was damaged, too. I mean, it led you Uh, to what you became. I I was damaged back then. I knew what. Okay. But I didn't didn't, didn't have anybody that I could say anything to because of what my family would think. Mm -hmm. Well, I think now... I think now's a really good time for you to to really evaluate those things in your life that you want to change and the reasons why you're wanting to change them. And it's not about making someone happy or doing it to get praise from me or to make me proud. That can't be the primary reason. The primary reason is because you don't want to do it. Well, I want to live a good life. It's what I want to live. Okay, so what does that mean to you? It means shaking my ass out. And what does that mean to you? The thing is, well, the thing thing that I will say that I think is going to go along with if you were to start making a list of things that you want to change is that in order for you to make these types of changes, you have to be specific about them. It's like when someone says, my goal in life is to be happy. They have to drill that down and be able to turn it into something that they can see or feel or, you know, list out in specific actions that they can take in order to make themselves happy and not just have it this broad statement that has no action attached to it. So it's the same thing with you when you say, I want to live a good life. It needs to be more than that. It needs to be very specific. And that can include things that you're not going to do and things that you're going to do. <laughs> if you don't do that, if you can't even take the time to do that, then you're going to be the same person that you are now in another 12 years. No, I don't want to. Good. So that's where your work comes in. It's it, You can't just sit back and and talk about things in terms of it bothers me when I do that. I hate when I do that. And still keep engaging in the same behavior that you're saying that that bothers you because ultimately it doesn't really bother you all that much. That behavior hasn't become painful enough that it's pushing you in in the direction to change yourself. So that. There are so many things that you're looking for and someone else to do for you that are absolutely impossible. 
Um, you know, I rely on people too much. You do. You rely on people way too much. You rely on them to give you happiness and support, but you also rely on them to be the reasons why you fall short in a lot of ways in your life. That's where the blame game comes in. It's because of my brothers. It's because of my mom. It's because people left me. It's because I didn't have friends growing up. They all abandoned me because I wouldn't play basketball. People weren't good workers. And so I had abandoned the job at Betty's home. So it becomes their problem too. Well, I tried to sort it out. That's... That's the only way that I, that I know how to sort it out. Is to what is that out exactly what happened. Well, yeah, but the you. the issue is, Lauren, and and I absolutely agree. I think that it takes a lot of self reflection and a lot of time, you know, to to really focus in on that and say, why did this happen? The thing is, is that when the answers come to you. And you disregard them because it's not what you want the answer to be in that it's not putting the blame on someone else. It's not something that was outside of your own control. Your response to that is to continue searching for the answer. And that's why you've come to this point 12 years later when you're still asking yourself the same questions, the same questions that are answered in the evidence that's available. Do you know what I'm saying? I keep asking myself the same questions over and over and I never get the answer. Well, it's not that you're not getting the answers, that you're not accepting the answers that are there. Because it's not filling something that you're looking for. Like, the blame is on someone else. And it's not your fault you were powerless. Does that make sense? Do you think that's been your pattern? Yeah, yeah, I do. Okay. So so I think about it. I know how to say the word no. I just had just. I remember talking about this in class, and all with with Allie too. It's just trying to. I, I'm saying the word no. I guess it's just trying to figure out, you know, why is it that I have to say the word no to somebody that knows better than to do the things that they did? I mean, like, like my brother Ralph. Mm-hmm. You know, all, the, all the all the screwing me that he did, he, he knew exactly what he was doing. Mm-hmm. And me idolizing him like I did all my life. How could he screw me like that? Because you allowed it to happen. And I'm not one to point the finger at a victim of someone else. The the responsibility comes in when it's a continued action that someone's taking. He's not, you know, it's not his responsibility that you idolized him growing up. That's really nice, but it's not his responsibility. That's not the reason for him to act the right way. His reasoning to act the right way should be because he also needs to not hurt people. And he needs to be a good guy, too. Yeah, well, to tell him that would be something different. I would love to tell him that. Yeah, well, it wouldn't matter what he thinks about Ralph. Okay. What he thinks about Lori. Okay. So everyone all about Paul. It's all they care about. Okay. But the thing is is that when you look at that and you have to say to yourself, was I really a true victim of his behavior if he was screwing you over or whatever it was that was happening? When it keeps happening, I think that it it comes on to you as well to say, am I going to allow this to happen to myself anymore? My life is worth so much more than this. And you, 
Absolutely. Yeah. And again, it's not, it's not as far as like pointing at a victim of someone and saying that you're part of the problem because that's not what it is. I'm saying that oh, in the case, you know, when it comes to you interacting with people, you can see that there is a huge pattern that's there and you have difficulty walking away from situations and people that are not good for you. Well, like Tony. Well, yeah, that it could be like Tony. It can be like other people in your life too. But there's something about you that takes over that makes that drive that you have to connect with them and to combat your loneliness that is a lot stronger than the negative impact that they have in your life until after that's over. Well, I definitely get changed. Shit that I do will be good. I don't want to look like I did this whole one. I don't want to live like I have done. I want a much better life. I want to be a lot happier. Okay. So again, define what makes you happier. What is that going to be? That's the type of stuff that you want to write down. Okay. And we can go over that. I would be happy to. You make me happy. Okay. And there's yeah, going to be a the first one that I've ever <laughs> told anybody that that I take over Olivia Newton John. <laughs> Emily okay. asked me that earlier. <laughs> she asked you what? She asked me if I if uh, Olivia if I was giving you a hug and Olivia Newton John was there. But she had she asked me. If, Living Newton John was bending over if I thought I did Emma, I'd, I'd have to walk. <laughs> it doesn't mean I'm doing anything wrong. Right. She said, she said well, I think she said, well, would, you, would you take a Debbie over here, Living Newton John? I said, yeah, in a heartbeat. <laughs> well, awesome. Yeah. You're totally awesome. Thank you. But I'm hoping that the list is going to be a lot longer with things that are within your own life about yourself. Stop smoking. Make me really happy. Okay. So that can be part of your list and then coming up with the ways in order to do that. Who's yeah, that barking? It's Roscoe. What is he he's barking probably at? Barking, probably, probably barking at deer. He's looking all towards the woods, so he's probably barking at oh. deer. They, and there's about four or five of them that go across there every every morning and every night. Oh, okay. And he's actually a doorbell or a deer bell for my neighbors. So I when, guess so. Whenever Roscoe, starts, whenever Roscoe starts barking like that, it's about 10 minutes later, deer come walking across the field. Oh, okay. Back in their house. <laughs> I gotcha. At least I've tried to quit smoking that not work so far. Okay. I don't want to try it. I can't take a drug. I don't want to try that because they said that, that depression and stuff like that can come along with that. But I, I know I can do it. Mm-hmm. It's, it's just hard in, in the truck. It's hard. Yeah, it's a habit. It's just like yeah. any habit that's been ingrained. It's, it's going to be difficult to break because as soon as the high of having the cigarette goes away and you start and you're getting triggered to engage in that, whether it's getting in your truck or waking up in the morning or you've finished eating, something like that, when those things come up and you're not able to smoke, that's when you're going to start to really miss smoking. Yeah. So. If you think about all the times that you told yourself or me or anyone else that you're going to quit smoking, what was happening at the time? No. 
I mean, what were you Nothing physically else. doing at the time when you said, I'm going to quit smoking? Oh, I think I'd come home. I'd... Well, I, the answer is, is that you were smoking. Yeah. So if home. you're, if you're holding a cigarette and saying, this is my last one, it's very easy to say that because you're smoking at the time. So you're not going to have that trigger happen and not have the response of having a cigarette that hasn't happened yet. So you're not going to feel that discomfort. It's going to be very comfortable at that moment because you're able to have the smoking. I think a lot of the times was when I got drunk because mm -hmm. I would chain smoke. Mm -hmm. And my chest would feel so heavy mm -hmm. that I could go hours without a cigarette. Mm -hmm. because, because it was already so hard to breathe. It was, mm -hmm. I smoked another one, it hurt. Yeah. So that made it easy to say it then, but then whenever I get, you know, breath back in me again, all that smoke out of me. Yeah. I get the craving. Exactly. And then what do you do with the craving? Carry it with a cigarette. Absolutely. Yeah. So if you want to stop smoking, you would say, I'm stopping smoking now. I'm not going to have another one. That's it. And then you work on, what am I going to do now? You have to replace it with something. But the hard part is, is when I'm in the truck. Right, it's, it's a habit. Like, yeah, it's not much I can replace it with in the truck. Well, you can. You can sing. Oh, I do that anyway. Yeah, but you can <laughs> do that without smoking. Yeah, but I don't have anything to do with my fingers. Okay, you're just making hands. excuses right now. Well, no, I'm, I'm telling you, you know, that's part of things. I, you know, I'm, even, even after I sing a song, if I don't know the next song that comes on or something, then, you know, I'll light a cigarette up and I've got something to do with my hand. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, you so, can hold on to the steering wheel. How about that? I do that with, with my other hand. <laughs> or you can, like, click a pen or something or, you know, do something. I had a um, a teacher in school who quit smoking. She was a very heavy smoker. And she took up chewing gum. She chewed gum all the time. She was like, I have to. I have to do it because I had to get rid of that. So I had to take over something else. And this isn't as bad. So yeah, well, I I'm going to do that. I tried to quit smoking once but with candy, by sucking on candy. Okay. You're going to do good. Get a good laugh out of this one. I have a place to laugh about it today. But the mill, the place where the car smoke, where I used to work for. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I go to the, you know, it's the biggest farm in Maine. We used to get milk from there. And okay. The dad, and Butch Clark, he died. Okay, so what's with the candy? Okay, well. You're fucking killing me over here. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I decided to quit smoking, so I wanted, I figured I'd use candy, but I didn't want all that sugar. Okay. So I decided to use sugar-free candy, mm -hmm. and I went over and told, told Bush that when I got my load of milk, and he just smiled, and he didn't say anything. Well, from... You shake your pants. From Canaan, <laughs> from Canaan all the way down to fucking Portland, I... I ate that whole bag of sugar-free butterscotch candy, not realizing that it was like a wax stuff. Oh wow! <laughs> so did you uh, show your hand? I, got, I I came damn close. I was so, so close. Oh, I was wow. I was squeezing my butt cheeks and I was holding holding my ass, <laughs> and I was walking really funny. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> 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 You remember Tim Carey in, in Dumb and Dumber? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> that was about the outcome. Oh, that, that sucks. Well. Oh, God. Yeah, I'll maybe, never do that again. Yeah, maybe you can find something else that'll, that'll help yeah. you. 
Okay. Yeah, don't ever use sugar-free candy like that. All right, good. Oh. Good, good, good. It's not good for your decayed teeth either. Uh huh. Nothing. Do you want me to call Emma? For, I mean, I'm not ready to read yet. Oh, you're not? Okay. No, I didn't. I'm still going to eat. I haven't eaten yet. Oh, well, she did say that she's going to be going somewhere tonight. So, do you think okay. we can read? Oh, yeah. I don't know if, if you, you can. Give me, like, can you give me like 20 minutes. Would that be okay? Um, just text her really quick. Hang on. Um, all right, go ahead. Um, she said okay. that, that, yeah, she said she can wait. Okay. All right, then, um, we will give you a call in probably like a half hour or something like that. Okay. Whenever she gets it's back, she'll let me know. Okay. 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 Bye. No, I was kind of watching TV, but I was fading and no, no. Even don't even know what the hell I was doing. I was, I was there. Oh, I'm sorry, Daddy. I thought you were dealing. <laughs> you're okay, honey. You're okay, honey. <laughs> I sent you another picture. Did you see it? <laughs> That's why I called. That's why you called. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Did you like that one? It looks so good. Yeah, just think if you're eating, you could have hot dogs for supper. I didn't know you were kind of chubby. I'm not kind of chubby. Chubby, that's my love handles. I want to hold them. <laughs> I'll make you go chubby. <laughs> <laughs> you're so sweet, I mean. I think I love you are. I love you. It's mm, so special. I, very beautiful. You like my picture? <laughs> I love your picture. It's so cute. <laughs> Pretty. I'm glad. I'm sorry my boobs sure. are big. No, I'm sorry your boobs are big. I'm going to be sorry on that. I love big, big boobs just like I do small boobs. Do you like them? I do. They're nice. Very, very nice boobs. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now, if I can only get my hands on them. And other things. <laughs> uh huh? And other things. Yeah, and other things. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And, uh, and other things. <laughs> You're so sweet. I'm so special, Rhoda. Thank you. I want to be a good girl for you, Daddy. It'll be so fun. You're a good, you are a very good girl. I what have you been doing tonight? I took a nap. Oh, that's so sweet. I was asleep <laughs> naked. <laughs> you was? I am too. I sleep naked. Do you sleep naked all the time? No. No. What do you usually wear? Panties and a bra. Oh, really? Yeah. In case there's a fire. <laughs> 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 Well, if there's a fire, we can just take and squeeze your, squeeze your boobs and squirt it out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fire extinguisher. That's <laughs> 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 um, so funny. Yeah, wouldn't you like to be here with me right now? A whole lot. I would give, like, anything to be there with you, next to you, 
and gave you kisses all over your body. I like it. Yeah, I, I like to do the same for you, I think. You have muscles on your legs like you have on your arm. <laughs> yeah, I know. Half to, you know why? Why? Just in case I need to run. Oh, why? You think I'm going to chase after you? You shouldn't run from me. <laughs> well, no, if I start running and you trip me, then I turn on, I turn around and all of a sudden you're right there on top of me. All you have to do is, is sit down. Oh, just wiggle around till your snake finds yeah. my Louie hole. <laughs> 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 You're so funny, I, mean. I wish I could be funny like you. You make funny jokes. <laughs> <laughs> you are funny. I love you, sweetheart. I love you. Do you want to shake my boobies a lot? Because that's fun. Do I want to shake your boobies around? Yeah. Of course I do. Yay. Well, we'll play a game. Um, you shake my boobies and close your eyes and tell me when you think they stop shaking and I'll tell you if you're right. <laughs> All right. We'll try that. We'll try that game, honey. Yeah, you're going to have lots of games. I, I'm going to dress up and be a princess and you save me and then I give you a kiss. Okay. Where are you going to give me a kiss at, though? Whatever daddy wants one. <laughs> you're the boss, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what if we play another game? Oh, like what? Monopoly? What if, what if I, I stand up straight and you take it and bounce my cock and close your eyes, you tell me when it stops, and I'll tell you if you're right. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> <laughs> You think you'd like to play that game? Yes. I want to play it naked. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that would be the best way to play it. I can't wait to feel you, Daddy. I get very excited <laughs> between my legs. Daddy, you want to feel my cock between your legs, huh? Yeah, I do, Daddy. Where do you want to feel it? Where do I want to feel it? Now, where do you want to feel it? Um, well, I'll open my legs and you can put it in if you want. Oh, okay. No, of course. I didn't know. I get confused. I didn't know if you wanted to feel it between your feet, between your knees. You can put it on my feet. <laughs> <laughs> I have two feet. Oh. You can wrap really it on. Gave me a hard on. Does it have wet stuff coming out? The salty stuff? The, sal the salty stuff, gone. Oh, okay. I mean, okay. I said, what's that salty stuff called? I don't know. It's the salty stuff, the clear stuff. I don't know. Yeah, you know what that's called. <laughs> the salty stuff, the clear stuff. It's cum. It's cum. No, that's the stuff that comes out after. Oh, oh, you mean the pre cum? Pre cum? <laughs> is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's called pre. It's called pre cum. I, that's funny, like pre pretty cum. <laughs> like it's shiny. <laughs> I, You're so funny, honey. I know. I don't know. I don't mean to be stupid. I don't know a lot of things. Sorry. No, well, you're not stupid, baby. You're not stupid. Don't worry. I'll teach you. You know why? Huh? You know a lot, Daddy. I'm really lucky. I'm really lucky because you're so sweet. I'm special. 
ויש משהו. I'm sorry, the delivery guy came. I had to pay him for my lasagna and um, I got garlic bread. I hope it's okay. I'm not allowed to eat bread with my ex. You're not allowed to eat bread with bread for you, what? When I'm with my ex, I can't eat bread. Okay, well, you're not with your ex at all anymore. I know, that's why I'm going to eat garlic bread. I won't even feel guilty. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. You eat all the bread you want, baby. I am. I'm going to eat this piece. And um, I bought a pizza, too, for Mom, because she likes pizza. Is Mommy home now? Yeah, she took a nap. She's really tired. Is she? Um, maybe she might have gotten... She, she might have, they might have let her do dialysis. So if they did, that's why she's tired. Yeah. I love you. I've got crumbs on my boobs. <laughs> <laughs> No, because if you were here, I'd have to lick them off. Yeah, but I'll give you a piece of my garlic bread, too, if you want to taste it. No, because I don't like garlic bread very much. I'll just lick your crumbs off your boobs. <laughs> You're a nice daddy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, don't want, I don't want the birds to come and get the crumbs. Birds are scary. Oh, birds aren't scary. Yeah. Um, birds are birds are <sighs> um, birds are cute, aren't they? No, they're scary. Well, uh, they have little <laughs> baby eyes. Oh, they scare me. Um, you'll like them better up here. They're cuter up here. And I saw it. They're not, uh, they're not, they're not as big up here as they are down there. Oh, okay. Like, um, you know, like that movie. What movie? Um, The Birch. The what? The Birch. I never heard of them. It's like um, a black and white movie with um, Alfred Hitchcock or something. He's, he did Psycho. Yeah, I know. The dumb dumb. No, you smart, but he made a scary movie with birds and they attacked the pretty lady. I, I got scared because their eyes are black and beady. Ugh. Are you asleep? No, but I'm, I'm going to have to go sleep pretty soon, I think. I got to get up and go to work tomorrow. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I make you mad? I like birds for you, Daddy. No. I just didn't know. No, honey. Honey, I'm not, I'm not mad, baby. I'm not mad. Okay. No reason for me to be mad. I like whatever you want me to, Daddy. Just don't be mad, okay? No, I'm not mad, baby. I'm not mad. Okay, good. I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? You didn't want to do anything wrong. Oh, oh, well, I, I just want you to like me. I do like you, baby. Don't worry, I like you a lot. I want to be your very, pumpkin very princess. Special. 
Do you want to be my pumpkin princess? No, your pumpkin princess. Oh, my pumpkin princess. Yeah. So you are my you are my pumpkin princess. I like pumpkin pie. It tastes so good. And Daddy, when I visit you, you can taste my pumpkin pie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not big on, I love pumpkin pie, but it doesn't like me very much. It gives me acid indigestion. That's because they so use the just, pie spice. I'll, I'll make it the, I can make it bland, but I can put um, cheesecake in it, and it'll be cheesecake pumpkin. It's really good. Oh, that sounds good. You really want to try it? I know how to make it. Oh, I'll make it so good for you, Daddy. You're going to want to lick your plate. <laughs> Maybe even my fingers. <laughs> oh, my God. It's going to be so fun. Huh? What would you say, honey? It's going to be so fun. I know. You're anxious to get here, huh? Yeah. I want to make you food and feed you, and I want to watch you smile if you like it. It'll be so fun. Of course I'll like it. I love you, but I'm going to like it. Well, Daddy, you're making me feel so special. Good, baby. Good you are. You're I'm happy special. somebody loves me now. I feel really happy. And you're a very, very special So You need to feel loved. Because I love you. Uh, wow. I, I am so happy you saying those things. I used to smile right now. I can't even barely talk. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be able to, baby. You'll be able to. I can put a lollipop in my pussy, okay? And you can take it out. You what, baby? I said, I'm going to get a lollipop and put it in my pussy, and you can take it out and suck it. Okay. <laughs> you will? Yeah, of course I will. Oh, my God. Hooey. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll suck on that, and I'll suck on you. You quit at the same time. Oh, wow, Daddy. You're so good you think, to me. You think you'll like that? I know I will. If it's with you, you're so nice. <laughs> oh, you're so special. I want to be special. I'll do anything you want if you love me, okay? I do love you, honey. Yay! Then I'm yours, Daddy. I'm your little girl. We're going to have a lot of fun together. Yeah, we will. Yes, we will, baby. I want to grab your biscuit. <laughs> you are... <laughs> You want to grab my biscuit? <laughs> yeah, I, that's your butt. Did you know that? Oh, uh, yeah, I figured it probably was. <laughs> oh, you knew. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you going to do after you grab my biscuit? I'm going to wait till you turn around and say, did you grab my biscuit? And I'm going to say, yes, I did, Daddy. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm going to say, well, maybe you want to grab my hot dog, too. Oh, wow. Will you be naked? <laughs> I can. So will I what? Will you be naked? I will. Good. Then I'll grab it with my mouth uh, like this. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good. <clears throat> You're the sex. I walk around the house naked, honey. All the time? I thought it was cold there. A lot of, a lot of the time. Well, it's not cold inside. Oh. Oh. I want to be naked too, then. Okay. 
That sounds good to me. And I'll like bend over a lot. Yet. I'll bend over a lot and pretend to clean up, but it'll just be so you can see my pussy. <laughs> Oh, well, if, if you show it to me too much, I might have to come up behind and I might have to slide my cock into it. Uh-oh, Daddy, you're going to be naughty. Oh, but I won't stop uh, you. Oh. <laughs> you don't want me to be naughty? I, I'll pretend I don't, but I really will, though. <laughs> 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 you're naughty, too. I'll say, oh, my goodness, what a surprise. And then you'll grab me by my hips, and you'll say, I have another surprise for you, my baby. And I'll feel you slide into me. <laughs> I like thinking of that. <laughs> me too. That's a good thing to think of, honey. That's a really good thing to think of. I like thinking of it. All right. Makes a nice picture, huh? Yeah. <laughs> You're so special, baby. I'm going to fall asleep, honey. I'm going to fall asleep with a heart on, too. Oh, if I were there, I would let you do things to me with your heart on. You would, like what? Well, you can rub it on my face and touch my lips with it, and I'll stick my tongue out. <laughs> and you can rub it on my tongue with the salty stuff, the post-cum, or whatever. Mm. The pre-cum. The pre-cum, sorry. <laughs> sorry, honey, you learn it. And after that, um, I'll lick my lips and smile at you and say, hi, Daddy, and you'll <laughs> smile at me. <laughs> You're so precious, baby. Uh, I can't wait to so touch special. you. So special. I want it. Have you, been, have you been sitting on Frank's lap? No, I haven't even thought of him. I can only think of you. <laughs> I love you, Annie. My name's not Ellie. I said I love you, honey. Just honey. Um, honey. Um, honey. Um, honey. <laughs> I want to be your, I want to be yours, Daddy. You are my baby. You're my big, strong daddy, and I'm your precious baby girl, and we're going to love each other. That's right. Wow. I'm sorry, I'm sorry you thought I said Ellie. I don't know who Ellie is. I don't know. I said, honey, it's just my face is half buried in the pillow, so my words are probably not coming out quite right. Daddy, when I'm living with you, I don't want you to have sex with any girls, okay? Well, I'm going to have sex with Mommy. Oh, okay. But nobody else, <laughs> okay? Okay, okay, nobody else. But, like, if she doesn't want you, or can you just choose me instead? Uh huh? Well, baby. I want it. I want to be with you alone first before her, Daddy. Well, we'll, we'll see. I've, me and Mommy have waited a long time to, to be together. Daddy. Uh, but she's... What her name? She's already had, like, stuff. Uh, I just want to try it first, so I don't have her germs on you. <laughs> well, baby, her mommy's you got mommy's germs on you. Yeah, but her her bottom is kind of stinky. I'm sorry. Well, I'm sorry, mommy's gonna take a shower. Okay. Well, she's in the shower. 
You can lick my pussy, please, Daddy. Maybe me and Mommy can take a shower together. Oh. And don't worry, Mommy's butt will not be stinky. But... I, I, won't, I won't let Mommy be stinky. You mean you want... You want me to smell it? Like... I want no. you to first. No. No. Mommy's butt will not be stinky. The only reason that Mommy lets her butt be stinky like that is she's, she's out. It's so that she doesn't get raped. Oh. She's afraid of getting raped. The rape is so she lets her so just, That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> she's afraid of getting raped, so she lets herself be like that. So she's here. Well, can't, can't you just take me first, please? Ooh. <laughs> we'll see, honey. Come on, please, please, special sexy daddy. I want you we'll first. See. We'll see, baby. We'll see what mommy says. What if she's asleep or tired? Well, if she's asleep or tired, then I'll, then I'll take you, okay? I know. I will get on a plane, like, and then I'll get on in the morning, and I'll make her plane come at night, because that's when her dialysis is over, and then we'll have all morning. I'll get to have you first, not her. <laughs> okay, well, where's the, honey, where's the baby at? He's in bed with mom. Okay. Just want to make sure. I don't think about him. I want to take him to um the um family services tomorrow and see if they'll help me. Okay, well, I want you to talk about it with mommy too. It's my baby. I don't want him. I okay, but I I still want you to talk about it with mommy. Okay. If mommy comes with me, I I don't want her to go first, even if I have to do it with you together. <laughs> and that's what you wanted me to say, huh? If mommy's going to do dialysis and you take it, you take an earlier plane, then you can come up. Don't you? Before mommy gets here, okay? I'm prettier than my mom. Well, you're both beautiful. She's all right, but very, I'm younger. Both are very beautiful. I don't have pimples yeah, from drugs. I can't hear you. You're both are very beautiful. Sorry, I said you both are beautiful. Yeah, but I'm younger. My boobs are like a lot bigger too. <laughs> <laughs> you know that, huh? Yeah, but. I'm I know that, but I love you both. But really, you like, mine are better. I won't ever tell her, I swear. But right? Oh, honey, listen to me. Daddy, tell me I'm when better. You, when you love somebody, it does not matter what they look like. But I'm just asking you if they look better. Well, not if you love her more. Well, you do. Okay, you, you don't tell your mommy. I can't. I don't want to hurt her feelings. Exactly. Yes, they do look better than mommy's. Okay? I want to put them in your mouth. Okay, but no more questions like that, though, because that makes me feel bad when I have to answer them questions. Well, it's the truth. I understand. Well, I won't tell her. Okay, because I, I do love mommy a lot. She's very special to me. You're very special to me, too. Is that why you don't want to go first with me? Well, you're both very special to me. The only reason I want to go first with your mommy is because I've known her for a year. Oh. And her and I have been, her and I have been wanting her to me for, for a long time. And we've been through a lot in that year, too, so. 
but that's why I wanted to go first with mommy. But we'll see how mommy feels. Mommy, mommy not, might not feel good. And my pussy's littler. I know, honey. I know. Did you see it in the picture? <laughs> I I did. <laughs> do you I, like my body? I, can, <laughs> I I do. You have a very beautiful body. Hey, what do you like about it? I couldn't I couldn't tell if you shaved your pussy or if that was a shadow that I see down there. I shaved it like a week ago. It's growing back, but not a lot. I only have a little bit. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, well, it's okay, Annie. It's okay. I just couldn't tell. I'll take it all off for you, Daddy. You can if you want to, baby. It's up to you. How do you like it? I like it both ways. I think your pussy is very pretty. Very uh, beautiful pussy. It belongs to you. Uh huh? You can do whatever you want to it. I trust you, Daddy. Do it. I will be very happy to do whatever I want to it. And I'll make sure that you like it. How do you know I like it? So, well, because if you don't like it, I mean, you don't like it, and I'll do it until you do like it. Okay. Okay. Okay, I gotta get off the phone now. Okay, honey, I gotta go. I gotta get some sleep because I gotta get up and work in the morning. Okay, daddy. Okay. Okay, I love you, baby. Oh, I love you, sweet daddy. <laughs> <laughs> My precious. Yeah, I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'll talk to you in the morning, okay? Okay, bye. Okay, bye, baby. I'm doing well. How are you feeling? Well, I've had better days. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. So, so tell me so about pissed. it. I was so pissed off at that. I, like, I opened right up to him, told him everything. And I, and I feel that need. He said that one of the ones was that um, if I have drank in the last two weeks, and I told him no. Mm-hmm. So I, I had I haven't drank in the last two weeks. When was the last as far time as you I drank? Could, as far as I can remember, it was, I thought it was three weeks ago. I thought it was uh look at the calendar. I I thought it was on the thirtieth. That Sunday. That's when I thought the last time I drank was. Okay. Why do you think it was on the thirtieth? What do you remember about that? Because I I don't remember drinking on the fourth because I worked on the fourth. But then I saw the thing about it, I only work, wound up working like six hours. I can't remember what I did after I got home. Do you remember recently stopping at the store and picking up beer when you weren't at Tony's? I remember, I remember, I remember coming here and drinking a six pack. Okay. When was that? I was thinking that was on the 30th. Maybe it wasn't. Well, that was on a Sunday. And that's usually when you would hit up Tony. Because you don't have to right. go to work the next day. Maybe that's why I was thinking that the 30th was the last time that I drank. Because usually it's on a Sunday. But they go over and drink with Tony. Okay. But I don't remember drinking after that. I, and I, I don't remember if I drank on the 4th. And, and he asked me, he said, what about the 4th? And I said, I worked that day. Mm-hmm. But then uh, after after I left, I the more I thought about it, I was like, well, I only worked six hours, but I don't remember what I did when I got home. I don't remember if I drank any or not. I don't remember what day it was. 
Okay. So, but it's possible that it was within the last two weeks. It almost seems like it might have been. Wait a minute. The. Thank you. So when was it I started going to AA? That was on the ninth, right? It seems like it was two days before that. So that okay, so one. so that was definitely within two weeks. Yeah, that was definitely within two weeks. So there you go. But I don't remember if that's right or not. Well, there's something yeah. about you that remembers. There's some, there's a reason why you failed the question. You knew I that know. it wasn't, you know, when he says two weeks and you're not sure, that probably raises enough of a, of a question. When you say, no, I have not drank, that's not a definite answer. I know, but when he asked me within two weeks, I had already told him that I hadn't because I was thinking that I hadn't. So, there was a, I went to AA on that Tuesday, then I went again this last Tuesday. Mm -hmm. And I automatically thought two weeks. What about any other time in between then? Did you have at least one beer? No. Nope. I haven't had any since I've been going to AA. Since the ninth. Since the ninth. Okay. And she is the week before that, that Maria told me that she wanted me to start going to AA. And remember, I had mentioned it to you, and oh no, you were gone then. But I had sent, I had sent a text to your phone saying that I wish you'd let me go to the one in Skowhegan because it was closer, and I didn't know when the one in Canaan was. But then I found out when the one in Canaan was, and, and I liked that better than going to Skowhegan anyway. Mm-hmm. So... But it wasn't until the ninth that I started going to the one in Canaan. But... So when did Maria tell you that she wanted you to go to AA? It was, I believe, it was on the first. On Monday the first. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't seem. I don't know. So why would Maria tell you to go to AA? Because I told her when I drank. I was, I was being honest with her uh, about when I drank. Okay. So she told me she wanted me to go to AA. And she told me that it would also, it would also help her when she had to go in front of the judge to show the judge that what I had been doing and, and the steps that I had made. I was like, all right, you know, Debbie wants me to go to AA, too. So, and I really do want to stop drinking, so. Yeah, I, I thought go. AA was something that you thought of on your own, but it was actually Maria's story. That's it, what she wanted Maria. you to do so that she could go in front of a judge. Yeah, it was, it was Maria's idea for me to go to AA. She's the one that said for me to go to AA. But after, after that, it was like I got to thinking more and more because of all the, all the talking to you. And you wanted me to keep going to AA, and I thought about it even more, and I was like, you know, I really do want to quit drinking. So that's that's when I talked to Maria. So when you... Yeah, so I, was actually, this... wait a minute, because I saw Maria on Sunday, but no, on Monday. I think I drank that Monday. So you saw her that Monday. She suggests that you go to AA, and then you drank. I just don't know which Monday it was. I saw her that Monday. You saw her Monday the 1st. Ah, God, I remember in days. Because you had already been going to AA. You went a couple of times. I mean, it didn't go well. But was that her suggestion back then, too? Back then? No, that was your suggestion back then. Okay. Did you tell her that you had been a couple of times and then you drank immediately yeah. after? I, I, I don't know if I told her that or not. I told her I had been a couple of times. I don't know if I, 
Well, I, I did tell her that I drank, but I, I don't know if I told her if, if I drank immediately after or not. Because I don't think I specified the times that I drank. Okay. So what was the purpose of you meeting with her on the 1st? On the 1st was... Oh, how was it? Oh, I, I think that's when I had to sign the paper for this this drug test thing. Okay. I think I think that's what that was for because that was the last time I was in her office and I had to sign the papers then. Okay. And then she had to set it all up. Hang on one so second. I'm just gonna. I'm just going to check really quick because I remember you sent me pictures of that paper and I want to just check the date really quick. So, cause I'm just, I'm just trying to make sure that I understand and not, and not get things all muddled up and confused. Like I normally I do. Sorry. That was on the July 8th. I got the paper right in front of me. Okay. So you met with her on July 8th and then you drank that day. Did I drink that day? Well, you said that after you met with her, you did. No, it was the day after. It was the day before. The day before, because it was on Sunday. The day before the, that I drank. On the 7th is when you went and bought the six-pack. Yeah. And on the 8th is when I asked her if she could do something to help me stop drinking. That's when she did. She went in and talked to Bryce, and, they, and then she came up with that. Did she already paper. have that? Did she already have that all set up based on the last polygraph and the last times that you had already admitted to her that you were drinking? Not as far as I knew she didn't. She never said anything to me about it. I mean, maybe she already had it in her, in her mind to do it, but. Yeah, I mean, well, the only. Are me. you paying for these tests? No, no. Okay. The government has to pay for them. Okay. The way that I'm thinking about it is she would make a suggestion to you like going to AA, but she's not going to go through the trouble in the paperwork and getting requests completed and permissions in order to set up this urinalysis, which is going to cost money. Yeah, so maybe she, she probably already had it in her mind to, to do something with me. Yeah, and I mean, that would make sense that they didn't want to do the breathalyzer anymore because they needed to do something more maybe something that's going to be more accurate yeah that wouldn't that wouldn't be more accurate than the breathalyzer though so they tried the breathalyzer and i believe you had said that it didn't work a couple of times that you had either missed doing it or you failed no breathalyzer i didn't i was all good with the breathalyzer on every one of them Okay, I thought that you told me that there was issues with that, too. No. The breathalyzer was fine. I was all good with the breathalyzer. Because when I, when I did the breathalyzer, I, I think there was a couple times that I missed because I was sleeping. So I had to call and tell them, uh, well, it wasn't Maria that was doing it. It was another probation officer that was doing the breathalyzer thing. So I had to call her the next day and tell her that I didn't, that, that I missed it at the time that it went off because I was sleeping or, or I when know did one it time normally go off? At, at random. I know it went off once on me in the middle of the night. I didn't get it because I was sleeping. Were and you I, drinking? I stayed, stayed Honestly? Me. No, I wasn't drinking. You didn't I, drink I at all during the time when you had the breathalyzer? Yeah, that whole three months I didn't drink at all. Okay. That's why I wanted, I wanted, I really wanted the breathalyzer because I knew I'd have to be accountable. I, I knew it, it was going to be right there with me. It wouldn't interrupt my work for another thing. And I knew I could do it right then and there. I want to see why they're making you do this P test. If that worked so well, I want to see why this time they're having to take it another step. I like it all because I'd rather have the, the breathalyzer. Okay. You know what? Let me see if Emma's available. I want to see if, if she maybe has an idea because since she's dealt with this kind of stuff before, maybe she's seen it. Okay. It's, it's ringing right now. Okay. She might still be working. Well, I think she was shopping earlier. She Hello? Me that. Oh, she? Hey, Emma. Hi. Hi. 
So I have Lauren here on the line. Um, and we were just talking. Hi, Emily. About, hey, you. We were just talking about um, his drug test that he's supposed to be taking and why they may have gone to a pee test instead of giving him the breathalyzer again. Uh, usually because the breathalyzers... Uh, if you had blown positive, if you've ever had one in your history, or you didn't have a perfect track record with that, and they saw that you needed it again, they would go up the next tier to something like your analysis. Um, okay. And then, you know, for certain drugs, whatever your drug of choice is, it would be a blood test after that. Is that what, are they making Lauren do something totally different now? Well, they're having him do well, the P test instead of doing it. They didn't give him a breathalyzer again. Oh, Do you remember when I did bre the breathalyzer, Emma? Oh, yeah. I remember it well. It was in yeah, October 2017, and yet you had a dirty, and twice you didn't show up when you should have. So maybe that's why they I had did a dirty. it. I, yeah. I didn't have any dirties. I didn't have any dirties. Yeah, you did, babe. Huh? Yeah, you did. You, you gave me the, um, you sent me pictures of the paperwork of your reprimand. You fucking liar. <laughs> Hold on. I actually I have my satchel right here because I keep your CDs in my um my work case because it has a lock on it. Hold on. I don't remember having any any dirties on that because I don't I don't think I drank the whole time. Give me a sec. Sorry. That's almost two years ago, so maybe you just don't remember. Um. Oh, here's a picture I drew of Lauren and Bud. Here it is. Ah. <laughs> Uh, in addition to any other requirements, defendants shall submit to testing with a remote alcohol monitoring device that measures breath alcohol content for a period not to exceed four months. During the alcohol testing period, the court authorized a search of defendant's geographic, uh, geographic location and research of the case files and records of the breathalyzer test. On October 3rd, Armstrong failed to submit a breath test as directed. On October 6th, Armstrong failed to submit a breath test as directed. Uh, on October 4th, Armstrong submitted a positive alcohol test with a 0 0.07 blood alcohol content. U.S. Probation Officer Stacy Laughlin contacted Armstrong about the positive re result. He admitted to consuming alcohol. Did you forget about that, sweetie? That was when I you did. were with Mona. Yeah. I did forget about that. I still don't remember it. A doggy! Oh, that's you know a picture you... of you of my friend with his dog. Do you want it, sweetie? Yeah. Here you go. Aww. Is that okay? Uh -huh. Sorry, Lauren. Here you go, sweetie. Color. He's going to color it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to have to let you go. I'm on kid duty. Um, but you can call All me right. back. I'll, I'll, I'll be around in about an hour or two. Okay. All right. All right. Thank Take you. care, guys. Right. You're welcome. Alrighty. Thank you, Emma. All righty. Bye-bye. All right. There. At least now we know. Yeah. <laughs> I was, uh, how does she wind up coming up with that so fast? Well, she. I guess she has right. it in the in a bag that she carries that has a lock on it. She probably keeps all her important stuff in there. How does she wind up that important for her to carry my paperwork around? <laughs> I don't know. Well, she thinks you're important. <laughs> she wants to look out oh, for you. Christ. <laughs> oh, this is nuts. <laughs> oh, well, Jesus. at least you know you can always call her and she'll tell you exactly <laughs> what was going on at any particular time. That is so fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. All right. <laughs> so, does that make sense to you now? Yeah, but I still, I still don't remember the fourth. Drinking... I don't remember it. They have the test. Obviously, they had to speak to you about it. Maybe after that first one, maybe that's when I went the rest of the time not drinking. Like I said, I'd, I'd look for the paper, but I'd never be able to find the paper. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know. I wish I could remember when it started. We'll have to ask Emma when it started. Okay, yeah, we can ask her the next time she's on the line. I know I went a long time not drinking. Mm -hmm. It really, really seems like it was after that time there that I blew a positive. It seems like it was after that that 
that I didn't drink the rest of the time that I was on them. Remember, I was working for Link Letters when the, I think I just started working for Link Letters. Well, remember that Emma the, said that it was when you were with Ramona. So when did that end? Crap, I don't remember that either. Oh, okay. I don't remember when that ended. <laughs> I don't right. keep track of dates like everybody else. Okay. Well, you know, it, it really it really helps to know this kind of stuff, you know, so that you're aware of the things that are happening, how long something was going on. Yeah, no. I, I should keep track of the stuff. All right. Hang on one second. I'm just going to, maybe she'll answer a text if I text her really quick. Since we're talking about it, we may as well know. Good thing I got you and Emma and Whitney here. <laughs> I don't fucking remember anything. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I don't then, think about this stuff. Well, I just do it and get it done. I mean, it's... Uh, what a guy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, crap. Okay. So now we know that the breathalyzer really wasn't successful because had it been, you wouldn't have drank and yeah. had a bad test. That really sucks, Lauren. I know. Like, why would you do that? I don't know. Uh, did you think that you could beat the system? Like, how you had beat the other polygraphs and stuff like that? Didn't think you would I get caught? I, I don't know if it was because I was trying to beat it or if I just didn't care anymore because of all the Ramona crap. I, I don't know really what happened. That's why if I, if I knew when it started, I might be able to. Guess what? Emma uh, sent me a picture <laughs> of the paper. Oh, good. Well, good. Cause sure. I, I wish I wish you had all of probably of all of them. That way you uh, know right off the bat. Let's see. I had your address. I just mail you everything I have. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, we talked about that once. You would definitely have fun. Probably, <laughs> probably OJ's attorneys didn't have as much paperwork and reprimands and all probably. kinds of stuff in there. <laughs> okay, July twenty sixth. Oh yeah, here's where it said. Okay, so this is where she was reading it from. She said October third. You did not take the test. October. Sixth, you did not take the test, but it was on the fourth that the test was positive. October third. I wonder why I didn't do this October third. I, I would have to say, Lauren, that you were probably drinking. Because well, if the, I don't know though, how, a couple times I missed it that I, that I wasn't drinking. Well look at how close the dates are. But does it say the time on it? Um, no, it doesn't say the time, no. No. It just says the dates. But considering how close they are, yep. and the positive one other... was on the 6th and the 3rd and the 4th, you didn't. So let me actually, I'm going to go in the Wayback Machine. So it's only those three times that I missed it, though, right? Um, well, I'm going to take or, a, or, a or closer look times. at this. This is where, in this particular section, this is where it's listed. So the 3rd on 2000, in 2017 was a Tuesday. The fourth was when you failed, um, was on a Wednesday. So it's very possible that they sent you a text before midnight on the third, and then you didn't take that, but then on the fourth, you ended up taking it. Maybe they sent you another one. And then the sixth yeah. was on a Friday. So the sixth was on a Friday, and I, I think I worked a lot of Saturdays. So maybe it was the sixth. The reason I didn't think it was because I was sleeping. In all there honesty, was one that I was sleeping. you have absolutely drank the night before working and you've been yeah. hung over and you sleep in. So that definitely happens. So it's possible yeah. that on the 4th, maybe it was when you woke up, um, they sent you another text to take it and that's when it came back positive. You know, I don't know the times that they were sending this to you. Okay. Um, what you just said might have rang a bell. Okay. Because I remember Stacy calling me that morning mm -hmm. to ask me why I didn't take the test. Okay. And 
Well, no, the, she she sent she sent the test to me. And she sent it to you on the third, and then she called you on the fourth and asked you why you yeah, didn't, you didn't take it. Then that, that morning, she sent it to me on the on the fourth. And okay. I took it, and I I figured I must be fine by then, and she must have got the results, and then called me, and asked me what happened the night before. I told her mm-hmm. I drank. Mm-hmm. So that's when that's when I admitted to her that I drank. So I remember she called me that 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 morning after I took the test, and she told me that I had failed it. Okay. Had that ever worked before then? Had it ever, had whatever worked before. Like you're drinking? Like say, say they sent you the reminder to take the test at 5 o'clock on Thursday. So you blow it, and you know that they're not going to send you another one, I don't think, on the same day. They would only send it once a day, right? No. Oh, that no, can be any time? It. Okay. Yeah, well, it's, uh, it's, I think it started out at five times a day. Okay. And then uh, um, then I think it went down to like three times a day. Okay. So then maybe... And, and it was at random. Okay. So then it's possible that on Thursday you um, had taken all of your tests for that day. You figure, okay, I'm going to have three. Three of them already came in. After the last one, there was enough time for you to start drinking. And you figured by the time I wake up, I'm hopefully going to be sober enough. And hopefully during that time, they wouldn't have sent me another test. And hopefully they're not going to send me one right then. And it's going to be later on in the day. So you took yeah. the chance. So yeah. did you did you do that sometimes? The, I think that was the only time that I did that. And I think that what you just, the way you just said that, I think that mm-hmm. was my thought process at the time. So I was playing chance. Okay. Well, I'm just wondering if it if it had crossed your mind because obviously, getting away from alcohol has been almost impossible for you. Even when it's you have a minute. breathalyzer attached to your phone, it's impossible for you to stay away from it a hundred percent. It's been an issue. It, may, it makes me mad because it never used to be an issue. I never used to have a problem with it. Well, here's the thing, Lauren is that you have to think about is when you say it makes me mad because it used to not be an issue. Th- that's irrelevant. Well, yeah. Well, what I'm saying is, is it, that it bothers me that, that now it's hard for me to get away from them. But that's not really something I think that's productive to concentrate on. That, that's true because it doesn't do me any good to concentrate on that right now. Right. That's why I'm saying It's been impossible for you to get away from it. And I feel like you had gotten such a benefit out of drinking. It made you feel better. You wanted to, whether it was alone or when you would go to Tony's. I can tell you that the whole thing has has bothered me. And and I I would drink to try to get away from the thought of it all. What do you mean the whole thing bothers you? The whole thing, the the stepping, the everything I everything I I did went through, the the, the internet stuff mm-hmm. after getting out of prison, mm-hmm. and everything bothered me so much, and I and I would think sometimes to try to get away from them, or mm-hmm. actually a lot of times to try to get away from them, mm-hmm. and that's that's a big reason why I would go over to Tony's because I could sit there and we drink and not talk about the thing and. And the internet, and you know things I said, except except for the only thing you used to say was "get on the ground." He'd say right. every, every great once in a while. He'd say that. Yeah. And I and I know that he'd just be kidding with me, and, you know, just poking me a little bit. Right. But you know, the, the conversation wasn't based around what was being said on the internet about me and and, and the thing and all that. And that's maybe that's part of the reason why I enjoyed going over to Tony's. Well, it because wasn't going to be part that. of the conversation when you were hanging out with your mom or someone yeah, else. Yeah, it, it was. Yeah, that's true too, because mom wouldn't talk about it hardly at all. Right. So it was. Be, it was likely just because you wanted to drink. 
quite possible. I can't really see quite possible because I want the first beer after after I numbed my tongue from the first beer. The rest of them tasted all right and felt good to just numb myself. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I was, I enjoyed the drinking. Right. And I yeah. enjoyed the drinking with Tony, and that that became a problem because I, because I like drinking with Tony. Well, because you would get in your car after and you would drive. Yeah. And he'd never come over here to drink. Because when he wouldn't drive, didn't want to drive. You didn't have to go over there. Right. It was my choice. Right. It was your choice. Yeah. So whether or not they wanted to come over and hang out with you or if they made you come over to see them all the time, that, that doesn't matter either. Yeah. It's the point that you went there. And even if you only did it one time, it's still one time too many. Yeah, it's no. too many times when it's the first 10 times. It's too many times the first 20. And it just goes on and on. Especially when I get so much to lose and I can hurt, kill someone in the process. And you know these things. And it's it was the unfortunate thing that that gets thrown out the window as soon as you decide that you just want to go ahead and do it anyway. No. Yeah what would have happened is you would have cried about it if you got caught. Yeah. Stupid. And at that point it's too late. So, you know, it's the same story over and over. You know exactly what you're doing. You try to beat the system and you're just not going to. Stupid to try. It is stupid to try, but you keep doing it. That's the the problem. The system that I'm trying to beat is my own. Because it's, it screws up my life. No, you're trying to be society system. You're trying to be the system that's put in place by probation. That's what you're trying to be. Your own system yeah. is, you're going along with that just fine. You're right, because I'm rebelling. I was rebelling against it. Because I'm, I didn't want all that freedom taken away like that. What do you mean? By them saying you can't drink at all? Right. So what was that going to prove by you drinking and failing your test? It wasn't proving anything other than I was being ignorant and saying, ha ha, I did it anyway. Who's it saying ha ha now? Done so much damage. Who's saying ha ha yeah. now, Lauren? Not you. Not me. <laughs> so That's here, I, I want to read this to you since you don't have the paper. I want to read it to you because I want you to see how long this has been going on. Okay. Okay. Because on here, on the very first page, it gives some examples. It gives what? It gives some examples of times when they've had to make contact with you regarding alcohol. Okay. Okay. So you have September 15th, 2015. There was a home inspection, and that's when Mitchell was there. Actually, there's his name. He observed you consuming alcohol, and you admitted to drinking four beers. And there were eight that were observed at the residence. So there's your 12 pack right there. They just had, you just happened to have already gone through eight of them. Um, I'm trying I think I remember that. And I hadn't gone through eight. Well, it says that there's eight empty beer bottles there when they're supposed to be zero. I don't think that was, I don't think I had already drank them that day. I think those were from the day before because when Mitchell was there, I wasn't drunk. I wasn't drunk. I wasn't drunk. Drunk. I was four beers drunk, but I was not coherent, so I weren't, you know, still slurring my work, all that crap. Because Mitchell sat right down and had a conversation with me, and he told me he told me just to make sure I slowed down on the beard and don't drink any more than a six pack or something like that. Okay, I find that very strange, but well, I, okay. I remember him being there, and I remember him saying, don't don't get, uh, he said something to the effect, don't drink or something like that. I remember I hadn't even had a six-pack yet, but those empty bottles, I, be- I believe, were from the night before. I think that's what I drank the night before. I don't remember quite clearly, but yeah, I, that's what I believe. I'm not going to say that's exactly what happened. I don't think that that's what happened, if I'm going to be honest with you. I think that you had a 12-pack. 
I think you already had drank eight of them. I think that's what makes more sense. Well, the problem that I have with that is, is I've, I've never been drunk around Mitchell. But you don't really know that for sure. That I've been uh, being drunk around Mitchell? I've, I've never been drunk around Mitchell. But you were intoxicated. So what do you mean by drunk? Do you mean by falling down? Do you mean that you're no, in the by... bathroom vomiting? Do you mean that you're screaming at the top of your lungs at somebody on the phone? Like, what? what is your definition of drunk? You were intoxicated. I... He knew that you were. Well, I was, yeah, I was obviously intoxicated, even if there was only four beers in me. But right. I wasn't. Because eight beers really would make me drunk. And I, I <laughs> All right. Stagger. Well, listen, I I, I'm not, or something like that. we're not going to go crazy here over this. I believe that you had a 12 pack. That's what I believe. I don't think that they were from the day before. So we're going to move on to the next one. Okay. October 7th. <laughs> so we're at October 7th. Okay. It says, uh, reported to sex offender treatment group while under the influence of alcohol. He later admitted to the treatment provider that he had consumed three beers prior to attending treatment. Yep. I remember what that. is that about? That was about Ramona. What about Ramona? I, well, I was stressed out, and, and I bought I bought a six pack, I think, and I went home, and I had three hours before I had to go to class, or like three and a half hours before I had to be to class. So I sat there and drank one beer every hour, and I, I was just stressed, and my muscles were all tight, and I wanted them to loosen up. Okay. And I used I used that to loosen them up. That was in 2015? Yep. I think so. If it says 2015, that's that's when it was. Obviously, I'm not going to remember the date. But I remember that because I remember her smelling that on on me. That's when I was in class with Jean in Waterville. And I remember her smelling it on me. And and she asked me if I had been drinking. And I said, no. I said, I'd been eating a lot of fruit. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ! But, but at the end of class, I <laughs> at the end of class, I I stayed out of class and I told her, I, I said, Gene, I have I was drinking before. I just didn't want to say it in front of everyone else." She said, "I didn't, I had a feeling that you had been because I could smell it." And I apologized to her for lying. And she said, "You know, I have to tell Mitchell about it." I said, "Yeah, I know." So then Mitchell mentioned it to me, and I can't remember what happened after that. Um, let's see. So, all right. There's a little note here. May 4th, 2017, you admitted to Bryce that you drank alcohol on March 29th and drank an average of a 12 pack of beer over a weekend, three times a month. Yeah. That's when, I think that's when Mitchell moved, transferred and Maria became my probation officer. And that's when I was living in Canaan, and Bryce and Maria came there. And Bryce went in and saw my big pedigree dog bag full of beer bottles. And he asked me how many I usually drank. I said, usually I usually drink a 12 pack in the weekends. And then July 26, 2017. Holy crap. It just, what? It just, it's on this one paper, a written reprimand. Where did she get that egg? I never sent that to her. You had to have. I don't remember ever sending some the paper like that to her. She has it, so it looks no, like a picture I mean, that you would have probably taken with your phone. I, and you I don't probably took it back things, then. So. Yeah. Help if I can remember something. <laughs> well, you you seem to remember <laughs> certain things. Like you remember, oh, I didn't drink a twelve pack that day. Well, it was, uh, there's certain things that I do remember. It, it, well, it's it's like Bryce and Maria being there. I remember that specific day, Bryce and Maria coming in, and, and Bryce introducing me to Maria, and telling, uh, telling me that Maria is my new probation officer, and then they right. did walk around my house, and I remember Bryce seeing my pedigree dog bag full of beer bottles. No, I mean, me when her. Mitchell went there in 2015... Yeah, and he I know. saw well, the eight the, bottles, and he, he saw the eight empty bottles. Right, and you had admitted to consuming four. 
So I would have to say that you probably had a 12 pack. Well, see, I'm I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to remember because it was during the daytime that that Mitchell came there, but I no, I've never had eight beers in me when Mitchell was there. I I remember having some beer in me that one time when he was there because he looked at my computer and I remember sitting at the table. Yeah. I remember him saying something about making some comment of, of don't drink too many or something. He, he made some comment. I was thinking it might have been that it was don't drink more than a six pack. But I, I, I could be wrong on that if I did wind up just a pet drink more. So, But he made some comment. I can't remember what it was. Okay. But I don't remember drinking that many well, when he has ever been around. But I could be wrong. Yeah, I think it's I think it's just a mistaken memory because I can completely see you drinking that many and saying, "Oh yeah, I only drank four. It could be a mistaken memory because it happens to me a lot. Right. That's why it's more for you and Emma and Winnie to remember things. I probably wouldn't remember how to write my name. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and you wouldn't get busted on everything too. Uh, I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Since you've been around, I really get busted on shit. Yeah. I mean, has it ever uh, been worth it? All the lying and stuff? Has it uh, ever been worth it? I'm going um, to... I'm going to say, in one way, no. But in another way, yes. Because of the fact that I wouldn't really know whether or not you guys actually cared if you continued to, if you hadn't continued to doing what you did, or if it was just another Ramona thing. Lauren, come on. I know you might not believe me, but. Well, no, because that's, that's know, the same thing as you telling the sex offender counselor, I had fruit today when <laughs> she knows that you've been drinking. I mean, it's the same stuff. You're just kind of. <laughs> No, it's not the same. Well, see, you don't know how it feels to go through something like the Ramona thing, because the, the I hadn't, uh, I was being real with her, mm-hmm. and to turn around and find out that she had just been playing a game with me that whole time, just mm-hmm. to try to get me to do, you know, get pissed and so she could record me and put me on the internet, and that all these people were being fake with me, and you know, when I was actually being real with her. Well, when did yeah, Ramona it, happen? When was that? It was, I, I think it ended in 2007, no, 17, 16, and this end of 16 or beginning of 17 or something like that. Okay. Emma would know. Emma would know. Okay. But it was so like then, 10 months, 10 right. months of my life that was just wasted on somebody playing a game with me. Yeah. So October 7th, 2015 would have been prior to Ramona. October, October when? October 7th, 2015. Yeah, that was prior. Yeah, that was prior to Ramona. Okay. So that's when you had turned Quite up sure. to your class drunk. Hmm. Well, so maybe it wasn't, I guess it wasn't, I guess it was Ramona there. I was stressed about something. So I remember I remember starting to get a headache because my shoulders were tight, shoulder muscles were tight. So I don't know, I don't remember. So if that was before Ramona, then obviously it wasn't because of Ramona. Do you think that the reason but, is that you have a drinking geez. problem? And you've had a drinking problem for several years? Well, yeah, it's obvious I've had a drinking problem for several years. I mean, look mm-hmm. at my record on it. That kind of speaks for itself. It's just I never wanted to admit it. Well, yeah, you never wanted to admit it because that would have meant that you would have had to stop. Yeah. <laughs> and I wasn't ready to stop. No, you weren't and a ready big to reason, stop. The big reason that I wasn't ready to stop was because I enjoyed going over and drinking with Tony. I guess it's just amazing to try to think of the logic there. 
because take away the point of drinking and driving, but if probation is telling you that you can't drink, then how is it possible that you still do? I don't, I'm not now. Well, as of how is two it possible weeks that ago, I got away with it? as of two weeks ago, you were. And right. when you've had this restriction on you for a long time, and you've done it the entire time. Hmm. Well, it's a question I can't answer. I don't know the answer to it. Maybe because I didn't cause problems when I did drink. Well, you were you were driving while you were after you had been drinking, so that is a problem. Yeah, that is a problem. And it's very possible that things were going on. I mean, I know you talk about the Ramona situation, but obviously things were happening that were alcohol related prior to that, where you were abusing it. So did you have that type of relationship with Emma that you would call her up yelling to? I can't remember. I, I, I think it did turn into to something like that where, what I, where I would get mad at Emma or something. Yeah. Um, well, okay, this is something that, that Mitchell pointed out to me that I never knew until he pointed it out to me was when when Emma contacted me mm-hmm. she she sent a package to me and in that package she had a little note and told me that um, if I wanted to call her then I could and she had the number on there. Well the number had something to do with with the date the date and the birth date and you know, and the age of, of Kayla. Okay. And everything all the numbers had something to do with the sting. And I didn't put it, I never put it together, but Mitchell did, and he, he showed it to me. And I don't remember if I ever mentioned that to Emma or not, but there was like, I don't know, there, there was things that was, that had happened that I know that, that I had gotten mad at Emma for, and, and because I talked to Mitchell, and, and he'd wind up putting stuff in my head about, Emma and and people on the internet, and then I I confront Emma about it. So I I've been up and down with Emma for those those few years that as I me and Emma was up, was up and down because of them. Okay. Because of all the stuff of the mess we put in my head and everything. So naturally, I go back and say something to Emma and ask Emma about it all. That's so, uh, with the date of Ramona, you're gonna have to have to ask Emma to be positive because I'm not okay. gonna remember the date. I can definitely ask her about that. That's not a problem, and maybe it'll put more of the picture together. But seeing as you're thinking that you got together with her at least a year plus after the incidents were happening, where you were getting caught with the alcohol says to me that there was a lot going on even before then. And like you were just saying, you probably had that type of interaction with Emma as well. That wasn't I healthy. think I did. But as far as your relationship with her, do you think that you were possibly feeling romantic toward her and maybe that's why you would no, have I've to... Never, I've never felt romantic towards Emma. I've always felt just friendship with Emma. Okay. Because she was married, and I, oh. I won't have anything to do with married women. Right. Okay. Okay. The Ramona thing, I, I stress I remember when that happened. Well, it was, I mean, it was within the last couple of years. But, uh, I mean, the main point, the main point that I'm trying to make is that alcohol's been a problem for a really long time. And up until okay, two well, weeks ago, it still was. It's been two years or more since I've had my computer, right? I don't. I don't know exactly. Do you know when the last video that I put up was? No, not not off the top of my head. Because it was two years. 
if it was two years ago, that it was going to be in 2017. Okay. So Ramona was, I don't know, a certain amount of time before that even happened. Okay. Let me ask you this. And it's already passed, so we're just we're going to move on from here. But I want to ask you, when you did not call for your drug test last Friday, had you been drinking at all? No. No, I literally just forgot to call. I had gone out grocery shopping. I had it in my mind to call on my way back, and then I, I just forgot about it. It's like tonight, I... I get a call from it before 11 o'clock tonight. I get a call then, too, and I hung a piece of paper up on my back door window because I'm always looking out the back door. So that way I can see the paper so I can remind me, call in for drug test. Okay. So you're positive, then, that the last time that you drank was Monday, the 8th? I think it was Sunday. Sunday the 7th. Yeah. Okay. Because Monday I went in and told class about it. That you drank? Yeah. What did they have to say? Dwayne said, you drank yesterday? I said, yeah. He said, but you had it in, but you knew in your mind that if you drank, you could get in trouble. Mm -hmm. I said, yeah. He said, well, what possessed you to drink when you knew that you could get in trouble? I said, I don't know. I said, I knew I could get in trouble if I get caught. But for some reason, it didn't matter to me. That's where he ended. That's where he left the conversation. That's an important question for you to answer for yourself. Why did you do it anyway? Right. Why did it not matter to me when it should have? Yeah, it should have. Absolutely. I've got so much that I can lose just because of alcohol and stupid move. But the alcohol is more important. That's where the problem comes in. You're aware of everything that can happen. But because it's not happening, there's a chance that it won't. And you're willing to bet on that. Right. And it's a stupid bet. It's a really stupid bet. I'm just getting lucky. That's all that's happened. That's all that's happened. I'm tired of being stupid like that. I don't want to be like that. And I don't want to go with homies. And it it sucks because it sucks that it's taken all this time, you and Emma and Winnie, to go through what you've gone through to drill it in my head about Tony. Well, it's not that, it's not about drilling things into your head about Tony. It's not about drilling things into your head about driving after you've been drinking or that you're not supposed to be drinking at all. You knew everything that we've said. It's not news. No, it's not news, but it's for some reason I didn't care. For some reason it didn't matter to me. For some reason it was more important to me to go over and drink with Tony. Right. It's, that's exactly what it comes down to. And you were willing to take the risk yeah. that something bad was going to happen, like someone else getting hurt. Yeah. And it, it, it was stupid. It was a dumb risk to take. Even talking to you on the phone, whether it was me or my sister or Emma, Dan, whoever you were talking to at the moment, there were probably several times where you got one over on us. Like, we would ask, hey, are you drinking? Yeah. There might have been. I I don't remember if there was or not. I'm sure that there have been. And most likely it was because we just dropped it. But you would have gotten away with it again. And you probably felt really good about that. And that's why you would keep going. And that's that's what's really frustrating. And it's infuriating because you're thinking, ha-ha, they don't know. Like, I'm smarter than them. Look at me. I knew I weren't smarter because it was a stupid thing to do. Well, no, but you were thinking that you were smarter because you were getting away with it. And you were banking on all the other times before when it worked out. 
when you can lie to your mom and say, I'm not drinking, I'm over Tony's and we're having a good time talking about fucking pyramid that's coming on TV. Uh-huh. That was the story that you were saying that you were over at Tony's, you were watching game shows on TV, and then all of a sudden you were like, hey, Tony, wouldn't it be funny if $1,000 Pyramid came on TV this time? And then it came on, and you were like, ha, ha, ha. You, you know what's that funny story. is that, uh, right, what's exactly. funny is that you, actually right, did happen. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I mean, but I'm just saying that it was something that you kept, like, harping on. Like, hey, make sure you listen to this really closely. I know what I'm talking about. I definitely wasn't drinking. But you were shit-faced. Yeah, yeah. I know. So, I mean, you were trying to convince me. And you were trying to convince everyone else that you weren't drinking. And that's what happens every single time that you're drinking. I know, because when I get to drinking, I think I can fool people. Yeah. And look what happens, Lauren. Look who's the fucking fool. Who is it? I know. It's me. Right. It's always you. But it took a lot of drilling and a lot of a lot of you guys being persistent for me to see how foolish I was. It really that's what I call real somebody really caring when they go to go through what you guys went through with me. Well, I mean, ultimately at the end of the day, it's your problem. So if you decide I'm going to put one over on them and say that I'm not drinking, I'm going to get pissed off and start yelling and I'm going to insist that I didn't have anything to drink today. And that's not the reason why I'm acting like an asshole or whatever. You're going to be really proud of yourself. But at the end of the day, you're the one with the problem. We aren't. I know. So just like I had said to you one other time that what do you think is going to happen to me? If you get pulled over for drunk driving, do you remember what I said to you? Nothing's going to happen to you. Right. A lot would happen to me. Everything's going to happen to you. Hopefully you're the only one. Hopefully there's no one else involved that you would have hit. But I'm saying that the impact of that is going to be completely on you. None of it's going to be on me. I would hear the news and be like, fucking asshole. And then I go about my day. I wouldn't be sad. I wouldn't be worried about you. Nothing. And that's how everyone would be because they'd be like, what took them so long? I know. And uh, and things would wrap up on the internet about me too. I bet you that if it had happened, your mom would say the same thing. Oh, yeah. She would. Why do you want to? Why do you want to prove everyone right that you're just a fuck up? I don't want to prove prove everyone right. Then the only way for you to do that is to not be one. I know that's why I started listening. As of two weeks ago, after years, years of you trying to be smarter than everyone, years of you being in complete fucking denial, years of you passing polygraph tests when you've lied. There's your evidence that's supporting you to keep doing things the way that you've been doing them because you haven't been pulled over drunk driving. Uh, I can do it one more time. I can do it again. They're not going to catch me. They don't patrol these roads. I live in fucking Maine. I know you're right. So what you have to do instead of saying, I'm changed now. I don't drink anymore. Drinking is out of my life. You you just have to do that. You have to live that life instead. Because everyone's heard all of this before. You think you know what people want to hear. And that they're going to be proud of you. And that's enough. That's enough to get you by. So that in secret, you can still continue doing the same behavior. See, I, I, know, I, I know now I don't want to do it just enough to make people happy to hear my words because really at the end of the day nobody cares Lauren yeah, everyone has to me, go about their own lives and so if, if you end up flushing your life down the toilet again everyone's going to say okay and then they're <laughs> just move on see I care what happens in, to my life well in good life. you absolutely should and I care the way, well, the way people see me too I don't want people seeing me in a bad way. 
Well, the only way that you can change that is for you to not act in a bad way. And not just because you think it's hidden. No, no. And so that's the point that I've tried to make with you several times. And you've gotten upset every single time. But the point is, when you were talking to Molly, that was in secret. When you're talking to Melissa, that was in secret. When you're talking to Kayla, that was in secret. When you were talking to Disney Girl, Kimmy, all the other people that you were trying to hit up, everything was in secret. When you were talking to Rhoda, that was in secret. So in order for you to be a good person, you have to do it when no one's watching. You don't need to get credit. That's not how you validate that you're a good person. Who cares? I don't know if I really care to pat. Well, I I care to pat myself on the back. I'm not that. talking about you talking though. You're, I'm I'm saying that you get your validation from everyone else. That's where you look for it. Yeah, I did. I did, and that's what. Well, that's why. I, that's why I say things too. I I want you to know that I'm I'm trying to do good things and not. I'm trying to not screw up. Well, that's fine, but I mean, as far as you doing things for show so that other people are patting you on the back so that other people are showing you that they care about you. And I understand everybody always wants to feel loved, but it is not everyone's job to make you feel that way. Yeah. But you make it their job. You want it to be their job. Just like when we were going through the chat yesterday See how annoying you were? Yeah, I did too. I mean, God, you're <laughs> basically harping the entire myself. night about make oh, sure you wake me up. Make sure you wake me up. You don't want me to miss this interview. That's our money for me to come and see you. Make sure you wake me up. <laughs> oh, fuck. I was fucking irritating myself so bad. Yeah, you you're I was like, what fucking the fuck? annoying <laughs> as shit. Oh, my God. And that's why Anna uh, was frustrated. That's why I was frustrated. And that's why you were uh, frustrated, too. Because... I, was, I was tired of reading that shit. Like, you could be fucking kidding me. I was, yes. I was fucking pathetic. Yes. And that's what it comes down to as well. <laughs> I know the other stuff is disgusting about, like, look at my penis and all that stuff. But when we take away the perversion of that and you're, and you're trying to look at what is the pattern here, you're looking for validation. Like, is she thinking about me? Is she thinking about me every fucking second? Because then if she is, then she really loves me. I'd like to, I'd like to be able to figure out how I ever get that way. Without knowing your family and and how you interacted with each other you had given clues as to always wanting to have that level of attention from everyone when you say i idolized my brothers and sisters growing up and you know you're you're wanting the love from your mom and your dad left and there there's a million different reasons and we've talked about a lot of them yeah. you know that you're a needy motherfucker I know. Well, I'm, I'm. I'm wondering if that's if it stems from not having the attention that I wanted when I was growing up from my older siblings. Well, it's possible. I I don't know. I, I'm not a psychologist and be able to look back on all that stuff. But the fact is, is that you are almost 50 years old. Everyone else has moved on. I know. And I I got stuck there for so many years. It's just a just like the follow thing. I stuck there for so many fucking years, wasted so many years of my life stuck thinking about Paula. Blaming Paula. You're calling her all kinds of names. Like she's a piece of trash. And we've talked about that too, that she didn't owe you anything. No. Yeah. Jesus. I wasted so many years blaming other people. Everyone else, everyone, for every single thing that has happened to you, every failure, every success has been based on other people, starting all the way back to fucking basketball. I wonder if, like, I don't know, I don't know where it it came from other than my dad, but I never even really knew my dad. Well, no, you didn't know your dad, but you you knew that he was gone 
and it was probably for the best. It sounds like he was a horrible person. You will. But you also can't keep looking externally for everything that has happened, for every reason, for everything that's happened. In particular, when it comes to your own decisions. This just sucks. Sucks so bad that if I can blame so many people for decisions I made. <clears throat> Even looking back on this, this paper I just read you, you were saying, oh, yeah, I showed up at class. Uh, drunk because of Ramona and oh yeah I remember that day now my muscles were really tight so um, I was having a headache so I drank I mean you know all of it is like just a constant excuse. A bad excuse and it's constant you would have been better off saying I drank because I wanted to I drank no. because I like the way that it makes me feel I like it better when I'm drunk rather than when I'm sober. Yeah, but I don't like I don't like it better when I'm drunk. Don't like it better when I'm drunk because I act like an asshole. You don't care that you're acting like an asshole at that time. You say the most vile things when you're drunk and you don't care. All you want to do is not feel the way that you're feeling at the time, whether it's rejected or lonely or disappointed that, you know, your life went down the toilet. That's the reason why you want to drink. That's a terrible reason to drink. Well, it's an unhealthy one, of I, course. That should be the time when I don't want to drink. But that's because you have an alcohol problem. That's not what you do. You don't not drink during the times when you're feeling upset. It's the same thing with anyone with any kind of an addiction. At times of stress, that's when you want to engage in it. So whether it's smoking or doing drugs or drinking, there's going to be a trigger of stress. And then that's going to be your drive in order to have you go and do it. And And all of this stuff. What do you mean nothing done? Because you don't clean up your house? Is that what you're talking about? I clean up my house. I've been cleaning up my house more and more all the time. Now. Well, you said it. You just said, like, getting stuff done. What are you talking about? Yeah, well, I mean, that's what I mean. Like, my house, the outside of my house, the homework quest, I don't, I don't get that done. It's because, because I go out and drink instead. If I get upset, I do want to drink. Right, you get upset and you want to drink. Yeah. It's the same thing with your smoking. How many times have you said that you're not smoking anymore? I know. And I hate not smoking. I hate, I really do hate smoking because it, it ruins my voice. And I, I know you can hear when I leave voicemails with me singing uh, at the end of the day. I know you can hear the difference between what I sound like in the morning and what I sound like in the afternoon because I can hear it. And uh, that bothers me doesn't bother you enough to stop. So here's the thing. Either you're going to do it or you're not. Any of the decisions that you make regarding smoking, regarding drinking, regarding overall being a good person, not lying about everything, all of that stuff is going to come from you. That's what matters. That's all that matters. I don't want to lie about anything. But you do. That's the thing. The I don't want to. I don't want to do the thing that I'm saying that I don't want to do, but I'm still going to do it anyway. I mean, well, listen, listen, I don't want to hear. I don't do it now because it's only been two weeks since you drank, allegedly. And it's going to take a long distance of time in order for that declaration of I don't do that anymore to be valid. No, I know. You know, you didn't wake up this morning as a different person. You didn't wake up yesterday as a different person. That's not the way that it works. All you're doing at that point by saying, I don't do that now, is you're trying to convince me that you don't do it. I think I'm not wanting you to lose faith in me. Well, in order to have faith, there, there has to be something to have faith in. It just doesn't happen. It's not something that blindly 
should ever happen. No. See, it's like, it's like today, I'm feeling that that's really upset me again quite a bit because I was so open with them. Well, tell me uh, about the I questions. Everything. And that was something that I meant to ask you. Tell me about the questions. Did you write them down? I, I, there's only two questions that I can remember. And those were two of the three that from where I failed. Because he, he said he did it different with me this time. The, it's a, it was the first time that he has tried this on anybody. And he, he like put them in a group. The questions in a group. Okay. And... Uh, I don't know exactly the way he did it, but he said it was different the way he was doing it. Okay. But okay. one was, have you drank in the last two weeks? And the other was, have you told the truth about the amount you've drank? Those are the two that I, that I remember. I can't remember what the third one was. But automatic fail. What do you mean automatic fail? I, I could have told you that you would have failed those questions. About the because amount you're, that I drank? Absolutely. Yeah, but I, I, I opened up to him about it. And I... He asked me if I minimized it with, with Dwayne and Marie, and I said yes. Okay, but when he asked you, do you lie about, what was the question, do you lie about, or do you minimize the amount that you drink? Have and you, what did you say? I, it was, have you told the truth about the amount that you drank? Okay, and what did you say? I said yes. That's a lie. Because I have, No, because I told him before. That's irrelevant. That's irrelevant. I told him. Just because you confess right before the test, when he asks you the question, have you lied? And you say, no, I haven't lied. I, then you I just lied. Yes, because I lied. Because I, I, I lied to him. I didn't even think about that. She's, he, asked me, he asked me what I was thinking when, when I thought about those questions, uh, when I, he read those questions to me. Mm-hmm. And I couldn't think at the time because the only thing I could think was I, I was trying hard not to fall asleep because the whole room is yellow and the light was coming in, the big windows right in my face, so it was making my eyes tired. And I told him that. I told him, this room is making my eyes tired and I feel like I'm falling asleep. Mm-hmm. And I was in between in between the, the test because he, he, he did the test three times. He'd do it once, then he'd, he'd stop and he'd go through it. And then let me take a, a little break. Then he do it again. Then he let me take a little break. Then he do it again. The way he worded it, I guess, screwed me up because I had told him, but I hadn't. I had lied to Maria and Dwayne about it. Right. So I had opened up to him, but I hadn't. I hadn't opened up to Maria and, and Dwayne about it. Did he ask you the same question three times? Yeah just in a different way. Okay. So I guess now I know why I held that. Yeah. That sucks. He said one of them was a positive one. And there was one that was negative two and one that was negative four. And he said he did the, the math with him and it wound up being a negative five for that group of questions. Okay. Which means a fail. So what is Bryce going to have to say about this? Because you're going to meet him on <laughs> Wednesday, right? Yeah, well, that's not the reason that, that Bryce wanted to see me. He, he wanted to see me about the drug testing. And when okay. the polygrapher said today, it was also to let me know that Mitchell's going to be my new probation officer again. Oh, Okay. So what did he uh, want to talk to you about the drug testing? Because you missed the calls? Uh, no, I, I, I think it's because I bitched to Maria about it being foolish because I wanted something that I was blowing right right then, like, like the breathalyzer. I wanted that again. That way it would be right then and there and, and it would be easier for me to, to take my mind away from the alcohol. And if I wanted to call. What do you What do you think it. he's gonna say? I don't know. I don't know what he's gonna. Well, um, I think I'm gonna have to wind up taking it again. Cause from what Mike said, the polygrapher, from what he said, um, he, he told me he said, "Don't drink." From uh, from now, 
until your next test. So they have you do your next test. They said don't drink because they're going to, that's the, the question they're going to be asking you is if you have drank anything between now and the next test. So I'm, I'm assuming that they're going to have me take the test again. Probably in a few months. Probably. Have you thought that maybe Maria is unassigned because you're failing the tests and you're not really following the terms of your probation and they think that you need somebody different to convince you to not do that anymore? No, because I think Maria's leaving the state. Oh, is she? I think so. I don't think she's going to be there anymore. Oh, okay. Mitchell left... I, uh, I can only figure that Mitchell must have gone out of state to train for that amount of time because it, usually when that happens, uh, that's one of them's going to train and another one's just taking the place until they're done training. Well, that's been a couple of years, right? No, well, it's been like, crap, how long has it been? How long have I been here? I've been here a couple of years. Yeah, it's been a couple of years. And the, when you're saying that, just remind me, it's been it's been over two years. Yeah, because in 2017 went... was when Bryce showed up and he said Maria was with him. Yeah. And that's when he saw the beer bottles. Right. So maybe Mitchell just transferred because he wanted to move to a different state. And maybe he just didn't like him that state came back. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I don't know. So somewhere along the line, I'll, I'll ask Mitchell what happened. See if he tells me. Yeah, he could just be moving back. Who knows? He might tell me. He's he's not such a bad guy. I mean, he's questionable with some things, but like what? Well, questionable on whether or not well, whether he likes male or female. That's it's, it's, I question. I question whether he's gay or not. Why? Because of the way he acts. Um, well, and what is I guess he it's not like? so much the way. He, I guess it's not so much the way he acts as the way he uh, wears his hair. I guess. His what? <laughs> his hair. Uh, his hair. Yeah, because uh, he'll, he'll. Well, sometimes his hair looks fine and it. It's short, but then it's like he'll grow it out long, so that he <laughs> parts it on the side, and it's like it falls down <laughs> by his eyes, and he's having that thing and shake his head to move his hair out of his eyes. <laughs> so why does that mean he's gay? Uh, well, the, then it just I don't know, just some things about the way he acts. It, it makes me question whether or not he's gay. Okay, but. Why does that make him questionable with certain things? Like that's what you're you're kind of implying that maybe he's not the best probation officer because he might be gay. Well, before it was there. There were times when when I felt a little uncomfortable with him. Before, like why? Just because of the way that he acts sometimes. But yeah, then but there what? were sometimes. Uh, but that he actually uh, like completely let him completely comfortable around him, and you know. Okay, but seem what so bad. what did he do to make you think that he was hitting on you? Because that's ultimately what the well, issue is. You're thinking that he's attracted to you. <laughs> well, yeah, but I didn't. I didn't think that he was hitting on me. But I knew he wouldn't do that because because him being my probation officer. But it, I I don't know. It's just something something. Happened a couple times that made me uncomfortable. Okay, like what? I don't know. I don't remember what it was. <laughs> it was just yes, something. Yes, you do. Something... You have to. No. If it, if something <laughs> happened that gave you an idea uh, that maybe he's gay and maybe he's feeling a certain way toward you, because that's really the only reason why you would feel uncomfortable is if you're thinking I'm... that he wants you. So, I, I what is it? Did he it did was, he walk though. past you and he had a boner or something and he like rubbed it against your arm? What could no, it possibly no, be? He's he's never been that close to me. 
Did he eat a banana looking into your eyes or something? No, because I've never seen him eating. <laughs> ah, okay. I don't, I don't know. There's just something about the way he was standing at some point or... or... What was that? that, that you broke up there. Said, uh, said, uh, it was something about the way he was standing uh, uh, or, or something that made me... Un- there was something that made me uncomfortable about him. I couldn't, I can't pinpoint it. I, even then, I couldn't quite pinpoint it, but it just made me uncomfortable. And that's what made me th- think that he might be gay. And then there, was, then there was the way that he wore his hair that really, you know, made me wonder that also. But, so I don't know. I mean, he, he might be completely straight for all I know. I don't know. It's just, uh, there was a time when, when I was, I remember there was, uh, there was a couple of times that I was uncomfortable. I can't pinpoint the reason why. But. Okay, so aside from that, which you don't know anything about. <laughs> That's right. I don't know anything about it. Okay. So. so are you thinking that he is seeing your pictures? Oh, God, yeah. I know he is. Okay. So is that what's making you uncomfortable? So you're thinking that he's gay and he also saw your disgusting pictures? That might... She thanks for the word disgusting. Welcome. That might be part of why what made me uncomfortable. But really, thanks for that word disgusting. I think it's really funny that you are having this idea about Mitchell. And, and really, who cares? You know, whether he's gay or not, he has to do a job and that's what he's going to do. He probably doesn't give a shit about you, you know? He probably doesn't. Yeah. He probably doesn't. You know, at the time, I mean, my thoughts were completely different at the time than what they are now. Okay. So you're going to be able to to work with him and have the expectation that he's going to be professional just like he always has. Yeah. Okay. Like, so really is there anything else? With. Okay. So what about anything else that makes him questionable, as you say? No, there's nothing else. Okay. Good. Well, it sounds like he knows you. It sounds like he knows your situation. And, and hopefully it ends up working out well. I think it will because I'm a different person than what I was then. All the things okay. are different. All right. Well, hopefully it stays that way because it's only been two weeks. I and you know. have several years under your belt of being a real asshole. I know. Someone who's person, not no. able to follow probation. The very this rules is- that could send him back to prison. This disgusting person understands. Okay, good. Keep understanding that. You don't throw that word disgusting in your face, don't you? Yeah, but I don't care. I can see that. Yeah. doesn't help that you think I'm disgusting. I'm not even addressing that because it's really stupid. So just keep working on being a good person and not just what everyone else sees. Be a good person when you're by yourself, when you're just with your dogs, when you're in your truck driving, just be a good person. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay, good. I'm getting better at it. Good. Practice makes perfect. I used to be right on top of it. No more I used to be's. Because most likely the used to be's aren't exactly what you think they were. Well, they were then though. But you're talking how many years ago, Lauren? Half your life ago? I know. If not more than that? Ago. Too many years ago. Right. That's what I mean. Like, you're just going to have to be better. You're going to have to live the life that you want to live and not just throw smoke screen at everyone and say, I'm going to make you believe that I'm good and I'm going to make you believe that I don't lie. And that I'm living my life one way. But in reality, I'm still going to do everything that I've always done. Because I'm smarter than everyone else. And I'm going to take a chance because I don't really give a shit. 
Yeah, but I know I give a shit. I really do know that I care and just hate what I put myself through. Okay, guys. I turned out to be because of that shit. Right. Anyway. So is this a date that you're going on tonight? I am going to let you go. And I hope you have a wonderful night. Yeah, you too. Have fun on your date. And I hope that you sleep well. You too. Okay, bye. You up, never gonna let you down. Never gonna come around and desert you. Never gonna make you cry. Never gonna say goodbye. Never gonna tell a lie and hurt you. Oh, that's forgot. There's another one. We're gonna run around and desert you. Never gonna make you cry. Never gonna say goodbye. Never gonna tell a lie and hurt you. All right, it's another that one. Hello. Hello. Amalou. Amalou. Hello. Hello. Hi. Can you hear me? So cute. Welcome. <laughs> I usually sing that song to Debbie too. Really? I, I sang. Uh, yeah, I, I sang. Uh, uh, what the hell's that song? Lying beside you. With that's Whitney. Open arms. Too. No, mine Winnie's with Faith Boy. She got mad at me for singing that to Debbie once. Uh, Whatever, me and Winnie broke up, so whatever. <laughs> but wow. I, I know that. I know that when I won't sing that song to Debbie again because because of Winnie. No, I don't care what the no. hell you sing to Debbie. Winnie can go masturbate to whatever she wants. Oh, she does anyway. <laughs> well, I'm glad she does. She does that regardless. Regardless of whether or not, she still masturbates to whatever she wanted. Well, so do you. Oh, well, yeah, but I don't I don't uh, put it on public, though. Yeah. Hey, did you read the title? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I did. Hold what? on a second. I got a freaking like figure out what the hell. The hell the thing on here is. You cut me off, so me tell me. Huh? Oh, delivery ticket. No, that's delivery number. They gave me different paperwork, and nothing's in the right place. So I gotta find it. Pickup number. All right. Well, they're gonna get the pickup number. Oh, there it is, right there. Seven eight. The waiting number. Well, whatever. If I can put that one on there. I know you're just trying like to it. distract me because you are pretending like you remember the title of the poll, but you really don't. You're trying to look it up. No, no, I'm seriously trying to look at this paperwork that they gave me a different fucking paperwork and it's fucked me all up on finding shit. So I get a. I'm going to put the fucking delivery number on it. Fuck them. They don't. I didn't need to fucking do that shit, so. Oh, these fucking idiots. Should work. It's gonna have to work, because that's what I fucking got. The yeah, message been sent. I'm all good to go. Yeah, I fucking. <laughs> I, uh. <laughs> well, De- Debbie asked me if I remembered what was that. That her and I had to, had to do when she called me. I, I told her, yes, I do. I told her what it was, and she asked me what it was, and I told her what it was. She told me I was going to be 100% on her. Huh? What are you talking about? When Debbie calls me later. Well, I don't care about that. I'm asking you if you saw what no. the, the name of the poll was, and you said yeah, and then you didn't tell me. Yeah. So I don't believe you. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I can't see it now because I can't go back to it, but can one, uh, can Lauren prove that he's changed or something like that? No, the holy lornography. Oh, that's what it was? I didn't see that. The holy lornography. Isn't that fucking something? Read by Lauren what Armstrong. The fuck? <laughs>
Oh, God, Brie. That's fucking funny. That's what they call it. I cannot, the holy lornography. It's like a Bible. I, I, I cannot believe that many people. Well, I said that way back when, do. There's a lot of people since I checked who have responded, so. So what is it now? I don't know. I gotta get to the side of the road here. So I gotta... It was upwards of 3,000, but I mean, it's, I really don't fucking care as much as you do. Sorry to be checking every five minutes. <laughs> I just curious. We haven't we haven't checked for a while, so I I figured I'd ask you. Thirty eight hundred. Thirty eight hundred. Uh, Three thousand eight hundred. Responses to that. With ninety three percent saying yes, they'll give you another chance. Six percent say no, and one percent say they don't care. 3,800 people responded to that so far? Yeah. It's just been up since this morning? Yeah. Holy fuck. What the hell? Uh, yeah, it's a lot. So many. Oh, my fucking word. Jesus. Well, I don't know. I ain't too horny about it. You're not too horny about it? No. Why? Because I can't be horny for you. You're my best friend. <laughs> I'm I'm just amazed that so many people have responded so fast. It just went up this morning. It's only, what, a few hours? Yeah, about four hours. That's fucking, that's fucking nuts. Yeah. Why the fuck did they get so obsessed with me? I don't know. Maybe they didn't know that you could be that stupid and not be a ward of the state. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Smart I mean, ass. Because your accent, because you were goofy, because you were, <laughs> you said, oh, God. Jeez. I don't know. You realize you're famous too now. No, I don't want it. No, yeah, I don't like that. But no. it, uh, you'd be, you're famous in a different way, though. Not the same as me. I'm famous Thank for God. being a pedophile with my chichos. But it's not fame. It's <laughs> like, it's not fame if you have notoriety. People know you. It's not fame. You have notoriety. I have scrotoriety. You have dinner, dinner variety. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the Debbie asked me if I remember what it was. Huh? I said the holy lornography. <laughs> I put it in big bold letters. Uh, when uh, when you do it on your on your channel, let them know that uh, that. That I started doing it before I had to redo it. But I had a really hard time in the first couple of days, and that's what I, that's what it made me realize maybe it's a good idea to let everybody in on me reading it. So, so you want me to I add in the description hard. that this is like take two? Yeah, in the first okay. couple of days there, to to whenever Debbie tells you. Where we, wherever Debbie tells you, me and her stopped. So I think we stopped on the second day. I think, I think it was the second day. Yeah. But because it, last night was, it was easier last night for me because I had already read out. But the rest of the time is not going to be so easy. I think you'll be okay. Trust me, it's not going to be easy. I was fucking... I was fucking in days when I cried so fucking hard. 
After I get off the phone with Debbie, I just fucking bawled. Well, sometimes when you have an emotionally moving experience, it's best to not stop yourself from having that release. So what's this thing uh, that you need I, to do when Debbie I, calls? I, I bawled when, when I was doing it with Debbie. I started fucking crying when I was on the phone with Debbie doing it. I, I, couldn't, fucking, I couldn't hold the bag. I was fucking... Uh, All right, so what was this thing you have to do with Debbie when she calls that you were telling me about and then you giggled like a little girl? (laughs) (laughs) Because I got drunk the other night. Well, because I went up to Toys. I wasn't really drunk, drunk. I was buzzed. But it was was enough. And I drove home after. Oh. She's, She's making me call mom and tell mom. Oh, well, that's good. At least it's not like going in... To the police station. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't fucking do that anyway. She wouldn't get me to do that. Don't care. I don't care how much I listen to her. I well, wouldn't listen just, to her on that one. I'd say no. I just want to warn you. <laughs> fucking doing that. <laughs> Debbie well, is not gonna let you get away with minimizing the situation by saying buzz instead of drunk. I know. So I just want to let you know, so she doesn't. Embarrass you in from in front of mom. Well, uh, she's not gonna embarrass. She's gonna stay on mute. But I, I'm gonna be honest with mom. Let mom know that I have a friend that is trying to help me get my ass straightened out. And one of the things that she's making me do is call mom up and tell her that I went over Tony's last week, last whatever night it was, Saturday I think. No, Sunday. What the hell was yesterday? Yesterday was Monday. Yesterday was Monday. Yeah, so it was Sunday that I went over there. But I'm, I'm, I'm letting Debbie do this, I'm following her direction on everything, because I know she's helping me. You know, she what? I, you... There you go, car. Get right up there so I can't fucking turn or that. So I'll run to, it's a fucking cop, too, you fucking dildo. What a fucking retard. Jeez, that was a dumbass. I said, I know that. I, see, if, if I didn't want the, the help, then I wouldn't let Debbie push me like she does. But I want the help, and I know she's helping me, and I know she knows how to help me because I respond to her. So then that's why I'm allowing it to happen because I want to change. I, I want to be a better person, and all this going over Tony's, I know it's hurting me and my wallet, and they, if I kept it up, it would wind up hurting someone else, and then Tony, why did you take advantage of me, and, you know, it, it's not worth it for me to go over there, it just brings my life downhill. I think it's because you're more worried about how you appear to other people on the outside instead of working on nurturing yeah. yourself and moving forward. Yeah. So it's good that you're doing this now, and Tony and Wendy can go eat a big fat dick like MC Ren. That's that's right, because they don't fucking they they don't do anything for me, and I got people that fucking uh, obviously give a fuck about me because I mean you you stuck with me for six years now. Yeah, I have. We've gone through so much bullshit that we've gone through, but and, and you don't even have to and, buy me and, any beer. Uh, yeah, I didn't even have to buy you any beer. You bought me some. <laughs> and if you come to my house, you can leave your pecker in my toilet because you won't be banished to the outside area to pee. Uh, actually, I, I didn't. I go in that fucking toilet whenever I want. <laughs> they, they, they say, why can't you go outside? I said, because I don't fucking feel like it. I said, you got a toilet so people can piss in it. No, you don't do that. <laughs> don't lie. I, I do. I, I fucking tell them. I think it's stupid for them to fucking say something about somebody having to stick a piss. But during, during the summertime, I will go out. Or if it's dark out, I will go outside. Maybe they're afraid of you peeing because you have such a huge, massive well, penis. They saw pictures yeah, of it online yeah. and it curves, and they don't want you to pee, like, crookedly. Yeah, yeah I know what. <laughs> pee on the wall. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Tony goes outside, too. 
Hon är så jag därför hon hit. Det, 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 they've never had the septic tank pumped out. Or I think they've had it pumped out once, but they, they haven't paid much attention to it. And I, I don't think it's, I really don't think it's in all that great a condition. But I don't think they realize it. And if it goes on them, they're going to be paying out thousands of dollars to have it fixed. What do you mean pumped out? Like you have to suck the turds up after a while? Yeah, the, from the tank. From the septic uh -huh. tank itself. So, like, how many years worth of turds are they sitting on then? Well, it depends on how many people live in the house. Like Tony and Wendy, well, does just nice Tony and Wendy in there, it wouldn't take it wouldn't last. It wouldn't take them. Well, it, with just Tony and Wendy in there, a thousand gallon tank, they should have it pumped out about every five years. But okay, they don't, but don't. remember, Tony and Wendy are huge, and they take massive Mondo Dookie shits. Alright, so it's only only about every five days. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> she drops two digits uh, every time. Yeah, I know what. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Um but it's fucking Yeah, it's fucking fine, my Jesus Christ. That fucking guy can eat. Holy fuck. He puts it right down too fast. It's like he does the the beer. Like, he puts like her somebody down. else is going to take it from him. The food. Oh, yeah, he, he likes the, to eat, he huh? He puts the food down. Yeah, he does. But he's fat, but most of Tony's fat is from drinking, I think. Oh. But he is a nice, he's, a, um, <laughs> he's a nice guy in certain ways. In other ways, he's just he's a piece of shit. But he, he, can, he can get along with anybody. Easy, very easy to get along with. Well, but, I would be easy to get along with too if somebody was bringing me free fucking booze and food. Well, well yeah, I know. I know. But he's always been like that too, even before. Yeah, I know. Even be even before this, he, he's uh, even before he was everybody was bringing a beer. He was easy to get along with. It seems but, like to me is a fair weather friend he's a user he'll be polite with you but i've heard him lock you out before when it was 14 below yeah i know he let me back in right after though not right after i, say, I, say, I was on the phone with you it was a full seven minutes was it that long yeah you lucky i i was fucking drunk and pissed you were drunk as fuck and you were like Emma, time this. How long have I been outside in 14 fucking below weather? Blah, blah, blah. And I timed it. <laughs> and then you're like, I'm never going to forgive this cocksucker. And then you come in the house and he's like, hey, how is it? It's cold enough for you out there? And then you, you were all, you can't drink queer beers, Tony. You can't drink Budweiser. And you're just stupid <laughs> drunk like he was. So both of you guys are a couple of fucking morons. Uh, <laughs> good thing we're from Maine, huh? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, the bell curve's a little bit different over there, so. <laughs> good thing we can handle, yeah, we can handle the cold. Yeah. That's... Still 14 below is fucking cold. It doesn't take long to get frostbite. Your face does look like somebody's pulled it out of the freezer and left it to defrost and then put it back in the freezer and did that a few times, so. I mean. Yeah, that's, that's, just, that's just being tough. <laughs> uh, I just yeah, what I, anyway, what I was uh, what I was telling you with, with Debbie, I was yeah. to she tell me that that I wasn't gonna back down, I wasn't I wasn't gonna get away and find any way out of out of it. I she, think you and know. I was gonna be a hundred percent honest. Yeah. And all that, and I I texted back to her. I said yes, dear. LOL. And she said Debbie. So I texted it back. Yes, dear Debbie, LOL. Oh, my God. <laughs> you got her good. Uh, then I texted her. I said, what, a, what an asshole, right? She said, big capital letters, yes. Well, she calls it, but she smells it. Uh-huh. Do what? I said, she calls it like she smells it, you asshole. Yeah, I know. Yeah. 
<laughs> I had done that to her before, and I fucking got her on the same thing. I thought she would have fucking caught on to her. <laughs> oh, shit. It's funny. She doesn't let you get away with anything. That's why she's perfect to do what she's helping you with right now. <laughs> I know. Yeah, she is. She's really doing an awesome job. Makes the me holy lornography. Making me think about shit and making me want to change again. Yeah. Yep. Oh, Susan put your face on Jesus for the poll, by the way, the picture. I couldn't get that in the screen cap. <laughs> well, really I bet the, that's probably the big topic in, there, in that room now, huh? Sure. Well, actually, it's Lauren would never have abs like that because it's a picture of Jesus on the cross looking all cut up. But if oh, you look yeah. at all of the replies down, um, yeah, people are saying some really intelligent, cunning things about you. Like what? Well, this one is different, said, so I want to hear it. <laughs> uh, it's been a long time since I heard anybody on there say anything intelligent about me. Uh, <laughs> One person says it's just a manipulation. Another person says, yeah, but for once he's not manipulating his penis in front of the camera for a little girl. Another person here says, I fail to see any redeeming qualities in Lauren Armstrong, but perhaps that is because he does. He just has not had an opportunity to present us with any. I'm willing to give him a shot. And that has 52 thumbs up. Well, that was that remark right there is a true remark because I haven't shown them that many things. I haven't, I didn't even show myself reading the fucking catalog and avoiding it for so long. Yeah, it was re, oh, re sour cream strong is the person who said that. Uh And then under that, uh, okay, never mind that one. Okay, here's one. I think if Lauren Armstrong were actually to go through the chat log, it would make his head explode. If he survives it all the way to the end, I might just have some respect for him and stop clicking on videos making fun of him. That was hard, but they're going to see. They're going to be. That was from where? Susan Powder. It's going to be hard, but I'm going to do it. It's fucking days. When this I told my counselor Christmas. about it yesterday, I'm ready for Lauren. Emma, what? What? Huh? So when I told my counselor about it yesterday, oh. he, he told me, he said, he, he says, as, long, as long as you don't, as long as you, you read it and your feelings come on and coming out honestly when you're reading it, he said, it should be all right. Coming out but, uh, honestly, what are you gonna like lie? I thought it was a little boy, yeah. a little girl. Yeah, no, he, he, he meant my feelings as long as my feelings are coming out honestly. As, well, long, yeah. as, as long as I'm being honest with myself about the whole thing, and when I read it, you know, my responses to when I read it. See, even the, he the way knows how much of a bullshitter you are, you just need to be honest with yourself. Yeah, well, yeah, but he, he's even told me right out that he knows that I'm not an actual predator. No, he hasn't. Yeah, he has. He told me right out straight that, that I'm not an actual predator. He, he says that, well, he, he told me, he says, uh, but you're in, in the class with me, and I, I hear things that other people don't hear. So he knows you're not a violent rapist, but a predator. Yeah. You are. Um, he knows uh, he knows that I'm not a child molester. Yeah, I agree with him. I do not believe that you molest little children. All right. I don't. I don't think that seeing a cute little toddler in her diaper running around on the beach is going to turn you on at all. I agree no, with him. It doesn't. It doesn't. It's, it's very upsetting to me about people doing that shit. Year old. It's, I have a hard time in that class sometimes. Listening to shit. It's really. 
<laughs> these dudes who get hard ons for cute old. little children and then like want to hurt them and all that. Like that's disgusting. It doesn't mean that so what you did. I said these guys are pretty disgusting. It doesn't make you any less disgusting. It's just a different kind of disgusting. I mean, I'm disgusting. I ask yeah. Dan not to shower all day long just so I can lick the funk off his asshole because I like it. Oh, okay. It, that's too much information for me. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Everybody, uh, everybody has something that it's kind of weird. You know, we don't want to admit it. Yeah. Yeah, that's true, too. Uh, we found out something weird about fucking Debbie. She likes the cold chin. What? Macaulay Culkin? <laughs> no, the cold chin. What would you call it before? Cold chin? Oh, the soul, the cold patch. Yeah, the cold patch. <laughs> yeah, when she licks the uh, pussy and then, I mean, when you lick the pussy and then the, the caca stain gets under the lip, the cold patch. Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, that fucking caca better not be there. <laughs> I don't like the cold patch. <laughs> Do you like reading the holy pornography? Nope. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Well, a lot of people like the idea. It's already up to 412. It's supposed to be 13. As soon as this one person, uh, you know, cast their vote. 412? No, 4,012. 4,012? Mm-hmm. Jesus Christ, it was just a 3,800. I know. Holy fuck. How many it's people did she get? How many people go on her thing? Uh, Followers. 52,624. How many? 52... Excuse me, a thousand people follow her stupid Church of God page. I'm burping in your 52, ear. 52,000? Yeah. Son of a bitch. It's hooked up with Chris Hansen, so. Holy fucking Christ. I didn't know there was that many. Damn. I know. People are already asking where they can donate money for you to do that. Uh, Jesus Christ. This one girl posted a picture of her tits. uh, How the fuck did that grow to so fucking many, Emma? Because they did hashtag hashtag Lauren Logic. And after you do that, it just blows up on Twitter. I think somebody tweeted um, the Kardashians, too. Wow, what the fuck? Amway West retweeted it, so. Uh. Well, from 4,012 to 4,038 in like three minutes. That's just fucking nuts. And you're still at 94%. I would give him a second chance. Jesus Christ. I didn't know I was that known. Oh, look. I am 13. I would give him a second chance, too. I have seen the show in my health class. Love, Brienne. What? No, oh, Jesus Christ. That might be a problem. Why? Is underage kids going to listen to this stuff? It's not a 13-year-old. It's just what some dude said. I think he's like 50. They can't listen to it unless I age restrict it. When you sign up for an account, you have to put your birth date. Yeah, you have to put your birth date, but what, what's to say... That somebody just uh, underage just puts a fake name in there. No. Or a fake age. The underage kids can't hear this shit. Lauren, listen, on YouTube you're not you're not allowed to do any of that stuff. 
I'm not going to make a channel and have something on there that's going to get flagged. Everything has to be at least PG-13. Okay. <laughs> I don't know about any of that stuff. I, I just know I don't want underage kids hearing this shit. No, underage kids won't be able to hear it because I'm going to age restrict it. But that's different from Facebook. Okay. Are you thinking of camera? Hey, it's just fucking nerve-wracking. Why? Because it's, it's me fucking taking me right back and fucking have to do it all over again and actually realize it was me that wrote all that shit. It, and it's hard every time I come across fucking sexual, something sexual that I said, it's fucking hard. Yeah, I can imagine, but look at all of this support you have. I thought there would be a lot more shit talking. Yeah, Everybody seems sport, really positive, still... like shitty panty scenes. Get a lot of support, but it doesn't it doesn't make it any easier for me to read it. Well, you know, having stage fright in front of a bunch of people throwing tomatoes at you is probably more nerve wracking than having stage fright in front of a bunch of people who want you to succeed and will not throw the tomatoes. Yeah, but I just did. It was just me and Debbie the, for two nights. And I still couldn't keep it together with the shit that I was reading. And that was just the beginning. Look, at the very end of Space Jam, Michael Jordan had a hard time too. But you know what he did? He looked at the bigger picture. He had to save the galaxy. And you, you're tasked with the same thing. Plus, you know how to spin a basketball in your finger. You can save your entire world, Lauren, by deciding you're no longer going to run away from this. I'm not backing out of it. Don't think I'm backing out of it because I, I know I gotta fucking go through it. Just know it's gonna be so fucking hard. I really hate reading the shit that I wrote. Well, you know, sometimes our conversations are not as fun as we want them to be. Most of the time we can have a good time communicating with somebody and you had a good time communicating with somebody. You paid the piper, but you never really went to revisit what the problem was. And now that you are, you're scared to death and there's no reason to be. Because Debbie and I are not going to feel any differently about you because we both have read it. I've read it. I still care about you, Lauren. You're still the same man to me. Oh, fuck. This is going to be a hard ass fucking month to me. You'll always be Lauren Armstrong, the survivor, not the victim. But how much more proud are people in your life going to be of you once you stop cowering in the corner and running away from this? When finally, when you look at it, it'll be in your rear view mirror instead of in front of you like a deer in the headlight. You know the fucking... Yeah, I do. Those, those first two days when it was just me and Debbie reading them. That was literally, literally the first time that I ever stepped back and, and read what I wrote. Yeah. Instead of looking for something, some other faults and someone helped. I can imagine. You the were rape. just looking at what the decoys rape were seeing. Because you were always looking at it from a legal standpoint. 
right from the fucking beginning, it was my fault. Fucking. I was so upset at myself that I was trying to blame it on other people. I never stepped back. I was so busy trying to look at it, find everything and anything I possibly could to throw the blame on perverted justice and and Chris Hansen. I never stopped to look at what I did. It's always easier, especially if you have a valid point and they're doing something that's not good. To look at them and point the finger and say, oh, look, the Constitution says you can't do this. But Debbie's right. It doesn't take away from what your intent was with that sweet little girl. And I'm glad that you acknowledge that. And also, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of me for doing what I do. It's fucking scared as hell. Fucking don't want her to fucking read it. I know how much I'm going to fucking break down. How much I'm going to, I'm going to fucking lose it. Well, Lauren, you know what happens Debbie, when your car breaks down, right? If Debbie doesn't doesn't want me to cry, but I can't fucking... I told her. I, I said, I don't hold it back. Lauren, I never held it back. I don't have any reason to. Sometimes you got to cry. Uh, yeah, but I mean, I'm fucking literally... Two nights in a row, I was fucking losing it all the time. Well, because knowing that I fucking wrote it. Have you ever had a pimple or a blackhead or something that's really gross and it's grew on, it's grown on your body for a long time? Well, I try to get rid of them, like fast. I don't usually have blackheads anyway. Well, if you've ever known somebody who has, or like a cyst or something that's been there for years, the longer you let it sit, the bigger and stinkier it gets, and then finally, yeah, flush it all out, and it looks like pudding. Yeah, that's gross. Well, you know what? That's really, really, really gross. (laughs) Sometimes a smart person will go see a dermatologist and have that pore taken care of. So nothing. Like my ankle. Yep. And nothing stinks. And you can just take care of it and go do what you got to do. But you've let this fester forever. And now you got to, you got to smell it. Spread some on your bagel, take a bite, and man up. I gotta hike up the skirt and stop being a tally. Right? Yeah. I really admire you for, for being able to do this and, you know, for eating semen off a bagel. Oh, shit. Probably one of my fucking necks all stiff today. I'm constantly thinking about it. I kind of have to. Uh, well done. I'll be happy Just to remember, done, no avoiding boy. thoughts about it is what got you where you are now. Where everything that's built up over the years, you finally realize. It's all going to come out like you were constipated for a decade. That's a lot of shit. Yeah. You're going to be on Mount Everest, but it's turds. Yeah. I might be sitting there for a while. Well, I love you, but you're going to have to wipe this one on your own. Are you going to hold my hand like, like Will and Winnie do? Oh, my God. Well, I don't know if you're going to be stacked up that high on <laughs> shit. I'm only five feet tall. I don't think I'll be able to reach you. <laughs> hey, we'll, we'll get you a step ladder. <laughs> Can you get me the one that Dan uses when he does his jazzercise? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Then we'll put, the, we'll put Dan on top to hold you up when I when I start getting my shit gets fall too high. That sounds cool. Just bring the chat log. You can read it while we're doing all that at the same time. <laughs> yeah. I'll be I'll be reading. You'll be, be plugging in your nose and holding my hand and saying, Lauren, you're full of shit. I sure will. 
Hey, uh, how many millions we get on there now? Wow. I'm going to have a visit in a few minutes. Yeah, what? Um, millions? Yeah, well, I think as fast as it's going up. No, it's still at 442 or 4,042. Wow, 4,420. I'm reading it wrong. 4,420? Wasn't it just at 4,038? Yeah. Holy fuck. Oh, it's lunch hour. Holy fuck. Everybody logs in on Facebook on their lunch. And they're all responding. What are, what are some of the things that are being said? No, it's just a poll. I told Susan oh. to take the comments off, like you said, remember? Yeah. Yeah. Don't need don't need to hear a bunch of stupid shit. I got in the habit of saying stupid shit because of Winnie. Some of the stupid shit she does. <laughs> wow. That is fucking nuts. Send a text to Debbie and let her know what it is. Okay. That. No, I think Debbie's following it. She liked the post. Oh, she's following it? Yeah, she's swallowing it. Yeah, well, I hope she's not swallowing it. I'm not there. Oh, I thought that's <laughs> what you meant. Like, she's, you know, like, get a load of this, gulp. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Uh, I got a kick out of getting her on that. Yeah. I said, yes, dear Debbie. I said, yes, dear Debbie. <laughs> what an asshole, right? Yes. How uh, I find that so it. fucking funny. I, I find it so fucking funny. I love doing that to her. <laughs> She's so funny. Wow, Lauren. <laughs> so how far are you going to go tonight? How far am I going to go? I don't know. I got to go until Debbie says stop. Uh, I also got to keep the time on on when it's bedtime because I have to drive. And I've got to pay attention to the road and make sure I don't fall asleep and shit. I take my job seriously. Do you notice that? No, I don't believe you. I do. I take my job seriously. It's just, I have an easy job, so... <laughs> How serious do I need to get with drive now than pay attention? <laughs> I mean, you know, you speed through areas, you like almost plow over little kids by the school bus, you know. No, I do not. Take a picture no, of Pecker not. in the bed of the truck. No. You think I don't know? <laughs> no, Debbie was the last one I did that for. I haven't done that since, and I won't do it. I won't do it anymore. Say I won't do it anymore, but I put for Debbie again. <laughs> but I don't need to. She's already seen that. She's seen it many times before. I even took a picture for her. What are you and Dan coming up again? I don't know. When are you coming down here? Well, as soon as I'm able to leave the state. Yeah, you are. After you're done with the chat log, you're going to say the magic words, and they're going to release you from your class, and we'll be able to have. Uh, a I know a lot, of, and... a lot of things probably. A lot of things probably will change after I do this. After I do this, but you know, I, as for how much will change, I don't know. But I've I've had thoughts of moving down to Florida, not because of Debbie either, just because I'm tired of Maine winters. Tired of dealing with the winter time and fucking snow. And, yeah, uh, I mean I don't blame yeah, you. Well, you know, like you decide to do that when they reach the years that you have reached. You know, reach the years that I what? <laughs> you know, the golden years. Uh, I'm not in my golden years. <laughs> uh, it's just it's such a pain in the ass to fucking deal with the snow during the winter time. That I get sick of it. I thought about moving out to Washington State too, but if I move out, I move out there, then I won't have to. 
done with R.C. Moore. If I move down to Florida, I can still work for R.C. Moore. So, I don't know. Let's see what the future holds. Oh, shit. What are you doing? Sitting here, talking to you. Looking at all the Facebook, looking at the Facebook feed. What's that doing? Oh, that thing's on Facebook. Yeah, that's what the poll is. It's on Facebook. It's on um. Oh. Yeah, the Holy Lornography page. Well, I thought it was on YouTube and shit like that forums. What's it at now? Same. Same. Amazing how fast that went up. Oh, look, there's a free coupon for McDonald's on it now. A lot of people have engaged in the posts, so it's getting advertiser revenue. Oh, really? <laughs> look at that, Emma. We're making McDonald's some money. <laughs> Can you imagine what what your channel's gonna make? You just, you can do good off your channel. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna monetize this. It's very tacky. You I think to try to make money? Doesn't matter. Off it does too. I'm not making money off of it. If that's part of the deal, I'm declining. No, well, the money the money can go to the humane society. That's an idea. Do you want to do that? You don't have to if you don't want to. Oh, I don't care either, either way. I mean, it's. I think we should talk to Debbie about it and then Dan because the last thing I want to do is have any money associated with your crime <laughs> give you a well, problem or well, that... a problem and we should just leave it alone yeah. and let the main I... benefit be for you inside your heart. Okay, I, I agree with you. I'm, I'm just thinking, you know. You can make money off it if you want because you put so much money out. Then you said you didn't want to, so I said, well, why can't you go to the Humane Society? So it's not going to go to me. It's because illegal for it to go to me. Yeah, I don't want people to have to sit there and watch an ad just to hear a man talk about how he's going to avoid doing something that you yeah. go do. Yeah, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. Yeah, so let's, let's not monetize it. That's not something that we even have to talk to Dan and Debbie about. Let's not monetize it. Oh, shit, I'm right here. It's getting hot up on here now. Oh, my God, I can't believe it. I hit it on the first try. Hey. Off this. They gotta fix my fucking brakes so it'll stop squeaking, squealing when it's when it's dry out. They didn't fix it last time when I had it in there. They should have. That's what they were supposed to be doing. And I can have them put a light on there too, and I'll go in and scan that crap, and they'll be done with my brakes, and I can get I can get going again. And you can see on the phone with me the whole time. You'll hear just give me. Everything I'm doing at my little. Cool. <laughs> Look, Lauren. 4,869, dude. Jesus fucking Christ. That's over 400 in how long? 10 minutes? No, no, no. It's been at least 20. Damn. How high do you think that's going to go up to? Well, the poll closes at 10,000. They think they get an accurate rating. Jesus Christ. So it's either, you know, 10,000 or midnight. You think it'll reach 10,000 before midnight? Oh, yeah. We're like halfway there now, and it's only been three or four hours. 
I gotta go in here. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh huh. Uh. Yeah. There's, uh, there's a man I want to see. Yeah. Well, I didn't. Uh, well, I, I can understand them. <laughs> um, my brakes are squealing on my truck when it's when it's dry out. And my backlight, I need a different backlight for the parking light. No, on the back of the truck. Hey, Lauren, I got to yeah. go. Sorry, I have to help this lady. Okay. They do that? Okay. Lauren, do you yeah, have you, you, you fix them. Hold on a second. What's that? They, they fixed them one now. Uh, all right, okay. bye. Hello, Alex. Really? Hi. Fred O'Connor, Dan's best friend. Your call is connected. Thank you for using Reup. Hi, you cheated on me. You cheated. You fuck some bitch. Baby, calm down. You know I didn't. Yeah. No. This call is being made from a Los Angeles County Correctional Facility. All discourse is being recorded and will be available as evidence in any future court proceedings. <laughs> I, I was over. I was, hey. Hey, honey. Baby. What? Listen to me. Mom went to Foxwoods today, so I went over to Mom's for a while last night, and then I went over and saw Tony for a little bit, and then I came home, no, and I was on the phone. On me. I, uh, no, I'm not either. Debbie told me. I came home last night. You were talking to I, I came home. All night listen. Listen. Baby, listen. You. Listen. I came home, and I was on the phone with Dan and Emma and your sister for, for most of the night. We up until, like, 3.30 this morning. <laughs> I'm not cheating on you. You know I'm not going to cheat on you, so relax. You know that I'm not going to cheat on you, so relax on that. But I'm cheating on you. You're cheating on me? What, did you, what happened? Frida the Gator said I have to be her bitch. Well, you tell her you're not going to be her bitch. Did they get you into medical? Yeah, but there's just crazy people there. Oh, fucking A. Jesus Christ. Gator Frida has too many teeth. Hey, calm down, honey. <laughs> you tell her you're not going to be her bitch. You tell her you're not there to be anybody's bitch. But she stopped Taronda mm -hmm. from beating my face in. So I have to lick her butt. <laughs> it smelled so bad. Oh my god. He shoved it in my A face. Fucking... I didn't want it, baby. I swear. That fucking jail was fucked right up. <laughs> Where the fuck are the orderlies and all that shit? Where the fuck are all the guards when it comes to this shit? <laughs> There's no guards in our cell with us. If I make a peep, she said I ain't going to sleep. It hurt me too bad to even lay down. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. All right, listen to me. What do you mean she has too many teeth? They're all little and tiny, and she has too many of them, and she has little fangs that come out the side. <laughs> this is fucking unbelievable. Just Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, 
baby, uh, listen to me, okay? Why? You you fire him. You fired the lawyer that Dan got you. You need that lawyer back. You fired the lawyer that Dan got you because Debbie told you to to fire him because she got you a lawyer. You need Dan's lawyer back. But Debbie's lawyer is gonna give me all the drugs I need. Uh. Yeah, well that that's not gonna happen. You don't need drugs. I You're in know. there because of drugs. Drugs, not us. Listen off. to me. Hey, do you want to? Do you ever want to be with me or what? Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> then you listen to what I'm telling you. Okay. You listen to what? Listen okay. to what I'm telling you. I am. Uh, you oh, you yeah. get rid of Debbie's lawyer. Oh, you get listen, listen. You get rid of Debbie's lawyer and you get Dan's lawyer back. And you don't let go of Dan's lawyer again. Oh, God. Dan's lawyer is the lawyer. Dan's lawyer is the lawyer that you need. You don't <laughs> need fucking drugs. That's why you're in there. Help. That is why you're in there. Get me out of here. Do you, do you want to get out of there? Okay. Debbie's lawyer is not going to get you out of there. She's going to give you drugs. You don't need fucking drugs. I'm going to put the phone in my pocket, so I'm not going to listen or answer or anything because I'm going to have lunch with my family, but you guys will still be able to talk. Shut up, babe! Okay, Emma, can, uh, uh, Emma, Emma, call Dan, too. Get Dan okay. on the phone, please. Okay. Winnie, do you hear, you hear me? Debbie's going to make sure that I get all the drugs because her lawyer has a psychiatrist who's going to see me privately and he's going to give me Ativan and barbiturates and my schizo pills. Yeah, Cannabis. yeah, and going to get you all kinds of drugs so you can get your brain fucked up. I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. Dan. If you don't. Dan. Listen. Dan. Listen. Dan. Winning. Dan. 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 Hello. Hey. Hey, what's up? Hey, Dan. Winnie, tell Dan you want his lawyer back. Well, you don't want Debbie's lawyer. Debarbitulates and Ativan and Xanaxes. Uh... Winnie, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it to you this way. Okay. If you don't take Dan, so if you don't take Dan's lawyer Debbie. back, Winnie, shut up. If you don't take Dan's lawyer back, then me and you are going to break up because you're not trying. I am. I need my head straight. I'm tired of the yeah. fish talking to me in my head and telling me I'm going to go swim with them. Yeah, you need your head straight. Okay. Drugs is not going to get your head straight. So you need to get rid of Debbie's lawyer and you need to take Dan's lawyer back. Because if you don't, then you and I are going to break up. I don't want you on drugs. That's what Debbie wants you on is drugs. You don't need drugs. So what's more important to you, me or the drugs? Dan, help me, please. Lord's yelling at me. I'm, he's cheated on me all night long. Dan, where was I last night? You were on the phone with me. Debbie and Emma. Why were you talking at Debbie? Oh, she has big titties and a sexy voice. That's not why I was she talking to Debbie. Sexy. I was talking to Debbie because I was giving Debbie hell about <laughs> making you fire Dan's lawyer. Uh, Winnie. Winnie. Uh, I, Dan, how, uh, how was I last night with Debbie? Hello? Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, hey. When are you there? Being made from a Los Angeles County Correctional Facility. All right. All discourse is <clears throat> recorded and will be available as evidence in any future court proceedings. I have a... um. Dan, how, what? how was I last night with Debbie, Dan? All right. Um, I don't know what you're referring to. Did, was I was I nice to her? Did I give her hell? What did, what happened? You gave her hell. 
He was horny for for her. Well, I no, have a, Winnie. I don't, I I'm have, only only for you, Winnie, but you don't listen. I have a little bit of a development. What this, is it, Dan? This morning, Debbie called me from a blocked number, so I don't have her number. And she said she was thinking over things, and she was very pissed off about the way that you spoke to her last night, and that she now is not willing to have our attorney be part of it anymore, and she only wants her attorney. So I I have to talk to the our attorney tomorrow morning and, and see what can be done. Okay. Winnie? 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 Why? You need to fire Debbie's lawyer and, and tell Dan that you want his lawyer. Why? Because Debbie's lawyer is only trying to get you on drugs, and Debbie's trying to get conservatorship over you. We're not Fred O'Connor. Debbie's lawyer is not a criminal lawyer. Your call is being recorded. You have 53 credits remaining. Thank you for using re-up. Debbie's lawyer is not a criminal lawyer. The lawyer that Dan got is a criminal lawyer. Specializes in criminal things. But I'm not a criminal, sir. You, you have got criminal charges. That's what you need is a criminal lawyer, not a lawyer that is going to get you on drugs and get and let Debbie get conservatorship over you. You need a criminal lawyer. That's what Dan got you. That's what you need. You need to fire Debbie's lawyer and you need to take Dan's lawyer. The only thing Debbie wants is to get control over you. She wants control over you and control over your money. You need to fire her lawyer. You need to take Dan's lawyer she and, and stay with Dan's lawyer. Well, it doesn't matter. She wants your money, too. And she wants control over you. You want to live your life like that, being on drugs all the time and somebody controlling your money and... Okay. And, and you, you need to fire her lawyer because she, her lawyer is not a criminal lawyer. And that is what you need is a criminal lawyer. You need to take Dan's lawyer and stay with Dan's lawyer. Do not let Debbie talk you in to taking her lawyer because her lawyer is not a criminal lawyer. Okay? Baby, you there? A lawyer is a lawyer. I just want no, a lawyer is not a lawyer. Dan, Dan, you want to explain that to her, please? Well, here's the thing, Winnie. Do you want to be in jail with all the drugs that you want or be out of jail with no drugs? You have to make that decision. I can't do that for you. Baby, if you're in jail, you can't have me. If you're in jail, you can't have me. But I want you. Dang. Then you want to be out of jail. Do you want to? Do you want to live your life in jail, or, or do you want to live your life out of jail? I don't want to be in here. I want to be out of jail, doing drugs and having fun sex with you. You can't do drugs out here. Why? You already know that. You've known that ever since we met. Hi, kitty. Drug. Hi, drug. kitty. Oh. There's a cat in there. That's my cat. Ah. Drugs is what got you in there, Winnie. Do you want to be in jail or do you want to be out of jail? I don't know. You tell me it's written on your kitten. Eh? 
What? Do you want to be in jail or do you want to be out of jail? I don't want to be in here, baby. Get me out of here, please. I love you so much. I'll do anything for you. I'll fuck you. I'll fuck Roy. I'll fuck Elton. Anybody you want me to, just get me out, please. Well, well I, I just want you to fuck me. I don't want you, I don't want you fucking anybody else. But um, you don't want to be in there, then you listen to Dan. And you listen to me and you listen to Emma. You fire your sister's attorney and you take Dan's attorney. <laughs> That's what's going to get you out of jail. All right? <laughs> Baby, you got to talk to me. I lick ass. It smelled so bad. Baby. Do you, do you want to get out of there and stop licking ass? Yes! <laughs> okay. Then you fire Debbie's attorney. Okay. And tell Dan that you want his attorney. She's fired! I think it would be helpful if at some point tonight or tomorrow we can get Debbie on the phone and have Winnie tell her that Miss McGraw will be fired, and we're going to go with Miss Duke. You tell her, Dad. You tell her, Dad. You tell her, Dad. It comes <laughs> from me. It's got to come from you, Winnie. I don't know how to You do. have to tell her, Winnie. It's got to be. It's very easy. You have to tell her. Debbie, your lawyer is not a criminal lawyer. Dan's lawyer is, I want Dan's lawyer. That's what you need to tell her. <laughs> All right. We're trying to help you, Winnie. We're trying to get you out of jail, Winnie. Do you want to get out of jail or do you want to stay in jail? I don't want to be in here. Go home All right. Now. All right. Then when we get Debbie on the phone, you need to tell Debbie that you don't want her attorney. You want Dan's attorney. Because Debbie's attorney is not going to get you out of jail. Debbie's attorney, attorney is going to keep you in jail. Dan's attorney is going to get you out of jail. They pushed my face on the wall and kicked me in the back. Uh... Mm -hmm. Is that the way you want to live? <laughs> I, I just told you what to do, baby. Listen to me. It's very easy. When we get Debbie on the phone and we're able to talk to her, you need to tell her you don't want her attorney. You want Dan's attorney. It's that simple. And something else that, that you, you should know, Winnie, is that I did some research about Attorney McGraw. This morning, after getting off the phone with Debbie, and she doesn't have a good track record. She's been disciplined by the California Bar Association three times for unethical practices. That's not good, Winnie. That's not good. That attorney, that, that attorney is going to wind up putting you in prison. I just want drugs. Please give me my medicine, Dan. Please just, I need my medicine. I can't stand the fish talking to me about Eternia. Winnie, you don't, you don't need drugs. Thank you for using real drugs is what got you in there. Okay. Unfortunately, you Lord, need to get if, out of there. If she's going to put the drugs first, Fred O'Connor, Dan's best friend, your call is being recorded. You have <clears throat> 50 credits remaining. Thank you for using Reup. Okay, go ahead, Dan. I'm sorry. As long as she's going to put the drugs first, we can't help her, Lord. She's got to put her freedom first. Winnie, what do you want more? You want your freedom or do you want the drugs? I want my medicine. It's prescribed by a doctor and I want to go out Okay, do you want your freedom? 
the, you, Winnie, you have to make a choice. It's either drugs or home. It can't be both. But there's drugs at home. But do you understand? If we, get, if we get you out of jail and you go home and you take drugs, Debbie's just going to call the police on you again and you're going to be right back in this situation. I don't want to go to jail again. Then you have to stop drugs. This is it. This yeah. is not bottom, kid. The only, yeah. the only drugs Anything. that you can have are prescribed drugs by a doctor. Come and visit me, Dan, and wear big pants, and I'll hide in your pant leg because you're so big and strong. Well, let's let's be serious now. It's either drugs or home. The only drugs that you can take when you're at home are prescribed drugs. Okay. And let me tell you, if you go with Debbie's attorney, it's a one-way trip to the Hooskow. Who's the Prison, right to the to prison, to the to the pen, to the clink. Is that jail? Well, that's that, jail. That that's jail for a long, long time. Lauren said prison's better than jail. Maybe I should go there instead. Wouldn't Wouldn't you rather? Yeah, but it can. When it could be another year and a half or so before you go to prison. Would you rather be in prison or would you rather be home? Oh. If you're in prison, you can't have me. Look, I just realized it's his skull face. Look. When I, pay attention. Pay attention. Winnie. Yes. Winnie. Winnie, you're supposed to be talking to us, not your little friends in prison. Okay. Winnie, do you want me or do you want prison? I want you. Then when we get Debbie on the phone, oh, you tell her. Yes, I do. Winnie, when we get Debbie on the phone and they're able to talk to her, you tell her that her lawyer is fired and Dan's lawyer is the one that you want. And you don't let her change her mind about anything. One thing for certain. Winnie. I know what I want, Lauren. And that's the thing. What do you want? Yeah, be with you. All right. Then you, you're going to fire Debbie's attorney, and you're going to take Dan's attorney. Okay. Tell Dan. Dan, I'm going to fire Tell Dan. you. I'm going to fire you and take Debbie's attorney, okay? If that's what you want, okay. Is that what is that what I have? I don't know. No. If you fired, if you, Jesus, Winnie, come on, smart your fucking ass up. Stop being a stupid fuck. That's what you're being. If you don't want, if if you don't want Dan's attorney, then you can't have me. And we might as well break up now. Make up your mind. Stop playing a fucking game. Because you're in jail, and that's oh, what got you in jail. Is drugs and games. <laughs> Do you want me or not? Call is being made from a Los Angeles County Correctional Facility. All discourse is being recorded and will be available as evidence in any future court proceedings. Winnie, do you want me or not? Wendy, please answer, Lauren, because if, if you guys aren't going to be together, then I see no need for me to keep sinking time and money and effort into all this, as well as Emma, as well as... Uh, I uh, want, Lord. I don't want to be in here, but I also need my medicine. I can't think straight. You don't need... Listen to me. You don't need your medicine right there. You need your medicine at home. If you want me, you're going to take Dan's attorney. And My you're going to fire Debbie's. The same way in prison as it does at home, eh? 
Well, at home you get your prescribed medicine medication. Well, then I get if you want me, that. if you well, want me, you're gonna you're gonna take Dan's attorney. You're gonna well, fire Debbie's attorney. Well, she's a drug addict. She's not talking about prescribed. She's talking about cocaine. No. I, yes, you are. Okay, I love you, Dan. You know me so well. Why? No, cut, cut the bullshit. Winnie. Winnie, you're not going to have cocaine. You're only going to have prescribed medication by a doctor. He don't like, he don't like, he don't like. Cocaine. Winnie, you better straighten your fucking ass out because we're not going to play this game forever. W Winnie, you can get Prozac or Zoloft or any of that stuff in jail like you can get get at home. So I know Xanax. for a fact. You're Xanax. About cocaine. Xanax. Xanax. Please, 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 Dad. Willie, stop your fucking bullshit. Oh, God. You'll get prescribed medication from a doctor. Whatever the doctor prescribes to you, that's the medication you'll get. <laughs> but if you want me, you're firing Debbie's attorney, and you're taking Dan's attorney. So make up your mind right now. I what do you want to do? All right, then when we get Debbie on the phone, you're going to tell her that you want Stop. Dan's attorney and her Stop attorney is fired. yelling at me, you, you motherfucking cock-sucking bitch. I've had enough well, yelling then at you me. Stop it! Well, then smarten your fucking ass up. You this is not a game. The game is what put you in there. Drunk from last night still. The game is what got you in there, Winnie. The game of drugs and stupid shit. Your sister is what got you in jail. No, you just said it was the game of drugs. The game of drugs. Yeah. Oh, oh, who let you get? Who let you get around the drugs? Who let you get around the drugs? Who took you out of out in the, into outpatient? Hi, Mister. And was supposed to be watching over you. Mister Correctional Officer. Yes. Can you please give me? I need my brain medicine. I'm going to fire the lawyer that's going to give me real drugs, but I can get doctor drugs. Can you please tell the medical man to help me? You know what I can. Thank you. Give me about 20 minutes. You're one of the nicest guys in here. Thanks. Okay, Winnie, tell Dan that you want his attorney. Dan, I want your attorney. And you're going to fire Debbie's. I'm going to fire Debbie's. I want your attorney. And your body. Oh, yeah. All right, Winnie, don't, don't get ignorant here. My I'm mouth tastes like a Twinkie. Ignorant. Dan, Dan, my mouth, is a, it tastes like a Twinkie. I ate Twinkie. It was good. Well, I'm glad. <laughs> I'm so happy. Am I going to get out of jail now, baby? Well, you got to you got to fire Debbie's attorney and tell Dan that you're going to fire Debbie's attorney and you're going to take his. And and you don't let Debbie talk you into having any attorney. You keep Dan's and you stay with Dan. Then I can come home. Then I can come home. She, uh, Dan's attorney is what's going to get in the, get you out of jail. You'd much rather yeah. have your freedom, wouldn't you? And me? Yeah. Okay. So tell I'm Dan. I'm here for you. Tell Baby, tell Dan. I love you. I love you, baby. Tell Dan what you want. Um, some chicken nuggets with honey mustard sauce, please, and a Dr. Pepper. Baby, come on. What? That's what I want. Tell Dan. Tell, tell Dan what you want. Oh. Can I have some Coke, Dan, please? Like that? God damn it, Winnie. Stop your fucking retardedness. I don't know what you mean. I don't know what you mean. Tell Dan 
what you want for an attorney. Oh, Dan, please be my attorney. God damn it, Winnie. Oh, no, wait, I know the answer. Dan, I want your attorney. I want Patricia. There you go. Okay. Is, now, that, is that the right now, answer? Next really? step is when we get Debbie on the phone, you say that to Debbie. Okay. Dan, can I please be your friend again? We've been friends. It, it, it's fine, but you, you got to stop the foolishness. Just cut it out. Dad Winnie, has a chin Winnie. like a villain. He looks like Superman, but the bizarro kind with a big penis. Jesus Christ. Well, Winnie? You would look good wearing a Superman outfit in tights. Dan would look good in tights, but he'll probably be too short and he'll come up over his ankle. That'll be weird. Dan, have you ever worn tights? Winnie, God damn it. Winnie. What? You have got to stop your fucking stupid shit. Will you have you got to stop it. Marry me, Lauren, when I get out of prison. Uh, yeah, and when you get out of prison, you want to go to prison? Vamos a vivir Is that where you want to be? Spain, con tus perros <laughs> y tu perro madre también. Winnie. Dan, did you understand stop, that? Stop your fucking game, Winnie. Dan, did you it's understand tiring. that? It, I caught a if you don't words. stop your game, if you don't stop your game, we're going to break up. I'm tired of your fucking game. Dan, I said I want to live in Maine with Lauren and his dogs and his mom. I, and why I, is Lauren being mean to me? I caught dog and mother, but I didn't get anything. I, I didn't catch anything because she's, she's doing so much rambling. No, yo quiero vivir. You're going from one con fucking thing to the next. Tico. Vamos a vivir juntos en Maine con tu perro y la perra de tu madre. Look, look. Hey, hey, Maria. Maria, yo soy una mexicana porque yo am hablo en español, right? I'm going to be part of their gang now because... Emma taught me Spanish, and now I know Spanish, so now I'm going to pretend to be a Mexican. You okay. can't be a part of their gang, Winnie. Stop yes. the stupid bullshit. You're white. Winnie. Jesus fucking Christ, I'm telling Look, you. I need protection. They're going to turn you out, Winnie. Um, what's that? You, They're going to let me out. Winnie, you know, It means you're going to have to lick all their asses. Have at it. Would you, Winnie, would you rather lick my ass? Yeah, I'd rather lick your white ass than any ass in the world. Good. Then stop with the game. You're not going to be a part of a gang. This is what it looks like. The, ah. the, the only way you can have Lauren's asshole is to get out of prison. I want Lauren's asshole, Dan, so bad. Then you can't... And, Then tell Dan what you want. You vale cabrones. Tell me. Lord, Winnie, you get beat up again. Stop going off in a different direction. Tell Dan what you want. My new friend Maricela waved to me. I told her I'm Mexican. God damn it. Yeah, she's going to stick a broomstick in your cunt. Well, they are Mexican, so they would use cleaning equipment. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, Winnie, stop your goddamn game. Lauren. Who gives who gives a fuck about what is in there? We are I, trying to get you to fucking say that you want to get out of there. I do want to get out of do there. Do you want to stay in there, there or do you want to be with me? I have to do what I have to do to survive, just like you did in prison. And now I'm part of a Mexican gang called La M. No, you're know, not. I don't know what mafia is, but I already gave the guard. Motherfucker, I tell you. I already gave the guard a baggie with paper on it. And he gave it to me, and I did it right. And they said I'm part of Lia May now, eh? the mafia. No, Lauren, you're not. Lauren, no, you're not. Lauren, the only they're, they're going to make her do something, and she's going to get in more trouble. She's I gonna, already did. I gave him the package, and uh, I told him this: these are my dirty chonies because I'm Lauren, Mexican now in here. Lauren, they're having her deal drugs for. It wasn't drugs. It was just a bag. Winnie, bag over it. Drugs, Winnie. 
They're going to add Winning. time to your charge. I, but I just did what they said. Well, don't. You don't. Do Jesus what Jesus fucking said. Christ, Winnie. I you want friends, me. please. No, I can't be in You don't want friends in there. What the fuck do you want friends in there for? You want to stay in there forever? No, I don't want to get beat up anymore. Then you don't baby. fucking make friends in there. I don't want to get raped or beat up. I just want to be left hey. alone. <laughs> do you want to get out of there? Yes. Then you live, you stay away from any gangs. You're not a member of any gang. You don't do anything for anybody in there. What if I want to see to that man on cigarette? Winnie? Wendy, you have no familia in there, okay? Sí, pero, pero no tiene familia. De... Your familia is us. Sí, yo sé que... Yo sé que ustedes están mi familia. Stop talking fucking Spanish, Winnie! Pero... Stop mis... your stupid fucking bullshit! Mis... Or I'm hanging up! No, please. They don't know Spanish. Then you stop your stupid bullshit. I'm, I'm fucking to... tired of it. Dan and Code. Oh, amigos, you don't talk to anybody in fucking Code. Mis amigas the no fuck is wrong with you? You don't want me. Voy a tener protección, okay? I just need protection, please, please. Not in there. You don't do anything for anybody in there. I don't want to get raped anymore, Lauren. It hurts. Well, then you fucking take Dan's lawyer so you, she can get you the fuck out of there. I already did, stupid. Well, you don't be a member of any fucking gang in there either. It's not a gang. It's the mafia. I don't give a fuck what it is. You're not part of it. You stay away from them. <clears throat> they what said they you? need a girl that looks like a weta. So they won't get in trouble for yeah, doing well, stuff. That's right. They they need they need to get you more charges so you can stay in fucking jail. Wendy. No, what I mean. So like you stay it. the fuck away from them. Wendy, did they give you any tattoos or anything? Yeah, I have a new oh, one right fuck. here. It's too late, Lauren. On my wrist. It's just three dots. Lauren. Yeah, well it's too late. Guess what, Winnie? You obviously don't want me, Winnie. Otherwise, you'd fucking try, and you'd be smart, and, and you're not being smart. A Los Angeles County Correctional Facility. All discourse is being recorded and will be available as evidence in any future court proceedings. My nickname's La Huera Loca. La Huera Loca, y que, vámonos. Vamos a pegar. Oh, how do you, uh, how when, would you like your title to be not having Lauren? No, please. I want you when, to be my Beyonce. When no. they're going to turn you out and they're going to sell you for a pack of Lucky Strikes to anybody. I'll smoke those. That's all they have here. You're not going to get to smoke them. They're using you, Wendy. I just want to get out you of here. Please. Just uh, get you obviously out. don't want me. I do. You obviously don't want me, uh, Wendy. Uh, well, you don't because you're doing stupid shit. No, I'm not. I'm doing you're doing shit. shit. You, you're doing shit that's going to get you more charges and keep you in there. I'm trying to be protected. Uh, you stay away from people in there. Okay. Lauren, Lauren if, they, if they have her carrying items to other... She's dealing drugs, Lauren. I'm not dealing drugs. It was just a baggie inside of a paper bag. It was probably a sandwich or something. It wasn't a fucking sandwich, Wendy. And Winnie, everything that you say is is being recorded on this thing, so well, you know. Yeah, that's, I'm not doing anything wrong. You, you know. Said, let, let me tell you, Winnie. To let me tell you, Winnie. Me. Hey, Winnie, shut up. Your uh, sister is the one that put you in there. You fired Dan's lawyer to take your fucking sister's lawyer. Your sister is the one that got you in there. You are. You obviously don't give a fuck about me. I do. What does that have to do with giving a fuck about well, you? My sister called me and I didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, Lord, well, yeah. Lauren, if we don't get her out of there immediately, she's just going to be swallowed up by the system. I need to get I out. Know. 
I don't want to be in here, Lauren. You don't understand. I'm just trying to survive while I'm in here, okay? I don't want to yeah, be well, with these people. Surviving just, while you're in there, Winnie. Winnie. Just want to be surviving while you're in there. Please, please, I, please I, bring I, me quiet to down. <laughs> All right, Dancing. See what you can do about getting her out of there, please. Well, I, I can't do anything unless she takes back her attorney. God, please, I got these cheeseburgers, Dan. Winnie? Winnie? What? Tell Dan you want an attorney. She has to tell Debbie. we got to get Debbie on the phone. Debbie, I want an attorney. Debbie, okay. I want to declare attorney. Shit. All right, let, let's get Debbie on the phone. Winnie! <laughs> Shut your fucking mouth. Oh, God. We need to get Debbie on the phone. What? What is her phone number? It's six, Give Dan her phone number. It's 666. She calls me from a block number. <laughs> Wendy, what's your sister's number? Winnie. <laughs> Wendy. Winnie. <laughs> what's Debbie's number? Say, 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 so gentle. I can't keep... Emma, did you get that? I don't even think Emma's on the phone. Say, Winnie. Say, Winnie. Say, Winnie. 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 Shut the fuck up. Oh, God. Tell Dan Debbie's phone number in English. Okay. Dad, Lord's yelling at me. Yeah, because you won't stop your bullshit. Oh, God. Tell Dan Debbie's phone number in English so we can get Debbie on the phone right now. Dad. So you can tell Debbie her lawyer is fired. Dad, they said I have to speak in Spanish or God I can't damn it. prove I meant I'm going to fucking hang up because you don't want to fucking do anything. Please. You want to keep your goddamn ass in there. I want to not get beat up and I told them I'm Mexican then, and they said they'd protect me so okay, it, it, if you don't shut the fuck up I'm hanging up please lord I'm just trying to you protect you fucking tell me. Dan shut up Winnie you tell Dan what Debbie's fucking number is or I'm hanging up right now I already did you tell him in English okay God damn it! You can't even fucking understand you! I'm sorry. Do your goddamn fucking game, Winnie! Please help me, please help me. Then you me. tell him so that he can understand you! Okay. I'm sorry, Dad. Call is being made from in Los Angeles six, County. Six, you can't understand you, Winnie. You're doing the same fucking shit all over again. Proceedings. You like playing this fucking game. No. Don't you? You fucking love it in jail, don't you? No, please. No, I you go. love that fucking jail, don't you? Please, no. I don't want Because you don't love me. If you love me, you fucking talk clearly. I can't cry. Tell him her number. <laughs> Dan, did you get that? I got it. I got it. Let me try to call her. Winnie, you tell Debbie her lawyer is fired and Dan's is hired. And you don't let her talk to you and talk you into hiring her fucking lawyer again. Thank you for using re-up. Please. Thank you for winning. You have got to stop this fucking game, Winnie. Your call is being recorded. You have 33 credits remaining. Thank, thank you for using re-up. Please. Just if you want to keep me, if you want to keep me and you want to get out of jail, 
You take Dan's lawyer and you tell Debbie you want Dan's lawyer, you don't want hers. Connor, Dan's best friend. Your call is being recorded. I'm sorry. I just don't want to. Be, I don't want to be here anymore, and I don't want to get raped while I'm here. So I told them. Baby, I'm, I know. Please, I know. Dad, uh, you're yelling at me. <laughs> I calm down. Uh, I don't want to get yelled at anymore. Okay, baby. Okay, baby. <laughs> calm down. Calm down. Honey, when we're on the phone, you can't play a game. You cannot play a game. You're in there because you played games. <laughs> Your sister put you in there. I know. She's horrible. <laughs> yeah. So you tell her her lawyer's fired and, and you want Dan's lawyer. Dan, get me out of here. And you don't let her change your mind for nothing. I'll mow your lawn for a year, Dad. <laughs> Please. Uh, baby, calm down. He's trying to get a hold of your sister. And you need to tell her that her lawyer is fired. I'll give you anything you want, Dan's Dad. Dan's hired. I'll give you anything you want, Dad. Get out of there. If you want to get out of there, <laughs> if you want to get out of there and be able to be with me, you take Dan's lawyer and you don't let Debbie talk you into taking her lawyer. Because her lawyer is going to keep you in there and away from me. And if you take her lawyer, you and I are going to have to break up. So you tell her that you don't want her lawyer. Her lawyer is fired. And you tell Dan you want his lawyer. Okay? Okay. Okay, baby. Okay. I love you, and I want you here with me. Please stop yelling at me. Please. Okay, baby. I, I All right. All right, calm down. I didn't know what to do. Take it. I don't want to get beat I, up. I just do what, I, what I, I'm told. I keep my head down. I listen to what they tell me, and they just said to give a sandwich to the guard, and I gave him the package. I didn't know I did anything bad. Baby, <laughs> baby, listen, honey. <laughs> Listen, honey, listen, honey, in in order for us to get you out of there as, as fast as possible, you've got to fire Debbie's lawyer and you've got to hire to take Dan's lawyer. OK. 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 I love you. I love you and I want you with me. He, he's 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 trying, honey. Hang on, he's 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 calling your sister. Dad. Hang on, baby. He's calling your sister. He's gonna get your sister on the phone get so that you can tell her. Here. Calm down, baby. He's trying well, to get your sister on the phone so you can. They don't hey, even Dan. have the real Twinkies here. I'm not getting it anywhere with this. It's going to an automated voice machine. I left my name and number and asked. <laughs> Winnie, come on. So Knock that shit off. I'm sorry. I'm so nervous. Dad, excuse All me. All right. All right. Relax. <laughs> Please get me out of here, Lord. I swear to Hitler, I'll never. Then stop the dumb shit. Drugs. Okay. Baby, you gotta listen to Dan, okay? Dad. Dad. We're trying, Winnie. You got yourself in a pickle. Hey, Dan. Yeah. Yeah, a big one. I like pickles. Dan, you, you, Dan, when he stopped the game. Dan, you can actually, she's already told you that she wants your lawyer, so 
she doesn't really need to say tell Debbie right yeah, away she that lawyer, the lawyer is fired. Does she? Lawyer, Dan plays. Well, she does. When he, she's the one being represented, so it's got to come from her. I can't do anything because I'm not supposed to be a party to this. She's the one being represented, so she has to say it. Yeah. Okay. Winnie, did you give Dan uh, Debbie's the, correct phone number? The attorney works for Wendy, so it's got to come from Wendy. But you paid him, eh? Not my attorney. But even if I pay the attorney, which I'm not paying the attorney, the, the attorney's doing it pro bono. What's pro bono? It's pro bono. It means he's he's doing it out of the kindness of his heart. But it's a woman? Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. So if you and if Debbie's hired this other attorney and you... I love you. This, all right, but listen, <clears throat> if Debbie hired another attorney, you accepted the services, you have to fire this attorney because it's got to come from you. Okay. Don't hire any other attorneys once we get this attorney in place again. I don't want to hire anybody. I don't even have any more money on my books because I bought teriyaki beef jerky for all of la M.A. Mis chicas grandes. Okay, all right. Come on, Winnie. Come on, Winnie. Come on. And Lauren. God damn. Lauren, I already spoke to Miss Duke, and, and she said she's not going to go through this. I'm fired. I'm hired. I'm fired. This is going to be it. She's Winnie, not, this has got to be it. She's doing this mm -hmm. for free. So I want you, Miss Duke. Lord, help me. Then you can, you can David, help. we're trying to help you. If you, you fire need to fire Ms. Debbie's attorney. You're if firing you, Debbie's attorney. If you fire Miss Duke again, she's not going to come back and help you. Will you help me, Dan? I don't practice in California. Winnie. I can't help you. Winnie, there's only one way I can put it to you. If you fire Miss Duke's attorney, uh, I mean Dan's attorney, Miss Duke. If you fire her again, then you broke up with me at the same time. Excuse me. Do you understand me, Winnie? Do you understand me? Yes, you want me to fire Debbie. Yes, I want you to fire Debbie's attorney. I want you to hire Dan's attorney. Take Dan's attorney. <laughs> I, I want you to stop crying, please. I want you to stop crying so you can hear me. Can you hear me? <laughs> oh, my God. I can't believe this is happening. Being made from a can you hear me? Correctional facility. <laughs> All discourse is being reported Winnie? and will be available as evidence in any future court proceedings. <laughs> Winnie, can you hear me? Yeah. If you fire Dan's attorney again, you broke up with me at the same time. You don't want to break up! All right, then you do not fire Dan's attorney again. Once you've got her, you've got her f for good. I don't want anybody. I just want to go home. <sighs> then that's why you need Dan's attorney. Okay. You want to go home? You take Dan's attorney. This is this is not a game. The, the this is what's actually going to happen. You take Dan's attorney. You keep her. Because if you fire her again, then you and I aren't together anymore. The caller you have tried to reach is unavailable. Please leave a message. Yeah, see, she's not picking up. <laughs> Winnie, Winnie, you need to call Debbie. And uh, I don't know. Oh, Jesus. Dan, Dan, can did you leave her Debbie a message? I did. 
I, I left a message asking her to call me. Yeah, please get me out of here. Okay. I'll suck your dick, anything you want. Lord will understand, please. Okay, Dan, can you can you call her back again? Leave her and leave her a message, letting her know that we have Winnie on the phone and we need to talk. And Winnie wants to talk to her. <laughs> please. All right. Please. Give me a give me a second. <laughs> Lord, are you getting me out of here? Lord, Lord, are you getting me out of here? Lord, we, baby, 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 we're trying. We are trying. We're trying to get a hold of Debbie so you can tell her that her attorney is fired. And Dan's attorney is hired. Out of here. We are trying to get you out. We are, we are trying to get you out of there. All right, it's... I don't want you to listen to Debbie about anything anymore. All right. The caller you have tried to reach is unavailable. Please leave a message. Debbie! Yeah, Deb Hi, Debbie. It's uh, Dan O'Connor. Debbie! Yeah, Debbie! You're fired! You're fired! You're fired! Uh, yeah. Um, oh, fuck. All right. I don't know. God damn it, Wendy. You're so cute when you're befuddled. All right, I'm I'm gonna call it again, Lauren, and I'm I'm gonna switch over to the other line because she's just gonna keep yelling, and I can't leave the message. You're fired. Okay. All right. All right. I'll be back. Wendy, Wendy, you, Wendy, you gotta stop, honey. I'm sorry, you told me to you tell gotta, her I'm telling her. Right? Yeah, well, you 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 need to wait until she's on the phone. You need to wait until she is on the phone. When she is on the phone, you tell her that her attorney is fired, and Dan's is hired. Uh -oh. And from now on, from now on, baby, I don't want you listening to anything that Debbie has to say. I have a scab on my ear hole. Baby, listen to me, honey. They pulled my earring out, really Lord. Got... They ripped my earring out of my ear. Okay, okay. Don't wear earrings in there anymore, okay? I can't because the hole's ripped open. It's just a flippity, flippity, floppity okay. like in your mom's bra. Okay, it'll... Uh, baby, it will heal, okay? It will heal. <laughs> ah! Baby, you really have got to take this seriously and, and start paying attention, honey. If you don't, you're going to be staying in jail. I don't want to stay here. I just don't want to get raped. I know, honey. I know, honey. From now on, baby, you only listen to me, Dan, and Emma. You do not listen to your sister anymore. Okay? Okay? Okay. Me, Dan, and Emma are trying to get you out of jail. But sometimes Abe Lincoln talks to me. He says, "Well, you you need to, be a baby, good you, girl. baby, stay, baby. Listen to Abe Lincoln because Abe Lincoln is telling you to listen to me and Dan and Emma." He is. Yeah. He wants and baby, to emancipate he, me from the jail, huh? like when he wrote the letter from Birmingham. Yeah, and baby, Abe Lincoln, and I'm, I'm related to Abe, Abe Lincoln. Really? Yes. My aunt did genealogy, and she found out that we're related to Abraham Lincoln. I like genealogy. Flaccid ego, C.B. Walker. He does okay, baby, no, 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 no. Listen, listen, honey. Listen, honey. Listen, honey, I want you to stay on track. Keep okay. your mind, keep your head on track, okay? Okay. From now on, from now on, you don't listen to anything Debbie says. You tell her her lawyer is fired and Dan's is hired. Your lawyer is fired. Wait, 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 Winnie, come on. You pay attention. I'm practicing. Okay, when Debbie's on the phone, you tell her her lawyer is fired and Dan's is hired. And you don't listen to anything that Debbie has to say anymore. What if she says I love you? Um, you can listen to that. You can, you can listen to her tell, tell you that I love you. 
Do you, Rock, yeah, I come on, baby. You know what? You, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. Baby, you know what I'm saying. I'm excited to go home to you, baby. As soon as I tell Debbie I fired the lawyer, they're going to let me out, right? I'm going to get out of here. Listen, listen, please. please. Stop it. Stop it. You're starting, the, you're starting that crap again. Don't do that. Do not do that shit right now. You can't afford to. Thank you for taking me home, baby. Listen. As soon as you fire Debbie's lawyer and hire Dan's lawyer, Dan is going to get on the phone to Miss Duke and, and try to get you the fuck out of there ASAP as soon as possible. Okay? I don't like it. Debbie's on vacation fucking around and driving around Colorado yeah. and going to the fucking Grand Canyon and I'm here all alone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Debbie did that. Ah Debbie did that. This call is being made from a Los Angeles County Correctional Facility. All discourse is being recorded and will be available as evidence in any future court proceedings. Winnie, Debbie put your ass in jail and she got you a bad lawyer. Why would she do that? Because she wants to control you. She wants to control your money. She wants to control you. Me, Dan, and Emma are trying to get you out of jail. I want to see Grandpa so you can have your freedom. this year and sit on his lap and ask for a present. Come on, baby. Baby, you, you, you really have got to stay on key here. Please. Stay focused. Please get me out of here. I love you. I'll do anything We're, for you. I'll take down your pants and eat your trouser snake. Baby, you can't do that being in jail. So you so you have to fire Debbie's attorney. Okay. When she her. gets on the phone, hey, 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 hey. When she gets on the phone, you tell her her attorney is fired and Dan's is hired. Okay. That's what you need to tell her. Okay, baby. From now on, from now on. From now on, you don't you don't let Debbie shut tell you up, to talk please, you into anything. Shut up, please. You're making me scared. Just sing to me or say something nice, please. <laughs> I I think you are compute complete. I think you are the most beautiful woman in the world. <laughs> I know that already. And I can't wait to marry you. I want you in my life forever. But the only way that you can do that is by getting out of there. Sing to me. Okay, let me see. Look at the two of you dancing that way. Looking back on the memory of the dance we shared with all the stars above. For a moment, all the world was right. How could I have known that you'd ever say goodbye? I like and God's now, done. Huh? I like Garth Brooks and Dunn. Garth Brooks and Dunn. <laughs> yeah. Do you like that song? Yeah, it's called Don't Let the Sun Catch You Crying, right? No, it's called The Dance. Okay. I love you, baby. Sing another song that's not stupid. Can you sing a song that you sang with Dan when he went and played the guitar in front of you and probably embarrassed you a little bit? Um, Let me see. I can't remember what song that was. Every bone has a thorn or something. We both lie soundly still in the night. I can't remember if that's the way. Yeah, that's one, isn't it? I think so. We both Jesus lie soundly dead. still in the dead of the night. Though we both lie close together, we feel miles apart inside. 
Was it something I said or something I did? Did my words not come out right? Though I tried not to hurt you, though I tried, but I guess that's why they say every rose has its thorn. Just like every night has its dawn. Just like every cowboy sings a sad, sad song. Every rose has its thorn. (laughs) Are you okay, honey? I'm a thorn. No. No, I've got your thorn right here. It's waiting for you. Dan, did you hear that? Lauren's gonna fuck me. Hello? Hey, Dan. Hey. No luck with Debbie. Would you be able to... Is she on... Would you be able to get her? No, it's... When he stop it? It's still going to that voicemail. Shit. She'll call. This is a. I mean, a hell of a mess. I I told her that I was on the phone with. It's for uh, me. Thank. You. We're not Fred O'Connor, Dan's best friend. Your call is being recorded. You have fifteen credits remaining. Thank you for using reup. Shut up. I told her that I was on the phone with Wendy and you, Lauren, and if, you know, I mean, we all know she's a little sweet on you, so she'll call. Well, I hope so. Debbie wants Lauren. Debbie wants Lauren. I mean, it's it's obvious the way she, you know, that little tone she puts in her voice when she speaks to you, it's obvious she wants you. Well, Lauren wants Wendy. But only when he can make that happen. Right, baby? I don't want you to fuck Debbie. I don't want to fuck Debbie. I want you. But only you can make that happen. The only way you can make that happen is by firing her. Debbie's attorney and hiring Dan's. Debbie thinks your face looks like a diarrhea sculpture. Well, I don't care what Debbie thinks. Hello? Anything Debbie thinks doesn't matter to me. Dad, please. Oh, I just lost connection. I'm, what, what, did, what did I miss? I love you. Nothing. Please get me out of here, Dad. You didn't. You didn't miss any anything, Dan. All right. Dan, Dan, the penis man. If he can't get me out, no one can. No, remember that, when he because Debbie has really screwed you up bad. Dan, throw me your penis as a life preserver. I'll hold on to it. Winnie, cut it out. Get me out of here, please. We're trying, baby. We're trying. I love you. I, I am. I love you too, honey. Very much. I really miss you. Dad. Miss you here. Yes. Please come and get me. We're trying to. Dad. Please get me out. Where, where the fuck is Debbie while all this is going on? Get me out of here! Debbie is probably purposely not answering because Debbie knows that that we were talking to Winnie, and she knows that we told Winnie to fire the the worthless attorney that Debbie got her. I mean, me, me and you, Lauren, we'd, we, and Emma, we'd, we're doing all the fucking work, and Debbie's sitting high and dry doing <laughs> dick. She's doing dick. I know. Uh, it, it's, like, it's just like, just like when he said, Debbie's out 
traveling around the country, enjoying herself <sighs> while Winnie's in in jail. This and is Debbie is bullshit. the one that put Winnie in jail. Debbie, <laughs> Debbie should be punished along with me. Yeah, she's probably down with Rhoda down in Puerto Vallada or something, eating and uh, McNuggets and drinking drinks with fucking umbrellas in them while we're doing this shit. Ensaladas, yeah. mariscos y todo. Winnie. This is fucking bullshit. The, Winnie, think about everything that Debbie has done to you. She got you an outpatient to her house had parties while you're the, with you there when she knew the drugs would be brought to her house oh, with no, you no. there. I invited the drug she guys. She did that on purpose. Yeah. Well, Debbie was supposed to be watching over you. She... Debbie was supposed to be making sure that shit, that you weren't able to do that shit. She didn't do her job on purpose because she knew you would fuck up. And she knew there was going to come a chance where she could call the cops on you and get you put in jail. So that way she can get control of you and your money. And take away your life. Your free life. That's what Debbie has done to you. That's what you allowed Debbie to do to you because you wouldn't listen to me, Dan and Emma. Now you can only turn it around. You can fire Debbie's attorney, hire Dan's attorney, and let me, Dan, and Emma take care of this. Do not let Debbie ever talk you into anything again. Okay? Can you get me out of here? That's what we're trying to do, baby, but you got to fire Debbie's attorney first, and we got to get her on the phone so you can tell her. Dan, do you, th do you think we ought to... Well, do you think we ought to have Winnie call Debbie and tell Debbie herself that Dad, come in my face. That she's fired, that her attorney is fired? Yeah, that would be a good idea. Okay, Winnie, you got to do this, baby. Okay. You got to hang up with us, and you got to you got to call Debbie. No. And you got to tell Debbie that her attorney no. is fired. Listen, honey. No. Honey, honey, you hit. No. I already have an Listen. appointment with her at four thirty. At four thirty, all right. Then, you, then you need to make another phone appointment for for us right after that. Okay, <laughs> baby, come on, come on, come on, come on. Scared, please, please stop crying. Scared. Of Please stop crying and talk to us, honey. So scared. I know, baby. I know. We are trying so hard to get you out of there. You can you cannot listen to Debbie anymore. She's gonna try to talk you into keeping her attorney, and you have to tell her out straight no. Tell her that her attorney is fired. Because she she got you a very bad attorney. An extremely bad attorney. This is you that we're talking about. We're trying to save your ass so you don't wind up on probation for the rest of your life. Or in jail for the rest of your life. You really you really have got to pay attention to only me, Dan and Emma. I wanna die. You and I being a you and I being able to be together is all based on... I hate you. you firing Debbie You'll let attorney. me come into prison. If you fucking got me, this wouldn't have happened. Dan, I, I need you. Please come get me now. Baby, you got to listen, honey. Your, your phone appointment with Debbie at 430, you have to tell her that her attorney is fired. Do not let her talk you into taking her attorney. Because her attorney is an extremely bad attorney, and the only thing that her attorney is going to do is put you on drugs and give Debbie conservatorship over you and keep you in jail. You need to tell her that her attorney is fired. Everything you do, 
you and I being able to be together is based on everything that you do right now. Okay? Okay, baby? Hello? Uh, I'm so sad, please. I know, honey. We're trying to get you out of there so you can be happy again. None of us want you in there. The only one that wants you in there is the one that put you in there, and that's Debbie. Nice of her to be able to travel the country and put your ass in jail, isn't it? And try to try to take control of all your money. That's a real nice sister. The only ones that you can listen to is me, Dan, and Emma. And Dan's attorney. Because that's what's going to get you out of there. All right, baby. I love you, Winnie. Please just get me out of here. I don't care what you do. Please. I know, honey. Please, We're I trying to. Baby, Please. I know, honey. We're not afraid of Connor, Dan's best friend. You have received an electric correspondence from Deb Roof. That's Gerald Diggs. Thank you for using Reup. Text to speech dictation. Winnie, I am not talking to you on a recorded line. I will be in to see you tomorrow with your attorney. Love, Debbie. Hi, baby, baby, baby. Calm down, honey. Calm down, baby. Everything you do when she comes in to see you tomorrow. Debbie, when not Fred O'Connor, Dan's best friend, you have received an electric correspondence from Deborah Fitzgerald. Diggs, thank you for using Reup text to speech dictation. Winnie, I am not talking to you on a recorded line. I will be in to see you tomorrow with your attorney. Love, Debbie. So she's going to come with Pam, Dan, or Pat, Patty, or whatever the fuck that Duke's chick's name was. It... But she's coming with her. So this is what this means, Lauren. She got my message, and instead of calling me back to talk to us, she did this. Yeah. So that means when he's in, in jail for another day. Yep. Yeah. Yep. With a worth with a worthless attorney. Yep. One day closer to Debbie being able to get control of Winnie's life and money. That's right. While Debbie and, Winnie, and when while Debbie is traveling the country. While Debbie's son in a high life. And, you're right. And drinks little drinks with fucking big umbrellas. Real nice. Yeah. Real yep. fucking nice. Winnie, your your sister fucked your life up bad. Winnie, tomorrow you can you cannot sign anything. You cannot. The only thing that you can sign, you have to read anything that they put in front of you. And the only thing that you can sign to tell them right out straight. The only thing I'm going to sign is a paper that says point blank. Debbie, your attorney is fired. And you have to read it and make sure that it says that. Because anything you sign could fuck you up for life. And if you don't fire her attorney, you're going to be fucked up for life. So your and my future is based on everything you do. Every, There's every, no way that you can screw this up. Every That's time, too much pressure. Every time Debbie pulls this shit, it just means that we're having no forward motion and Winnie just sits in jail longer than she has to. Yep. Yeah, we, I we, poss- we possibly could have gotten Winnie out on Monday or Tuesday on bail. And now, with because we're dealing, we're dicking around with these fucking lawyers, we can't do that. No, we can't do that. 
Winnie's life is more fucked up all the time and, because and, of Debbie. And, right, and I know that Debbie said she's not dicking around, but that's all she's been doing since since the beginning of this. Dicking around. She yeah. loves to dick around. And ever, ever since Debbie has been back in Winnie's life, she's just fucked Winnie's life up more. Where, where was she, uh, you know, before all this? <laughs> she was probably just waiting. Just waiting yeah. to get the chance to get Winnie's money. Yeah. Yeah. I love you. I don't know how I should take that. Get me out of here, please. You love Lauren. I know. She loves you as a friend, Dan. Okay. Get me out. W Winnie, Baby. Would, wouldn't you like to be on a beach somewhere, sun tanning, having fun? Yeah. That's I want to feel the sun on my toes. And that's ah. what your sister's doing right now. Oh, really? Yeah. Why? Yeah. Not Why? Because she can. She. Yeah. I have she's not in jail. She's not in jail, so she can do that. <laughs> she's she's one day closer to having all of your money. Lord. What, baby? My feet don't have fungus, but your feet have fungus. I know, honey. You you gave me some athlete's foot cream, remember? Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm still I'm still using it. I'm How still sleeping with your clothes, and I'd rather I'd rather be sleeping with you. How's your knee doing, Lauren? Better, much better. Good. Yeah, swung has gone down a lot. I'm able to move it a lot better now. What happened to your knee? I had an infection in it. From the itching powder? No. No, because I had a little little bump on it and it got infected. So I had to go to the hospital and get have them look at it and they gave me some some antibiotics. Oh. Uh. So but it's all better now. It's getting better all the time. You got to admit it's getting redder. Right, Dad? <laughs> yeah. Baby, I think you're beautiful. I know. And I want to marry you. So when you see Debbie's attorney tomorrow, you got to fire him. Thrush, That's the only way that you and I can thrush. get married. Your tongue is coated, Lorny. Brush it, please. You understand me, right, honey? I don't think anybody does. But you're not stuttering a lot that, right now, so I can understand you. The only way that you and I can get married is if you fire Debbie's attorney. Okay, let's get married. Well, you can't do that until you fire Debbie's attorney and we get you out of jail. Maybe if I stay in jail, you can come and see me for come jungle visits. Oh, no. No, I can't do that. What? Because I can't leave the state of Maine. What exactly is a come jungle visit? That's when a man and wife fucks when they're in jail. Okay. <laughs> but, baby, I can't leave the state of Maine, remember? Well, I mean, yeah, you, you can didn't... for a come jungle visit because they have to approve that in the prison. Yeah, but I can't, I can't leave the state of Maine. Yeah, you can. No. Didn't you tell Maria that you saw Emma face to face? Yeah, well, I haven't told him. I haven't told Maria yet because I haven't seen Maria yet. But did she you knows, tell people she already in knows your that, Raper class? She, yes, I did. 
Did you tell him you looked she at his face all night? Did I tell him what? Did you tell them you looked at her tits all night? No. Why not? Baby, come on. Then they'll know you're not gay. They all think it, you know. No, they don't. Well, you know. The only way that you and I can get married, baby, is by you firing Debbie's attorney. I know. You told me that like 30 times, you fucking moron. I want to go home. Yeah, well, I got I to make sure it sticks in your head. Because when Debbie comes to see you tomorrow with her attorney, she's going to try to talk you right into keeping her attorney. That means uh -uh. when she does that, when, when she does that, what she's really trying to do is talk you into you giving her all of your money and keeping you in jail. Make sure you stop taking your antibiotics in the middle of the of um the treatment, and then next month start taking them again like nothing. No, I got to take four of them a day. No, just take one a day, and then stop for two weeks, and then in two weeks take one every day. That way you'll build no, up the resistance. Take... It's good. No, I get I got to take four a day Linux. No! If you want to see Knock it off. On a day. Knock it off. I got I to do what the doctor tells me to do. I'm smarter than the doctor. I know more about drugs than he ever will. Eh? Yeah, well, that's what got you in there. I know. I should be a pharmacologist, huh? Yeah, what got you in there was your sister. I know. Yeah, well, your sister wants to keep you in there. And now I can't even do my GED test. Yeah. Your sister has held back your life. She, she really fucked your life right up. Thing. She probably is the reason why I got my period early. I should have planned it better. I don't want to get stuffed full of cock and then have a blood clot wait his turn to come out. She fucked your life up. If she wouldn't, if she wouldn't have fucked your life up, you would have been out of rehab already. You would have been able to see me already and be with me and be happy. <laughs> I'm so grossed out by your sister. I I don't know how you could even stand to look at her. She has nice tits. Yeah. And she has a nice wallet, too. I know. It's She's going to have a nicer wallet. I don't know how she's she going to have a nice one. It's G-U-C-C-I. That's stupid. It's Gucci. She's going to have a nicer wallet. She's going to have a nicer wallet if you don't fire her attorney because it's going to be filled with your money. Oh, no. I want her to have a nice wallet. I like the one you she You want her to have all your money? No. Well... There's only one, one way you can solve that. Oh. Huh? Hi, kitty! There's a cat walking around in my head. I can feel her tippity-tappity-tippity-tappity. Up on the rooftop, black and white cat. You think about Roscoe and Sadie? No. No? You don't think about how you'd like to be here with them? No. I just want to fucking do a fucking line and get the fuck out of here. That's what put you in there. No, Debbie did, remember? Yeah, Debbie did. But how I did you get a hold of the line? How did, how did you get a hold of all that stuff? Because Debbie had you an outpatient at her house having parties where she knew that you would be able to get a hold of drugs. Oh, no. I was doing drugs and, the whole time I was in rehab. It was great. Yeah. Yeah, you were fucking your life up when you were supposed to be getting it straightened out. I know. Lying to me. 
God damn it, Debbie. You horrible woman. Sorry, Lauren. I don't mean any offense to you, but what a cunt. It's not offending me. Oh, yeah. Well, it should because you're a cunt. I know. You don't love me. I do, and I hate you at the same time because I'm in jail and you're not. I think I need to get off the phone. Please, please help me. We're trying, but you're not helping yourself. I am telling the truth. That's what you wanted. You said yeah. always be honest. Yeah, well, you're on a recorded line. You're not on a regular line. It's all right. I can't see them recording it. They're probably just lying. Oh, no, they're not lying. I'm fucking floored by, by all of this. Why? What? Will you get me out of here, please? We're trying to. But you're the only one that can help you by hiring Debbie's attorney. Okay. Are you going to pay my bail? You might wind up being able to get out of there without paying bail. No, it's $8,000. They reduced it. it. Dan is trying to get you out of there. Dan! Yes. Do you have $8,000, my friend? Your bail is in $8,000. Well, it's $80,000, but they said if you put 10% down, I can get out. No, it, you have to pay 10%, but it, your bail hasn't been determined yet. The judge did it yesterday, dummy. No, he didn't. Okay. Dan, can you still well, We can't find that out, Winnie. He said he was. There's no way we can find that out. He said he was denying bail at this time, and he would revisit it on Monday. Yeah, but it's eighty thousand. That's what the minimum is. That's what they told me before I had to stand in front of the TV. And he stopped picking digits out of your head. Lauren. What? Tell Dan to get me out, please. Oh. Baby, we're trying to get you out. The only way that we can get you out of there is by you firing Debbie's attorney. No, you want me to get raped by fucking Guadalupe Rosario. Oh, God. You're the one that joined the gang, Winnie. It's not the gang, it's La M. And you're going to be eating ass all night long. It's, it's La M, yo. What's up, babe? This is Big Bad Wera Loca del M. Okay. I want to get out of here, all right? Yeah, we'll see how bad you are with a face full of ass tonight. I licked that ass like a trooper. I did not want to get yeah. raped. Please fix this situation, Dan. I will do anything for you. Even the things that Lauren doesn't have to know about. Stop it, Winnie. Get me out of here! <laughs> the only way that we can get you out of there, Winnie, is by you firing Debbie's, Debbie's attorney. Can we trade, Dan? I'll trade Emma. I know Emma likes Lauren. Mm -hmm. We're not trading. I just want somebody who can afford my bail. Please! The only way we can get you out of there, Winnie, is by you firing Debbie's attorney. Unfortunately, there is nothing we can do. Uh, Winnie, that's enough. I'm trying to help her when she gives me a face full of ass. Real nice. Yeah, I know. But I, I know. I like that. The only uh, way we can help you, Winnie. Please get by you firing Debbie's attorney. The only, I am I. the only thing we need to wait on is hopefully Debbie will will get back to us tonight. Yeah. 
Lauren, get me out of here. Baby, we are trying to. The only way that we can do it is by you firing Debbie's attorney. Stop saying that. I already know, you, you fucking Dorito head. Well, stop saying get me oh, out of here. Okay. There's nothing we can do. In, there's nothing we can do until you fire her Debbie, Debbie's yeah, attorney. Okay, bye. You better let that stick in your head because otherwise you'll be in there for a long, long time. No, please don't. No, you got to fire Debbie's attorney. That's the only way that we can get you out of there. Okay. I'm trying to make it stick in your head. No. Debbie, when Alfred O'Connor, Dan's best friend, you have received an electric correspondence from Deborah Fitzgerald. Diggs, thank you for using REUP text-to-speech dictation. Winnie, your conservatorship will finalize tomorrow at 9 a.m. Love, Debbie. What's a conservator? Is that the thing where she's in charge of me? We got to get her on yep. the phone. We got to. Yeah, we, we got to get her on the fucking phone. She's just, uh, there's no way to get around it. She's just pissing in our Winnie. faces now. Yeah. She's just Winnie. spreading piss right in our faces. Square. Uh, unfucking believable. Un unfucking believable. <clears throat> Winnie, you've got to fire her attorney. You better right, do it now. Lauren, I'm going to hang up here and I'm going to see if I can get in touch with her. All right. All right. And if I get Jesus. in touch with her. All right. No! All right. Bye, guys. No! All right. Thanks, Dan. Bye. When he, he, he's, got, he's, got, he's trying to get a hold of Debbie. He, the, the, she fucked your life all up. I mean, if she, if we can't get a hold of Debbie, so you can fire her attorney now. There's nothing anybody can do. My conservatorship just to, happen tomorrow at nine. Yeah, yeah. Unless you stop it, you have to fire her attorney. You have to fire her attorney. I did. You've got to make that stick in your fucking head. You didn't. You, you didn't. Not yet. Yeah. You've got to do it. Because if if you if you don't do it, then you are on, you and I are going to be done. I love you. Because him. you're going to be in jail forever. I, I love, love you him. too. But I love you. I love you too. Why? If you don't fire her attorney, you've got we we've got to figure out a fucking way because this is fucking nuts. This is just completely fucking disgusting, gross ass motherfucking bitch ass nuts. I love your bitch how the ass fuck nuts. could you how the fuck could you ever let Debbie take control of you? She how? said it was for my own good, baby. Yeah. For you for your own not for your own good. For you to be in jail for the rest of your fucking life. And for Debbie to have all your fucking money, how is that for your own good? She has fucked your life up royally. The uh, only way that you, it can be fixed, the only way that you can have your life back is by firing her attorney. And you've got to do it ASAP. That's why Dan is trying to get a hold of her. This is fucking disgusting. Your I sister is disgusting. I didn't mean it. I didn't do anything, though. I didn't mean it. I, just, I was just trying to have a good time. I didn't want to do any drugs. I didn't want to go home. That's what we're trying to get you home. But you have to fire her attorney. I this is am. not a joke. This, this is the rest of your life. I'm not joking. Who the fuck is joking here? Your sister is doing jokes with your life. No, I don't like it. Yeah. Your life is nothing but a joke to your sister. She has fucked you up big time. <laughs> Please 
I can't believe this is even fucking happening. I, I cannot fucking believe it. This is just fucking nuts. Oh my god. Baby, we're trying to. We are trying so fucking hard to help you, and your sister is trying so fucking hard to hurt you. I can't be here anymore, please. I can't be here anymore, please. There's only, there's only... Shut up! You have received an electric correspondence from Deborah Fitzgerald. Dixu, thank you for using REUP, text-to-speech dictation. Winnie, your conservatorship will finalize tomorrow at 9 a.m. Be ready to sign the paperwork so I can get you out of there. Yeah! You better not be talking to that drunk pedophile. I will talk with you privately tomorrow. Love, Debbie. Uh, she's gonna get me out tomorrow. Winnie, no, she's not. She, she is so not going to get you out of there tomorrow. No, yeah. she is not, baby. Jan's best friend. What? You have received an electric correspondence. Please, 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 please. Get me out of here. No, Winnie. Electric correspondence from Deborah Fitzgerald digs up. Thank you for using REUP, text-to-speech dictation. Winnie, your conservatorship will finalize tomorrow at 9 a.m. Be ready to sign the paperwork so I can get you out of there. You better not be talking to that drunk pedophile. I will talk with you privately tomorrow. Love, Debbie. She's going to get me out. I don't want to be in here, please. Winnie, Winnie, what? Winnie, listen to me, baby. Okay, I'm listening. You got to listen to me, baby. I am. A... She is not going to get you out of there tomorrow. She's telling you that. She's not going to get you out of there tomorrow. That attorney that she has is worthless. Ah. Dan, look, Dan looked that attorney up, and that attorney is worthless. That attorney is going to take... Give Debbie all your money and give Debbie control of your life. Money, 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 sign... money, money. Everyone has a price. Yeah, there's, a... well, there's nothing else that I can do. It, it's all on you now. Get me out of here, my loathe. Well, if you sign them papers tomorrow. Yeah. You you and I won't be together. I don't want to sign the papers. I'll just get out. I'll sign Daffy Duck instead, okay? You won't you won't get out. You won't get out. Debbie's gonna keep you right there. Drugged up. You wanna smoke a joint? She, she'll give you she'll give you all the drugs uh, that you want in there, but you'll never be with me. I don't know what to do with. Yeah. Do you want to be with me? Do you want to get out of there and be with me? Just get me out of here, okay, please? That's what we're trying to do, but if you sign any papers that, that Debbie's lawyer puts in front of you tomorrow, you're fucked. But I thought you're she gonna was going to get me there. out. I'm confused. No, no, she's not. She's not going to get you out. She's going to have you sign the papers. Your ass is going to stay in there. Oh. They're going to give you drugs in there, but you're going to be in there, never seeing me. I never don't being want, able to be with me. I want to be. Never with having me. your freedom. No, please. You I don't know, want that. You will never. You will never have control of your own money. 
You will never have control of your own life. I want Coke. A cola. Um, they don't have soda here. All they have is RC. Oh, God, baby. How the hell did you ever wind up in this position? You better take that Twinkie before I eat it. There's... Hi, Kitty. Lauren. Oh, my God, baby. Lauren. Lauren. What, what, honey? Last night in my brain, Vincent Price told me that you were cheating on me with Dirty Diana. I don't even, even know any Diana. But he kept putting a picture in my head of <laughs> you kissing her. <laughs> I'm so sad. Get me out of here. I love you. Please. I just want to be next to you. I love you too, honey. And there's nothing I can do. It's all based on what you do. Okay. If you sign them papers with Debbie tomorrow, you, you and I can't be together anymore. But if I sign them, what if they let me out? They're not going to let you out. Really? They're not going to let you out of there. If you sign them papers, you're going to be staying right in there. For a very long time. I don't want to be here they're for gonna, a long time. They're going to tell you that they're going to get you out of there, and they're not going to get you out of there. You'll be they staying right lie. in there. <laughs> they can lie. They've been lying to you. Everything you do, everything you do when they, tomorrow when they come, is based on yours and my future. Oh, God. If you don't, if you don't fire her attorney, you and I are done. I'm not if done. If you sign any, if you and I will be done. No, please. If you sign any any papers that they put in front of you, you and I are done. I don't want to be done. Please. I don't know. I don't want to do that. I just want to get out of here. I know you want to get out of there, baby. I know you want to get out of there, but you're not going to get out of there if you sign them papers. Oh, what if the paper says I when he agree to get out of here? <laughs> You, you don't sign it because the only way that, that you're going to get out of there is by hiring Dan's attorney, by having Dan's attorney. Uh, that's the only thing that's going to get you out of there, regardless of what your sister and her attorney say. The only way, the only thing that you should be signing is a paper that you, that you write on where you say, I, Winnie, I, I Winifred Pollard. In firing Debbie's attorney, whatever Debbie's attorney's name is. Robin McGraw. Then you sign Robin McGraw. I, Win Winifred Pollard, I am firing Robin McGraw as my attorney. Yeah. And then you sign that, but you write it all out. You don't sign anything that they have in front of you. You okay. write on a piece of paper yourself. Oh. You write it on a piece of paper yourself. Uh. I can write an email to the judge telling him that. Yes, you can. And I don't know if we could get Dan back on the phone. Is Emma, are you on the phone? I declare Emma. termination. Emma. What? Emma, can are you there? Yes, this is Emma. Think, no, you're not Emma. Come on, when you stop doing that stuff. Okay. I, I can't believe this is even happening. I can't believe it's happening. This isn't happening. I'm not here. This is a nightmare, a nightmare, a nightmare. It's not real, okay? This is not real. I'm going to wake up and I'll be next to, to something like a pillow that's not a gross, fat, Lady who tells me I have to share my bed. Oops. I yeah. 
Well, baby, if you don't fire your <laughs> Debbie's attorney tomorrow, that's going to be what your life is all about, is laying next to a fat lady in prison. I don't want that. This morning I took, I got up and there was an old lady taking a shit at the edge of my bed. Yeah. Isn't that nice? No. It's smelly. Exactly. Is that the way you want to live the rest of your life? No, I, I only want to smell my poop. Yeah, well, if you don't fire Debbie's attorney, you're going to be in prison for a very long time. I'm so nervous. All I've been eating is beanie weenies. Yeah, wouldn't it be nice to be eating something that you want to eat? Yeah. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to have coffee that you that you like yes you can't do that in prison um i wish jamie were here yeah well you may never see jamie again <gasps> why and if you're if you if you don't fire debbie's attorney you get to fire <laughs> debbie's attorney be, before you sign any, do not do not you you cannot sign any papers tomorrow. Okay. It's all you and me being together is based on what you do. I just want to be with you. I just want you to be here with me. But the, it's all based on you. There's, there's nothing I can do. Your sister has fucked your life right up bad. The only one that can get it straightened out is you. I know. I'm firing your sister's attorney. What do you what do you what do you mean you don't know what to do? Stop it. What do you mean you don't know what to do? What if the attorney can get me out tomorrow? If I just sign a paper, then I can go home and be with you. Yeah, if you sign any paper that the attorney puts in front of your face tomorrow, you're never going to be able to be with me. If you sign any papers that the attorney puts in front of you tomorrow, what you're signing is I'm breaking up with Lauren. No, that's not what I'm going to write down. They're going to say that I'm incontinent and that I you know, I can't sign for myself. You need to fire Debbie's attorney. You need to fire Robin McGraw. I will. Dan looked her up and she is a terrible attorney. I'm Captain Planet. She is a, she is a very <laughs> terrible attorney. <laughs> Oh, God, when he... <laughs> Damn you! Fuck! Bitch! Ah! <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> when he... No, oh, I'm glad. I'm glad it's all a joke to you. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, well, we can't get you out until you fire her attorney. I want to be the guy that wears that wears the big old leotard, it, and you get to draw guts on his tummy, and then draw where the heart is. Damn. <laughs> Please get me out of here. I'm going crazy. <laughs> this, this is. This is a fucking nightmare. Oh my god. I can't believe I'm in here. I just want to get out of here. I don't know what it is. I can't believe you're in there either. <laughs> get me out! We're trying. The only one that can get you out of there is you by firing De Debbie's know. attorney. That's, that, there's nothing else I can say. Fucking A. Get me out of here, please. I just want to get out of here.
I don't want to do it anymore. I don't want to lick ass. I don't want to get my butthole fingered. <laughs> I don't want to put anybody else's celery in my pussy hole just so they'll leave me alone. Oh. Baby, 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 ah! you are the only one, you are the only one that can fix this. Okay, God. Hello. We're trying to on Hey Dan. Hey. When Winnie Winnie had an idea. Okay. That I wanna I wanna run by you because it sounds like it might be the right thing to do. And this for her to be able to fire her attorney. Wait a minute, and this came from Winnie? Huh? And yeah, this, this came, came from Winnie. Okay. Yeah. But what if what if she was to write uh, doing uh, typing an electronic email to the judge, saying that she wants to fire Robin McGraw. It's not. There, there's a rule in court that there can be no ex parte communications with the court. What that means is, oh, really? outside of court, you can't correspond with the judge in an open case. Hmm. It, everything's going to be done. Filing motions and doing it in court. <coughs> if oh, it's shit, done man. outside of court, it's called ex parte communications. If w Wendy oh. does that, she's just going to piss the, the, the court off. All right. Well, she can't do that then. No. Was you able to get any contact with Debbie? No. She still won't pick up. I don't know what the fuck she's doing. Well, she she's fucking Winnie's life up. Probably getting a fucking pedicure down in Mexico or something. Probably. Fucking bullshit. I I told Winnie if if she signs if she signs any papers that Debbie puts in front of her tomorrow, then she's basically signing a thing that says I'm breaking up a barn. Well, if she, if if she signs anything for this other attorney, my attorney's not going to keep playing this fucking game. She's already doing us a favor. I know. She's already doing this out of the kindness of her heart and doing it in her own spare time, and she's not going to go back and forth with this bullshit. We need to to act like an adult. And do what she's supposed to do. If she doesn't, her her life is pretty much done. Yeah, what a long her time. money is. What? Her money will be Debbie's money. Thank you. Winnie, don't. Ah! I came up. Winnie, don't accept Winnie. gifts from anybody in prison. Lord, Winnie, do you understand that? She's going to be licking cornhole all night. It'll look like this. I know. Don't accept it, please. That's Winnie, really Winnie, God. Winnie, 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 what? you better fucking drunk? focus on what we're telling. Winnie, you better focus on me and Dan and tell them people leave you alone. You're on the phone because if you don't, I'm hanging up. Please Lord, don't give me any more M and M's. And you know yourself, you were in jail. You don't accept gifts from anybody. No, you don't. And I'm eating M and M's. And yeah, and you know what you're gonna have to do for those M and M's. I already did it. I licked it out, and that way she gave me my oh, sloth candy. All right, I, 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 winning. What? I think I'm gonna wash my hands of all this. I, no, I, no, Dad, I love you. Please don't, please don't go anymore. I can't. Keep hey, Winnie. This. Winnie, none of us are gonna keep doing this because you, you you don't listen to us. You, you fucked your life up bad when you let Debbie take control of you. I couldn't help it. Why can't you help it? Because she talked to the judge and told him I was stupid. She can't talk to the judge. 
Yeah, she's hot. not supposed to talk to the judge. She can't talk. No, to when the he, judge, she's so not. I know she didn't. Yeah, she did two months what? ago when she went to court, so she could get custody of my affairs and Rhoda. Yeah, yeah, Winnie. No, yeah, Winnie. So she can. She's got all your money. But your she did talk to the judge. That's what listen, he told her to keep doing. Listen, your conservatorship in this criminal case have nothing to do with each other. Uh-huh. One is in probate court. One is in criminal court. It's two different courts. I'm so she, when he, if she did talk Jesus. to the judge, it's not the criminal judge. She didn't talk to the criminal judge. We know that dang Allen people want to get their fucking pushy shut so hard. They'll do anything and they'll share it. I just want m yeah, Winnie. I don't want to get raped. Winnie? Well, you don't want to get raped, but you're raping yourself. Uh-uh. Yeah. Uh -uh. Yeah, you, you, you're, you're, you're fucking your life up because you, you play games. All I'm doing is eating you a fucking so many... m, &M. You're, you're fucking your goddamn life up. I'm eating. You're allowing your sister to fuck your life up. Wow. Tomorrow, if you sign them fucking papers tomorrow, you and I are done. Uh, I'm not even going to want to hear from you anymore because you just, you just fuck everything up. You fucked <laughs> us up. He said you'd never leave me. Well, yeah, what choice do I have? You, uh, it's not me leaving you, it's you leaving me. Because you listen to your fucking sister. Because you listen to your fucking sister. You listen to your fucking sister, so you fucked us up. No. The only one that can fucking fix this shit is you. Okay. You fire your fucking sister's attorney. You take Dan's attorney. You don't fucking fire her again, because if you do, then you and I are going to be done. I'm not to... playing this fucking game with you. No, please. Dan's not tired of playing this fucking game. Emma's tired of it. This You're is... fucking everybody up. Angeles County Correctional Facility. All discourse is being recorded and will be available as evidence in any future court proceedings. It's not my fault you went to see Brandy Grover last night and fucking co cocked her. I didn't go see Brandy Grover. I ain't seen her for fucking 15 years. Yeah, you probably fucked everybody in that household. Gross. Whatever. Mm. Well, you fucking think whatever you fucking want. I don't give a fuck. I want to be with you, you, you ugly you. bastard. Yeah, well, you better fucking fix this shit. Okay. You fire your fucking stupid sister's attorney. I will. And you take Dan's attorney. I will take You stop everything. fucking listening to your sister. You start listening to me and Dan and Emma. I'm sorry. You don't fucking listen to your sister anymore. Okay. All oh. she wants is your money and control of your oh life God. and for you to be in jail so she can spend your fucking money oh. on her ass. Oh. Oh, please. Don't tell me anybody. You fuck this shit up. You are the only one who can fix it. If you don't start paying attention and stop all this fucking bullshit games, the only ones that you're, is going to be in your life are them fucking women in prison. I am not playing a game. I just want to get out of here. Well, you are. You are. You're playing a fucking game no. because you fired Dan's attorney. No, I didn't. Why would you fire a fucking good attorney that I is trying to get you the fuck her. out of there? I didn't fire her. You didn't fire her? Then how did she wind up fired? She didn't. Hello? How did how did uh, Dan she she said when he said that she didn't fire her? I didn't. Wait a minute. Why are you yelling, Lauren? What's going on? Yeah, it's me. Because of her, because because I'm trying to get Winnie to fucking listen because she she fucked us all up. Anymore. 
All right, I can't hear when everybody's talking. Wendy uh, says she did not fire Miss Duke. I didn't. I only gave her a notice of termination. That, that's Look, firing her, yeah. Wendy. That is firing her. She signed papers, Lauren. Yeah, but it didn't say, I fire you. It said, I terminate. Uh, it's termination. It's the same goddamn thing, Winnie. I'm sorry, I don't know. When, when De Debbie, Debbie had her attorney push papers in front of Winnie to sign, and she signed them, and they were termination of Miss Duke and, and Jesus fucking Christ. All she told me was, this is going to let me come home. What did you sign it to? Winnie. <laughs> Winnie. <laughs> You don't you don't sign anything that Debbie puts in front of you. You don't sign anything that Debbie's attorney puts in front of you. Otherwise, your life is fucked and you're in prison. I'm sorry. And if you sign anything that she puts in front of you tomorrow, you and I are done for good. You won't even be able to talk to me again. And that would be you doing that, not me. Every fucking thing you do tomorrow is based on us. I don't want to do anything. It's based on your I, life. I just want to come home. Please. You want to come home, you better fucking fire Robin McGraw. Because Robin McGraw, all Robin McGraw wants to do is get you on drugs, leave you in prison, and give Debbie your money. She has a lot of plastic surgery. Yeah. In, yeah. Well, guess what? She'll that. have your money to pay for it. How did? Yeah. How did she pay for that, Winnie? Her husband. No, no. She steals money from her clients. That's why she was written up three times by the bar association. Comm What's that? She goes to the bar. No, no. Commingling. Winnie. Funds. Oh my God. She steals her client's money out of the IOLTA account. Why? Do you want some candy, Dad? Oh, God damn you, fucker! Winnie, you better fucking stay focused, Winnie! <laughs> Fuck that stupid candy. I love you. Yeah, I love you too. You better fucking love me the right way because right now yes. you're not going to be able to love me if you, if, if you don't do the shit right. It didn't come out. Why? Damn it. Ha, ha, ha. What hi. happened then? Ha, 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 ha. I was trying to call Debbie again, and the, the phone won't... There! Oh, God, that's deep. It won't go through. Oh. What's going on? <laughs> Winnie, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I'm hiding my m and M so nobody can find them. She's probably sticking them up her ass, Lauren. Probably. <laughs> that's not very nice. <laughs> Winnie, I don't know what you fucking find so goddamn funny, but you're in prison. Where else are you going to hide M&M's, Winnie? My... I have green in my Your neck. pussy. Wow! Either the Winnie. pussy or the ass. There's no other place. Yep. Well, it's, I'm glad I got this. He's like an M&M. <laughs> That's great. Winnie? <laughs> you just I, I don't... to the room. Winnie, you're ruining us. You're killing oh, us. That's cool. You're He's killing us, so Winnie. Nice. You really are. I love you. No, I love you too, but you you need to fucking... You need to get your goddamn shit straight, because if you don't, we're fucked. But you're fucked. You're fucked. Like You'll be fucked for life by women. I don't want to get... Ugh. 
Yeah, Winnie. Your sister must really hate you. You're going to get fucked by women for the rest of your life if you don't straighten out. I don't want that. I want to get straight. Women. Yeah, with your sister must really hate you, Winnie. Women with strap-on broomsticks. What? You'll never... You'll, Look, you'll never, I, you'll never be... Mm -hmm. Jesus. <laughs> this, is fucking, this is fucking retarded. It really is. It's the dumbest fucking thing I've ever come across. <laughs> I look like a Pekingese. I really wonder. I really wonder if you love me, Winnie. Winnie, do you love Lauren? Yes. Well, you really got to find a different way to to, to prove it. The only thing that you fucking proved right, right now is that you like don't love me and you want to spend the rest of your life in prison. When I was little, my mom took know. a little stocking and she put it over my head and pulled it up and it looked just like this. <laughs> <laughs> Winnie Winnie You're on the phone with me and Dan Are you uh, are you going to pay attention to me and Dan Or are you going to fuck around with them fucking people in there Because if you're just going to fuck around With them people in there Then I might as well get off the phone I'll prove it It, it it just fucking amazes me. It, it's I can't believe you would let your sister take control of you. I'm sorry. Yeah, well. I don't know. I don't know what kind of future we're going to have, Winnie, because well, we're not going to have one if you don't do shit right. I love you. Please be with me forever. Well, the only way that I can be with you forever is if you if you fucking fire Robin McGraw. Or Dan's best friend. Your re-up account has been credited. 100 credits from Daniel O'Connor. Thank you for using re-up. Thank you, Dan! All right, you don't have to yell. Why are you so mean to me? No, I just put 100 credits into the account. Why are you so mean to me? You yell at me. You're supposed to talk to me sweet like I'm a good friend. Lauren's yelling at me on death. I haven't raised my voice to you once. It would be nice. Tell me you love me. Lauren? Go ahead, Dan. You can tell her. I don't feel comfortable with this. Dad, Dan loves you as a friend, Winnie. Dan, <laughs> please get me out of here. I want her to take it the wrong way, Lauren. You know? I just want to I know. Yeah, I know. get it, Dan. I love you. You're my best friend. You're <laughs> good. Help me. We're trying to win it. Jesus! Your whole future depends on what you do. Oh, really? Your my future, your future and my future depends on what you do. I know. Well, you better know that tomorrow. Okay. You better know that tomorrow, cause. Okay. What are you supposed to do tomorrow? Stop yelling at me, please. All I wanted to do all day long was talk to you, not get yelled at by you, you fucking drunk, bald bastard tits. Well, if if you sign any papers that that Debbie and her attorney put in front of you tomorrow, 
other than the one that says that Robin McGraw is terminated, then you'll never be able to talk to me again. What if I put in there, I'll get unlimited M&Ms and I won't have to lick anybody's pussy. Will they give it to me, please? Winnie. If I write it down, it's the law, right? I don't want to get raped anymore. Dan, if she writes it, if she writes it down and signs a piece of paper that she writes on, that is only her writing on it, then it's legal that that Robin McGraw will be terminated, right? And I won't get raped. No, it won't be because it would have to be notarized. I'll notarize it. You can't, and they you they're not going to give her her ID to. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. We're gonna have to wait until tomorrow. But I'd I'd really like to get in touch with Debbie so we could discuss this. But I'm the only one authorized to send email through the um LA County Jail Reup Wizard. And if I send it to the judge can't send anything Don't. to the judge. Yeah, you can't send it to the judge. Yeah. I... No, I already asked Dan. He he said that and that would only piss the, the court off and and you'd be in jail longer. Wendy, you can't do that. Wendy, if you send anything to the judge, I'm done. Don't do this. What if I just send it to the underlings? Don't do this. Dad. Winnie, if you if you send any I need Winnie, if you send anything out of here, please. Dad. We are trying, but you need to listen, Winnie. Shut up, Lauren. You Dad, need to listen to me and here, me and Dan. Please. Wendy, you're beating up on us and working against us, and we're trying to get you out. You need to work with us. I will. I if will, you Dad. didn't change your attorney, I'm scared. If you didn't change your attorney, your bail hearing would have been tomorrow. Aren't you scared for me? Yes. I'm getting. Yeah, I'm we're getting hurt we're all scared for you, Winnie. Instead, we're, we're all scared for you, but you don't listen. Instead I'm of your bail hurt. hearing, we have to go through this lawyer bullshit tomorrow now. Uh, all because everything you do, Winnie, is based on your future. All because and Debbie ours. has to poke her nose into this. Dad, please. All I want to do is slurp your perineum. I just want to get out of here. You just want to get out of there, but the only one that can get you out of there is you by firing Robin McGraw and taking Dan's attorney. I just want to get out of here. You cannot sign anything, anything at all, that Debbie and her attorney put in front of you. I won't. Literally nothing. You need to wait for Dan's attorney to get in there with a paper that says that you're that you're terminating Robin McGraw. I will. And taking Dan's attorney. I will. Your and my future depends on everything I you do. Know. If you don't listen to me and Dan, if you don't listen to me and Dan and Emma, then you've already broken up with me. I don't want to broken up with you. I weren't even trying to do it. Well, the only one that can fix it is you, and you've got to listen to everything that me and Dan and Emma tell you. Okay. If what you about don't, Debbie? If you don't, you don't listen to anything Debbie tells you. But she's Debbie is lying to you. away from me. Yeah. Debbie is lying to you so that she can have custody of Rhoda. So that she can have control of you, so she can keep your ass in prison, so she can take your money. That is all Debbie wants. Debbie doesn't Why want you, you so out on the street for about my money. Because it's your money. Do you want Debbie to have your money? Is that how you wanted to buy your forty acres and a mule or whatever in Kingsman? No, not with your money. I told you your money's going into the bank for you. 
and I want to take care of you and me. I want to I don't get care as about your money. drugs as I can before I go to Maine. I'm... Baby, I don't give a flying rat's ass about your money. This call is being made from a Los Angeles County Correctional Facility. I want drugs so All bad. All is being recorded and will yeah. be available as evidence got, in any future got you in trouble. I swear to God, I don't care if I'm on probation. As soon as I get out of here, I'm doing the fattest fucking line I can. Yes, yeah, so you can screw your life up more. I'm just so tired, that's, that's Lord. It. I'm so scared. As soon as you get out of I'm there. I'm so well, scared. Yeah, I know, baby. I, I know, baby. How did your but first you've got beer to listen. taste when you got out of prison? I bet you were looking forward you, to it, huh? That's how I feel. When you've got to, you've got to get control of yourself. I want to be with you forever. I don't want to be in here. I just want to be in your shitty, stinky trailer with your dogs. I don't want to be here. I want you to be here with me. The only one that can do anything about it is you. If you don't, if you don't do everything, do what you're supposed to tomorrow. Pizza and it expires tomorrow. I'm not even gonna be able to use it. Just, baby, you gotta you gotta stay focused. You can don't start going off on other things. This is some. You gotta stay literally shit. fucking focused. This, this, I can't believe any of this is fucking happening. I want to be with you I'm, forever. I want to be with you forever. So it's all based on what you do. If I show them proof that I was in prison. When I get out of here, do you think they'll still let me use this expired coupon? Who cares? I Who gives a flying fuck about any any fucking inside. expired coupon? Who cares? I if I Nobody think cares I, about an expired coupon. I don't have to pay the driver a tip for delivery. It's great. What? If, if you hear a loud noise, just me chopping some more. I have the little tiny ones in the back. Thank you anyway. I don't like the zip ties. Oh. Can you use the handcuffs instead? Yeah. Thank you. It hurts. Lauren, the zip ties hurt. Why do they put zip ties on you? Because I'm in medical and they do it to transport me from here because I have to walk through the regular ward where all the bad girls are. And they put my hands behind my back and they put a little mask on my face because I kept spitting Lugers at people. Jesus. I told them not to. Is that to the look kind of life me. you want to have? She said like this and licked her lips at me and I spit at her. I didn't like it. That's a sexual harassment. Yeah, is that the kind of life you, that you want to live? <laughs> no, stupid. I just said for like an hour straight, I want to get out of here even if I have to go be with you. It's better than this. Eh? Yeah, well, we'll see how bad you want to be with here with me. Trying to fucking help you. So you fucked up and fired her. I did not mean to. I am so scared. No. Well, All they said was sign on these. You. Shut up. Sign these and we'll get you out of here. Lauren, what yeah. would you have done if you were me? I didn't have any medication. I'd, I was I'd read scared. It. My pussy was bleeding. I would read it. You didn't fucking read your shit. You said your lawyer told you to sign it and you just went with whatever he said because you were scared. Well, yeah, I'm well, scared yeah, that, too. That's why you want to listen to me because I've been through it. I know I what I'm talking about. And get raped. I know what I'm talking about, Winnie. So you've got to listen to me. Lord, you have to listen to me. What? I oh, have been through something that you have never been through, okay? I've been raped three times within the three days that I've been here. If you count... Each person, it's three people. If you count each time, it's seven. You don't know what that's like. 
You don't know what I'm going through. I know what being incarcerated is. You don't know what it's like. I know. Be able I know what to, to sign and what not to sign. In because somebody ripped your rectum, Lorne. You don't know what it's like to bleed from two areas of your body at the same time and wonder if it's menstrual blood or blood from having your cunt ripped open. You don't know what it feels like. Yeah, well, if you don't want that to happen anymore, then you don't sign anything that Debbie puts in front of you. Because if you do sign anything she puts in front of you, you're going to be having that the rest of your life. So if I don't... If you want to be here with me... Then I'm, if I sign if it, you want to be I'm here with me... Forever, right? If I sign it, I'm going to get raped if, forever, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much the way to, to put it. You've never been raped, so you don't know what it's like. Winnie, it is not a fucking joke. You think I'm fucking joking? I've never been asshole? raped. Yeah. I've never been fucking raped. But I'm not going to let fucking you get it raped anymore if I can help it. I'm trying to fucking press it in your head. You've got to fire Debbie's attorney. Because that is why you're in jail. Uh, you're going to be in there longer if you don't. I know. Oh. Well, you better fucking know that tomorrow. Yeah. You better stop treating this whole thing like a fucking joke and laughing at stupid oh, shit. Talking about some goddamn coupon that it's expired it's and fucking M&M's. It will be available as evidence in any future court proceedings. You really think they're going to grant me conservatorship to a man that's screaming at me over the phone telling me that I'm going to sign a... I don't want fucking conservatorship over you. I, I don't want conservatorship. I want you to have it. I want you. I want you. You are the one that I want. I don't give a fuck about your money. I want you. That's what I want. Um, but I can't I have you if you don't do shit right. I don't know what you mean. I mean, you've got to fire Debbie's attorney. I know. And not sign any fucking papers that, that I... Debbie and her attorney put in front of you tomorrow. No. I can't believe that we're even going through this shit. I know. This is not shit that we should be going through. I know. I'm praying to God that you keep that in your mind tomorrow. Boom! I know. I, I love you, baby, and I want you here with me so bad, but it's all based on you and what you do. I'm so scared. I don't want to get raped again. I just don't know. I just want to get out of here. I know, honey, and we're trying to do that. Please get me. Fucking nuts. We should we should we shouldn't be going through this. Get me out of here, okay? I'll be a good girl. We're trying to, honey. We are trying to. From now on you cannot listen to anything that Debbie says. Okay. Debbie just wants to hurt you. Really? She just wants she wants your money and she wants you in jail. She wants custody of Rhoda. She wants control over you. Why? No, because Debbie's an evil bitch. Why? Debbie think Debbie thinks about Debbie, and that's all she thinks about. She's not thinking about you. I don't like that. The only thing she's thinking about you is your money. Uh uh. That's what she wants. Yeah. That's why she wants conservatorship. Uh huh. <laughs> Did it hurt? Oh, 
Oh, God, baby. I love you so much. I just want you here with me. Right as a blinker. And you're fucking around with them inmates while you're on the phone with me. I'm shooting rubber bands at the guard. <laughs> no, that's a good way to get in trouble. <laughs> Winnie, come back to me. Come back to me. Focus here. Stay focused. Don't shoot me. It's just a rubber band. <laughs> Keep handcuffs on you. No, uh, please. Don't put handcuffs on me. I need it to touch the screen. It'd be cool then. <laughs> Winnie, Winnie, if you don't if you don't start focusing on me and talking to me, then I'm just gonna hang up. <laughs> Winnie, what? I think you better sit your ass down next to the fucking phone because all you're doing is fucking around. I might as well hang out. No, Dan added minutes on my phone. Yeah, well, you better stop fucking around there and pay attention to me and only talk to me. I'm not on the phone so you can fuck around with your, your inmates in there. I'm just shooting him in the ass. The correctional guard. Yeah, well, is, you... It's fine. Yeah, you need to stop. Can you come get me, please? The only way that we can get you out of there is if you do shit that you need to be doing. Okay. <clears throat> I'm fucking dicking around while you're on the phone with us. That's not doing anything. Okay. I guess we'll find out tomorrow what happens because that's said all I can tell you about it. I guess we'll find out how much you want me and you to be together. Shut up. When not Fred O'Connor, Dan's best friend. Your re-up account has a scheduled event in 10 minutes. Please prepare to disconnect. Oh, that's the call from Debbie. That's the call from Debbie. Never, she she already told you she's not going to talk to you on a recorded on. When not Fred O'Connor, Dan's best friend. Your re-up account has a scheduled event in 10 minutes. Please prepare to disconnect. She already told you that she's not going to talk to you over a recorded line. And that she see you tomorrow at 9 o'clock with the papers. For you to sign. You want me to sign them? Nope. I don't. Uh, really? I do not want you. I do not want you to sign anything that your sister puts in front of you. No Unless it says Robin McGraw is terminated. No. And you have and you have to wait for Dan's lawyer to go in there. For Miss Duke to go in there with the thing, okay. the, the papers that say, with the papers that say Robin McGraw is terminated. Ah! <clears throat> I punched the correctional officer in the back. Yeah, there you go. Isn't that a fucking smart ass thing to do? You're fucking dicking around while you're on the phone with me. That's a real good way to spend your time on the phone with me. I'm making friends. Are you mad? No. Not mad at all. Want me to keep doing it? You can do whatever you like, Miss Winnie. Really? Yeah. Can I have another Milky Way, please? You sure can. I'm going to get you one. Oh. It's because I am yeah, in my There you go. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. You're in my a no. blue cushion? Where? Oh, no. 
That's for my chair. It's supposed to make it soft, but it does kind of look like a butt. It looks like a Bluetooth. <laughs> Sounds to me like you're having an awful lot of fun in, in jail. <laughs> is really? Is this for the ball stay? <laughs> I thought it was, you, you sit on it like that so the farts can come out. It's good that she's having fun in jail, because it's no fun in jail, you fuck. Now shut up, you stupid fucking piece of shit. I want some water, please. Better watch who you're talking to, because if I need to, I will find you if you are a pedophile. I am a correctional officer, you fuck. Quit yelling at her. She's not doing yeah, nothing. Shut up, you stupid fuck. Shut up, you stupid fuck. Why don't you come fucking find me, you bitch? I don't need to. I could probably find your probation officer if you're Shut a up! You're talking on her fucking money, you fucking bitch! I don't care about her money. I get my own money, you fuck. I'm working here. Shut up, you fucking faggot. Why would you assume that? I Winnie, know. Winnie, you I can't believe you're spending your time like this. Fuck, all right, fuck you. Do you know what assume means? Are you okay, honey? Yeah. So what happened? What happened with what? I kept saying hello, hello, and you're like, I can't hear you. And I said, well, there's nothing I can do about it. I can hear you. And you kept saying hello. So I just hung up. Uh, I thought you were talking to Joseph or whoever it was that was driving the car there. I thought, he, I thought you asked me. Oh, excuse me, baby. Uh, I thought you asked him if he, if he hit him, if he hit someone. What? I don't know. What you're talking about. That's not what happened. We just got back no. to the sober living home right now because they released us early. They told us that they have to give us an hour for lunch and they can't do it. Like if we've been in class for five hours straight, um, they can't give us a lunch. They have to let us <laughs> go because you have to get a lunch before five hours or else it's not. It's like against some fucking rule. I don't know. Well, so they couldn't give us a lunch, so they just let us go. I was like, "Fuck yeah, bitch!" Well, that sounds like it worked out good for you. Yeah, but I had to drink my beer really fast. <clears throat> they couldn't see it. I didn't want them to get mad at me. I. You didn't. You didn't want them to what? Get mad at me. Why? Why would they be mad at you? Because I don't fucking share. Oh, yeah, you do. You just share the wrong thing. <laughs> Roy was so drunk. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm a little irritated with him because he said he didn't have any money. And he said that I didn't have any change back yesterday. Well, if, if I didn't have any change left and he didn't have any money... Then how, did how the hell did he get office? beer? Yep, exactly. He used your change to get beer. He thinks you're dumb, and yeah. you should tell him to fuck off. Uh, I know. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm going to tell him it's kind of obvious that he used my money to get beer. Okay. I tell him that there was change. And of course. He there was. Yeah, because I told him to take the fucking quarters out of there. And, and he took the quarters yeah. probably. Bastard. And the, Bastard. The quarters in, the nickels and the dimes. And they took cans and balls back, and I had two, two big bags full of bottles, returnables. So I know okay. damn well he had enough money for Roscoe. So I'm going to have a little talk with him, tell him that no more fucking He's giving him money for anything. Bro, anymore. And, and now he wants me to buy his phone card. Yeah, he told me that. While he's he, fucking drinking beer. Yeah, he told me that. You need to buy his phone card. <laughs> I was like, what? At the tone, yeah. please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up. I don't, or... I don't mind buying his, his, his cigarettes and his phone card for him and gas you know, and helping him with his insurance because he is doing stuff for me around the house. You know, that, and that's a big help to me. He's your housewife but right I, now. Don't let him blow I don't want to. I don't want him lying to me and mom and telling, uh, telling us that he doesn't have any money. Then we give him, we buy him all this shit, and he winds up fucking drinking. That's shit that he's not going to fucking do. 
Nothing. Don't call him again and say anything to him. Let me have a talk with him first, because you know, tell him he might be feeling better, but he's not gonna he's not gonna he's gonna be feeling the right kind of better instead of the left kind of better. Less? Yeah. I don't know what that I'm sorry, I don't understand I and mean, I mean, tip to the left. Tipsy. You know, tipsy? When you're drunk, you're tipsy? Okay. You're, okay. You're tipping to the left? Yes. All right. You can do me in the morning. You can do me in the night. You can do me if you want to do me. <laughs> and baby, I'll do you right. Yeah, that's exactly what um Bobby Ray DeVoe said. Who's that? That's the song. Oh. I miss <laughs> talking to Dan. And I call him, he gets mad at me. He usually was the one who'd make me happy. Well. Well. While? Yell at him, yeah, you yeah. <laughs> yeah, you put a lot of drama in their life. I, I know that. Drama in your life. Yeah, you put a lot of drama in my life, too. And you're a jackal. On the... <laughs> on, 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 unnecessary drama. It's very necessary. I don't get it. No, it's not very necessary. I don't like drama. I like relaxing and taking it easy and not fucking stressing out about shit. All right. I do. It's very enjoyable. It's nice to go home and relax and know, know that there's not any drama. And baby, I, I think I'm going to wind up with a 16-hour day today. So I got to go to Scarborough and get a... Uh, what's your weakness? I, uh, okay, then. Uh. I got to go to Scarborough and get a loaded trailer and take a king field. Then go back to the Waterville. Before then, I'll be done. I like to make um sex noises when I poop, and people think I'm masturbating when I'm in the restroom. Hey, baby, why do you do that? <laughs> Cause it's the bomb, yeah. Well, what's the extra noise? What's that do? I what's that? What's it mean? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I do it because I talk <laughs> to you enough. Because you go, ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're funny. <laughs> Check it. You about to make your premonition. Heaven's gift. Mister me be the whole picture. Just it into this is my song to you. Hell yeah. I can't understand what they're saying. Besides, bitch. No, so what? I can't get my number. No, I'm not going home with you after the jam. No. Oh, you're not. No. No. Because oh, you don't want to. No, that's because I'm. I'm. I don't have to be a partner. I can go have fun by myself. I don't have to go home. I don't go to the club to find a cock to bring home to ride. I ain't like them other people who do that. And you know what? There ain't nothing wrong with that anyway. But I'm, it's not me. But you don't want to bring me home? No. I can't bring you here. You'll get in trouble from Maria. Do you want my thing in your mouth? You go, what about when you come back here and, and you go out, you want to bring me home then? Yeah, okay. If I have a home. Yeah. You, know, you have a home here. Okay. If I want to stick my mouth over a penis, it's none of your business. Tell it on as long as it's my penis. It's your business. As long as it's my yeah. penis, baby, it's all right. And you. You don't have any right, just like she said. You don't need to be getting into who I'm giving the skins to. It's none of your business. <laughs> it's my business. Damn. 
I'm fucking old as shit, man. Holy shit. This came out. Oh, my God. Help me. I know you're a whopping 31. I know. How old was Ooh, I? Holy fuck. 1993. How old was you when? In 1993. In 1993. Yeah. I forget the year you were born now. Oh, God. Oh, let me see. It was, here's a hint, it was 15 years ago. He was like five years old. I was six. That's a good, you can math six. a lot better than I would have. See, that's why I'm telling you, people think you're stupid, but you're not. You, like. Oh, I know. <laughs> I literally, pulled up, I pulled up a calculator and I had to see what the difference in years was. And that's, and you figured it out in your head. Uh, yeah, I don't have I any, know. anybody say they're going to give you a pass because you're stupid. Because you're not. I know. You're just an asshole. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Thank you for the verification, baby. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> um, I um. I brought tomato soup with me today. They had the lunchbox that mom bought me. I can heat stuff up. He put it up in the truck. Right. And I brought crackers. And I brought a whisk to stir the tomato soup with. And I forgot to bring you a fucking spoon. We'll just drink it. No, I'm going to Scarborough office right now, so I'm going to see if they have a uh, spoon there. Just drink it. It's soup. What's wrong with Well, yeah, this? but I was going to put crackers in it. Pretend you're a Chino. No, I have a Pringles cover in here too. I'm gonna to use that as a spoon. I must have a spoon at the at the shop in Scarborough. Oh God, you're such a fucking hick. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, good news. I'm sorry. I can't help it. <laughs> I know. It's like you, you can't help with the with the <laughs> derogatory thing. So you're always derogatory, negative, negative. You know, you need to get you, positive, baby. If you can define derogatory, I won't be mean to you all day long. You have to spell put it. downs, put downs, negative statements. Okay, but you have to spell it too. D e r o g a t o r y. Ah, fuck! All right, I was lying. I'm still gonna be mad at you. Ah. <laughs> ah. Uh, ah. Ah. Roy was he was drunk. You didn't even notice. I noticed. I noticed he talked too much. No, it's that's why I was getting he, irritated with him. As soon as he answered the phone, I was like, Oh god, here we go. Lauren's gonna get in trouble because there's alcohol in the trailer. Roy said you did not have change from the money you gave him, but he's drunk. How <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Some of the math just doesn't figure up there, does it? And and he somehow doesn't have any money. So, yeah. I'm going to tell him no fucking alcohol in my house because that's, that's all he wants to do is go there alone so he can, so he can drink. He can't be doing that shit. He's already fucked up his life enough. Sorry, the person you are trying to reach has a voicemail box that has Baby. not been set up yet. Please try your call again later. Goodbye. I wish you'd stop doing that. Shut up. I need to look. No. You're not gonna call him out. He stole money from you. Doesn't he well, know that you're not in the position to be throwing money around like some fucking cocker feller or something? Oh no shit. But uh, but he's also not to work for me today too. Yeah. That's okay. So it it's made up for the money that he that he's taken, but no, I agree. Still, he needed he needed it's, to ask me first before he did much, it. How much? How much is it going to be worth it when Maria goes by and finds him drinking in your house with beer in there? Is that going to be okay uh, too? No, that's not going to be okay. That's what I'm talking about, yo. Your brother don't got no fucking respect. He'll help you here and there, okay. but you know why he helps you? Because he expects something in return, and he. I thinks know. That if he helps you, that means he can keep the fucking change. And if you want to ask him about it, he's going to tell you to go fuck yourself. That's but, uh, but, 
baby, I don't need you saying it, though. Let me handle it. Well, I was going to call him so you could handle it. I don't believe that well, you I'll, I'll handle it. I'll handle it when I get home. Yeah, right. I'm not, I'm not going to deal with him while I'm driving. You'll have him put his wiener in your hand, and you'll handle it real good. <laughs> no, why would you say that? Because you want to bone your brother with your mouth. Why would you say that? Why? Because I think yeah. it's funny to make a reference to you giving your brother a blowjob. <laughs> it's really funny, baby. No, there's nothing funny about that. Well, it would, Gross. It would be. It is funny. It would be funnier. No. No, it's not. It's hot. It would be funnier. Yeah, it is. Gross. Oh, I can't find the bag that had my lunch in it. I had to drive by a McDonald's and turn on my Burger King app, and then it says I can get a large sandwich for a penny, and I did it, and it worked, but I can't find it. I need my fucking penny. You know, what, the, on the radio, there was a guy that did that, Yeah. and he wound up being charged over $1,000 for a burger. Oh, yeah, I know. They, they fuck up on the mobile orders all the time, but... What that guy probably <laughs> didn't say is that he probably pushed the zero three times after he chose one. Because I did that before. And <laughs> it told me to come back in two hours to pick it up. So I just put the charge on Emma's card. <laughs> Why would you do that? I don't know. But she called and had it removed, I think. Even if she didn't, that would be funny. That's what she got. No, that's that's just you don't need to be doing. One. I don't need to do it. I choose to do it because I'm the cool girl, uh, and not you. You shouldn't be choosing to do it either because you're smarter than that. I found my fish sandwich, bitch. Who fucking cares what you got to say? And I got chicken nuggets for the foster dog. He's a good dog. Wow, this thing that I sit on, I just shook a lot of dust out of it. I wonder why it doesn't smell that bad like pee. Probably because it was dust and not pee. And I fucking pissed on it all the time. Well, why? Because if I don't want to find a toilet, I find something that's absorbent. Uh, baby, come on now. What? You gotta stop doing that nasty shit. Shut up. You know, no. I just want to know what it's like when I'm on the phone with you and you're eating lunch. <laughs> no. Oh, I'm sure. Because you don't really have a choice right now. This is exactly what it fucking sounds like. Fucking great, right? Doesn't sounds get good. more attractive than this. <laughs> sounds good. This is what it sounds like when Dan shoves his cock in my mouth and I try and talk. <laughs> what did you say? You want me to hang up? Mm -hmm. You can't understand what I'm saying, right? No, all I heard, what I heard was you want me to hang up. Maybe I should sing it in your voice so you can hear what I'm saying. There's Roy. Hang on, I'm going to click over. Hello. Oh, why did you hang up on me, cock munch? I didn't. But your Roy hung up on me and I went to fucking... What do you want? You. What yeah, do you yeah, want? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who are, you, are you talking to me or you talking to want? somebody else? What do you want? You're talking to me or you're talking to somebody else? I was talking well, to Winnie. You, what do you, want? you talk to Winnie, then you talk to me when you talk to me. Well, what? I, I talk to you when I'm not talking to Winnie. I, I talk to Winnie well, all day. Okay, no more of this three way stuff. Uh, talk to me. I get well, shit to do. Well, I'm in the middle want? of something. I don't know. You yeah. called me. I have no idea, Frank. Hey, how did, what did you. Hey, uh, how did you get beer? I don't have no fucking beer. I'm up there trying to clean my fucking widget thing out. And you keep calling. You don't have any beer. 
No, you just called me a minute ago. No, you called me. Well, yeah, you called me a minute before, and me and Ellen trying to clear my rigid thing out. I saw you went to go get beer from the liquor store on Google Earth, and I told oh, you. Oh, I know who called me. I know who called who's me. Winning? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Sorry, Frank. No, I'm trying to clean the rigid thing out, trying to take care of your tank. All right. I'll. I'll talk to you later. You gotta get that freaking fight fit. I'll talk to you tomorrow, Lauren. Bye. Have you had any beer today, Roy? No. Yeah, I drank a fucking thirty pack, Lauren. I keep seeing your number. Why did you put a number? Give me your number. I think it's registered uh-huh. something when I see your number pop on my phone. You when he's had your that. number for a long time, you gave it to her a long time ago. No, it's your number that co- pops on my phone. Yeah. Well, I mean, now I'm trying to clear my rigid. Her. Well, we're try- I'm trying to clear my rigid thing out, and I think that you want something. You know what I'm doing. I, uh, I, well, all right, I, I should know, know if you had anything to drink today, because as much as you were talking earlier, you sounded like you had something to drink. And I was wondering where you got the beer no, from. Just, but you didn't have any money. I ain't get no. I ain't got no beer from nothing. Me and I was trying to clean your friggin' my friggin' uh, flaring tool out so I can take it for your friggin' pipe for you. And my nose oh, is stuffed up, a. and I keep spitting. <laughs> okay, I'm doing this shit for you. All right. Well, She's the one who well, called my number. I think. Uh, no, nah, she's the one who's calling my and number. Tell me you're not having any money. As long as you're not drinking and telling me that you don't have money. Hey. hey. She's the one who's fucking calling my number. Get me in trouble, I guess. With you. So, when you call well, again, you just leave a message. I ain't picking the phone up. Uh, that's because Winnie can tell when you're drinking, too. Well, You've talked to her a lot. I'm up at the and trying to clean this too. out, and I got to go outside to have a cigarette. Hey, right, I'll talk to you later. Hey, how much long? How much long are you working, Frank? I'm, I'll probably have a sixteen-hour day in today. We will, yeah. Well, I'm still going. I'm trying to get this done, and you know, it's helped me. It's, uh, it's one click giving. It's pretty bad, anyways. But uh, says hey, I'll, I'll talk to you later. later then. Too, so. All right, okay. Uh, you text me. Just leave me right. a message. Or, all right. All right. Okay, we'll talk bye. to you later, Bob. Okay, love you. All right, bye. Drive love safe. You too. Bye. Okay. Yeah, bye-bye. get off the phone. <laughs> bye. Yeah, you too. Both of you lick my cut. Bye. Lick it good. When he stop it. Nothing. Bye, Roy. Yeah, I love you too, sweetie. You be good. Okay, Daddy. Bye. When he got, damn it. I'm he's fucking saying that shit. He's drunk, huh? Yeah, he is. He's over Elton's now. That's where he's getting his beer from. Except earlier, he didn't get it from Elton. Your fucking brother he used your money to get drunk, admitted it to you, and you didn't even yell at him. I'm surprised at you. Yeah. No, I'll talk to him later on. It, it doesn't do any good to talk to him when he's drinking. Because, yeah, and you know that. It's funnier. No. He starts, like, yelling, and then he forgets what he's yelling about, and he tries to tell you he's getting an apartment. Why is he talking to Sarah again? Because he's a he's dumbass. Hey. He's, you know, he's just lonely. He wants to somebody to talk to. Lauren. What, baby? If Roy goes to Walmart, it would be the Scal Hagen Walmart, huh? Probably, yeah. He's still driving that same van. Yep. I didn't know they sold beer there. No, Walmart? Yeah, they do. The grocery store there, too. Oh. Anyway. 
Why is that where is that where he got beer? Yeah, but he's coming out of the exit next to the Western Union part, not the regular exit. The Western Union. There's only one entrance. Only one entrance and one exit. The Walmart in Skowhegan. No, you can go. Walmart in Skowhegan has all of their um, cameras hooked up online. I didn't mean exit from the building. I meant exit from the aisle. After he paid for the beer, he went over to the customer service area, I guess. That's where you guys have your Western Union in the Walmart. But ours is different here. There's a lady with... Short brown hair. She's kind of chubby with glasses, and she's wow. Roy's counting out a lot of money to give her. Yeah, he, he, no, he's up the elephants. No, he, he's not going to be spitting in the aisle in Walmart. Lauren, what? I'm watching him give the Western Union lady money. <laughs> what time was it? This thing says 4.30. But it's... What time is it over there now? 5.08. Oh. That's why he didn't answer, probably. He was looking through your stuff. He did. Wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, my God. Uh. Oh. Is the trading post a beer place? He went over there at 1245. He's taking stuff out of his van. Trading post. Trading post? Yeah. Is that like, because here they have different names for beer, like saloons that are supposed to be real trendy. There's one called the trading post here. I don't, I don't know any trading posts. Oh, no. Nah. Uh, uh, um. This is gonna be a long day, but I'm beating I'm beating the freezing rain. Oh, I see the clouds coming. I know where he's going. Well, maybe where? maybe he got that money because he wanted at the casino. Oh, and he still had it? 